Hello, factory friends. How do you do on this humble Saturday? I'm doing well. I'm enjoying my unemployment for two days. <laughs> Finally get to switch jobs. Good times. I needed it. Anyway, let's get back to it, because I want to start moving to Genova. So my desk is an absolute mess right now, just because I had to re resort everything and figure out some shit I took from work and I had to return, so I didn't have time to do that today. <laughs> uh, what's all this stuff about? What is it waiting on? It's waiting on a data card. Oh, it is moving now. You know, I'm thinking to myself that these deceleration uh, or acceleration lanes may not be fast enough, or maybe I just need a couple more. Uh, I guess I can't really have any more than this. Uh. You can kind of give it a little bit more, but yeah. Guess we'll see. Yeah, because that becomes a conditional thing, so... Maybe we add another one there or something, I don't know. These deceleration lanes are kind of bleh. Sometimes. Yeah, like, this is like a chain. That should not be a chain. Oh, this one doesn't even have a thing. It's blocking the entire outside of it. Nice. I'm suffocating. Where's my canisters? Oh, it must be in like... Yeah, this box. I, I, I'm like, I wouldn't take it with me. Oh, wow. I brought a lot of stuff back with me. <laughs> all, right, all right, fine. A message received. Let me just hang out over here. You blame the government? Hey, Shaz. Listen, the, the government wants nothing to do with what I'm building here. Let me tell you that right now. Don't forget, uh, us in North America, we don't like trains, apparently, so we can't have them. Hey, not Zach. No trains allowed. Something only for the Europeans and uh, Asia. Uh, but pretty much every other part of the world except for ours. Actually, no, I don't think... Do South Americans have good trains? I don't even know. Maybe it's just like on uh, on this side of the plum, this side of the uh, time zone hemisphere, whatever we're at. I gotta blame something. South Americans want good trains, I know that. Well, they want them, but does that mean they have them? Because I want a lot of things too, Shaz. Oh, this all counts as one lane, too? Fuck. I feel like I- I feel like I could just have these kinds of things here. You say it's really good tra trains for sh shipping, just not for travel? Yeah. We were forced into the car life. What can you do? So we have a lot of science packs. <laughs> I have to keep it going all the time, by the way, because I think it's a lot lower. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about the amount of science we're going to have, so... 
What was this for? <laughs> I, I think this is my science, but I'm not sure. No, it isn't. Never mind. Nice morning, what good morning voice? Oh, thank you very much. North American trains are kind of tra lame. They are lame. I mean, you could you could book one for like recreational travel, but like, I want I want trains not just for fun, but also for uh, getting somewhere. You know, that's how that's how I am. <clears throat> All right, so why didn't it actually load anything into here? That's not what I want. Uh, I want like I want rocket. Okay, so why is it not inserting anything from here? Wait, is it? No, no, no. It's 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 there. There to sail by control behavior. Why? So somehow that got disconnected. Oh, fuck. I don't actually want that. I just realized that. Okay, there we go. So waiting for source items, waiting for source items, okay. So you can insert from this. Is it just not on or? Oh, it's trying to leave. I think that's why. That's so weird. What? Oh, it didn't even wait for it. Oh, man. Um. <laughs> How is that not too... Oh, it's or. Or, um... Wait, why did I have that condition? That's really weird. I didn't know I realized that. I think recently trying to spend every third to be truly useful. Oh, the, yeah, the, the Sky... Of course, the Vancouver Skytrain. I mean that's kind of that's more of like a light rail thing, but yeah, it's still pretty good. It's not like a train train. Let's let's be honest now, Chess. Why did I even have this condition of like this? Oh, I think I was having it wait if it um, if the rocket launched. That's what I did. Okay, that makes sense. I remember now. Light rail is really handy though. No, I don't deny that. Honestly, I'm an island boy and I'm just like, uh, we have a train track here, they just don't use it. It's not even used. It's really sad actually. fix this Jet Nova thing and also check out that one because also coal is continuing to be a little bit of a problem here. Wait, how is this? Where's Jet Nova orbit? Oh, it's it tried to disassemble this. Oh, that's why. I'll just take that away. Let's give it to America. Hey, Alma. Alma is always the first one to remember that that's the thing. <laughs> Exclamation blame past Mike. Why would we do a thing like that? 
Listen, past Mike got us to where we are today. There you go, almost should. I even put the big text for your America, okay? Oh, wait, wait, why did it go here? Oh, right, I forgot about that. I have to give it, um, yeah. I totally forgot about this. I have to give it um, some things for this because there's actually two stations it can go to. Unless I stop one from being, like, I, I would, okay, I have to do one of two things. Because they share the same stop, uh, I either have to say they can only have a count of one, otherwise the limit is is uh, removed, or I have a, a train holding area. I'd rather have a train holding area, because otherwise it'll just block it and be a, kind of a dick, so. <laughs> I never forget the Texas Dollars being a thing. I'm just saving up. Oh, okay. I, I still have to give, like, some better uh, text off the plate options, you know, as a redeemable rewards. Another cargo rocket off course. How quaint. We are so gonna remove all these rockets, I swear. Also, I don't think I can do that one. That will basically solve that problem that they won't basically block it anymore for that i didn't i didn't quite think about that one uh, when i adjust it i'll either do i i should either start making stops that basically when there's a count on the trains it also removes the limit but either one because they only allow for one at a time it, that, it's actually a pretty easy thing to solve you just take both of them into a green circuit and then does just remove their limits uh if uh, either of them has a count at all, so that's that's all you really have to do with that. Rest of it's okay though. Uh, let's see. I think today we gotta basically uh, we could actually start tapping into that energy science one that I was gonna do. I like I said, my main concern is like okay, so swarm safety is screwed up, but I think I know why. I think it's because the uh, this science and it's because it never has. Efficiency modules, yeah. We don't have efficiency modules. We also don't have rough data substrates. That one is not as important to me. To be honest, we actually have a lot of data cards here, do we not? Oh yeah, we have a lot of junk data cards and blank ones too. I think figuring out how to move those back into the system is a good idea. We also have space science packs, which I know I need to get rid of. Because those are normally on the train, so I, I should just have like a... Oh, first off, I'm going to... I think I'm gonna change these to buffer chests. I don't, th I don't think sh these should be requesters, but yeah, well, maybe I'll leave them for now. All right, let's let's do it over here. I just want to put it into the other grid right here. That's what we'll do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a uh, requester here of all the space science.
I kind of want to just force it into the system, but I don't know. I could have it just trade into the other logistics network just like that. Yeah, it's good to deliver all of it. You're saving up so Mike has to spend all my uh, all my Twitch Prime money on stationeries. <laughs> that one, yes. I will soon, I promise you. I'm gonna also put a buffer chest here of or no no. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get the data cards because I need to feed these back in the system. I also need to bring the uh, junk data cards here too. Like I'm gonna do it myself with the uh, what's it called? Some of this other fun stuff that we have. I maybe should also have a way for me to actually like put them into the system somehow, like reintegrate it <clears throat> in case I deconstruct something. I probably should have that like on an ongoing basis as well. I didn't even think about that. Got a life support uh, recycling system in Orbit. You can auto trash to spend filters and requests for new ones. I already have that. So they go right here. So used, new, and it it active it actually active providers it out, uh, but that just goes in the storage system. So it's it's been doing that the entire time. It's just right now I'm not in a um, in a in a logistics grid, but as I entered one, it basically just threw it in there. So that's how the system works. So it does do that actually. I already have it. That was actually one of the first things I set up because I don't I don't actually have a lot of. Uh, options for that right now. Oh my god, I did it again. Oh, fuck. You know what, just delete all this. I... <laughs> not sure how to fix this little grid issue that I keep doing. I keep I keep like mis misusing it or something, I don't even know. So these are right now missing utility science packs. Because why? No Krone rods. I didn't actually think that would be so much of a problem, but it, it's every time it has it. I think it's like over here, it's waiting over there. Oh, but I gave, I gave it the 60 second timeout. You know what, let's, let's just go make a bunch more of that stuff. I just decided uh, I'm making an executive decision, lads, to... Gonna do this. And also do something like here. <laughs> it's just years later and we're still hacking all this stuff. If you double the grid size, make two versions of a blueprint with different offsets, you can then prevent misusing it. That is actually a really good idea, actually. I didn't even think about that. That's some next level thinking right there. I should do that. Because all I really have to do is, is prevent the... Yeah. I'll probably look into that a little bit. Probably the next time I make the mistake. <laughs> For sure. That's probably going to be the main time I do it. Alright, let's see. So, how much is this going to be? 84. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I can't quite do that, can I? have one more hooked up and that's it. Alright. I think this is good enough ratio for this too. Actually, no, I think I can, well, I can't quite have another one hooked up, but I'd rather productivity things when I can. I have some being made in some other places, so this should be pretty good. Yeah, it's 105 now. It's like way more than I was making before. I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, but I don't really care. Our goal is not perfection. All right, well, let's see. Okay, there you go. that's all good. All right. Yeah, I'll probably do. Uh, this is not exactly the, the final one I want to have anyway, so. Just keep the bots busy for now. So just mirrors this music a little loud. And as I was turning it down, I turned it up for just a split second. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I have so much of this stuff, actually. Yeah, but th these bots are just not capable of... We, did, we just have a ton of space science, but it came from the other platform, that's why. Still delivering 6.9k of this stuff, it's crazy. <laughs> well, the logistic bots are not having a good time. Let me tell you that right now, so. It's like I said, the, the pairs of cells is actually a really good idea. Also, what the hell? Okay, I, I just realized I didn't actually explore the upper part here, so it didn't actually place any of the stuff I have here. So let me just do the camera thing real fast. This is the unfortunate part about how um, it works in this game. I did actually scan a lot of Jedova Orbit. Uh, unfortunately, this, the scan only goes really diagonally and not so much um, whatever, because look, look, at, look at how much uh, I actually scanned. I actually did scan a lot of it. We may need a little bit more of that stuff. I think the logistic bots absolutely hate me right now because I, I made them try and deliver some stuff and uh, they're just like not having a good time. Oh, thank you, Novice Orbit. Wait, wait, what got delivered to Novice Orbit? Oh, I brought more coal in? I shouldn't have brought more coal. Well, let's actually not have it go anymore. I still have to remove stuff here. I totally forgot about this, by the way. Ugh. Yeah, I think we can actually just retire everything now, by the way. sucks. <laughs> it's that's a deliver all this coal now. Whatever. You could always trim it. Uh yeah, you're right. It this is not really the the, the largest thing I have though, to be honest though. The the biggest plants I have is like well, I, I, I scanned all of Cornetto and also of uh, 
my volcanite planet, but I believe both of those won't really matter at this point because I think the pollution level I have is so high it basically encompasses most of the planet at this point. Yeah. Because remember, uh, chunks that... Uh, yeah, this one definitely is not going to make a difference. Yeah, ch chunks that have pollution on them have to be uh, explored because there might be biters on them, so that's the way the game engine works. Not sure if SC changes that, though. It'd be cool if it did, but I'm going to assume it doesn't, so... Anyway. Because biters have to basically have a chance. Wait, what? Oh, I think I misaligned this. Yep, I did. All right. So yeah, we gotta we gotta put some of that conductivity data and things in. Um, Again, I I would like a way to always add that back into the network. I don't know I don't know how I would do it though. It yeah I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Okay, let's start making other stuff then. Uh, let's see. Looks like our thing is going pretty good here. Uranium two thirty five. Okay. I'm gonna remove the request from buffers now actually. We need a little bit more 235, but uh, <coughs> it's nice to know this is going actually pretty good. That's just the pollution guy keeps the chunk active if explored. If not, then it ignores the dead chunk. If it abuse that to not get attacks early on in novice. Oh, keep your friends close. Keep novice destroyed. <laughs> I like that one. Well, we know you're part of the uh, anti-novice uh, gang. Oh, I'm gonna just put it down here. There you are. Oops. I already did your E. <laughs> uh, keeps a chunk active if it's explored. But the thing is, it has to generate the chunk in order to... Um, no, no, it has to generate the chunk in order to make the biters, though. That's what I mean. You're not, you're not lowering the save file size by a. Uh, I mean, in this case, this this would lower the file size, but not by a whole lot, because like I said, it's those other plants that actually are doing most of the uh, the thing. But I, I can I can lower the size. Just give me a minute here. Let's just do it on this on this surface. This is fine. Let's see moon orbits. Yeah, it did remember all this stuff. So this one's fine to do. And there's also, by the way, a bunch of other orbits like Bolinia. These ones I kind of stopped by. Because I was I used the shuttle to, to go there and I don't need them anymore. They don't have anything on them. It's it's not a whole lot of chunks. Cornetto orbit, yeah, we don't have that yet. Okay, that's it. There's also a couple of planet orbits that we can probably get rid of. Um no, there isn't actually. We we mostly stop by moons. Well, actually, there is the um, there is actually a planet orbit we can get rid of. Uh, Cornetto is not a planet. It's the uh, Oddquan orbit, yeah, that one. So we can get rid of that one. It generates chunks around the border of explored ones, not beyond that. I I'm pretty sure that's not the case, because if that was the case, you could essentially. Uh, never deal with biters as long as uh, you don't explore, essentially. Because what will happen is that I found this a lot where the path the the biters will be able to path to your base eventually as the pollution spreads to path to path tiles, and there and you don't even have to see them because it'd be literally like the biggest form of cheating if you could if you were able to do that essentially. That's the problem. So. I, I'm like ninety percent sure. You can't, uh, you can't do that. But only 90.
Because, you, yeah, you could, you could play a game where, you, like, you never see biters just because of that. All right, I got to do something different here. Uh, all right, so I need... So this one that's giving me the iron ingots, I actually need this over here. Why did it pass through here? <laughs> he just thought it was a good place to go. What can I tell you? All right, so we got this. I'm going to have um, grand limit of zero for now. Because I actually need the iron plates as well. So we need to make sure we have both of those. I am not going to tell a, a thing to come over here because I would rather have them... Uh, Reuse the existing ones for this. Dang it, I did it again. Where is it? Uh, this is too large for this. Uh, like a. No, it's just like that big, really? Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Let me do the rest of this layout first, actually. Oops. Because I want to actually have another one over here, and it's going to actually make the iron plates. Now, the thing is, I don't actually technically... I could make it in these things, I think. Iron plates. Yeah, I could technically make it out of these uh, to basically fill those up and not just have, like, a ginormous thing like I did here. Because this, this, this I find to be a little bit too fast for it anyway, so... Makes uh, 24 per minute. This would make... Um, well, a lot less than that. But it's, it takes up a heck of a lot less space, though, so that's kind of the nice thing about it. I don't think we need that much iron plates, like, that fast anyway, so... Then we'd be okay. Yeah, we need something like that. I'm not sure what we need the iron plates for, but I just know we need it in something. Because I'm pretty sure I was bringing it up here. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll, let's look at the production chain first. Now, I know I'm going to need it at some point. I, I remember it being something that was requested all the time. Where's um, energy science? Let's see. Well, it's not needed for any of this. Well, we're get, we, got, we also have to bring down Holium, too. Let's see, that's the other thing we have to bring down. Um... Just still having a quick look at this. Let's see. How about the level 2 science? Okay, linearly dependent, sure. Quantum phenomena. Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. Unrestricted item. Just do that one. Shoot. Thank you for doing this matrix solver. Oh, yeah. We need a multispectral mirrors location. Uh... Copper plates I already new. Iron steam is fine. I would do direct insert conversion inside the builds for the most part, so you could do direct insert. I I still I'm still a fan of uh, putting it to boxes and then giving it to the train because it, it loads like really fast for that. If it was like um if I did just if I just hooked it up directly to the uh what's it called the the big assemblers that would be fine but again it's not meant to be like that forever we're, we're eventually going to have trains going through the space elevator to go to the ground so that's why like i'm okay with the boxes i don't need to prematurely uh, optimize this at all there's no it's not going to stay like that forever that's the thing that's still my plan by the way that's why, like, a lot of the stuff you're seeing is, like, it's not going to be like that for very long. I, I keep having to, like, talk myself out of, like, forcing myself, forcing myself to, to pre-optimize this stuff. Like, one of the things I didn't like that I did over here that I noticed I did, which which was for some reason I decided to use these, like, buffer chests on one side when I could just have two sides full of, like, whatever. And I don't know why I didn't do that. But again, I, I have to talk myself out of constantly trying to optimize that stuff because it's, like... We will literally be here forever. <laughs> and and I need to 
get to the kind of the sciences I, I would I want to get to kind of a thing to basically solve a lot of these issues that I had. Let's get these out of the way too, and also this glass. So again, I, I just I really do not want to pre prematurely optimize anything. Surprised that this is how's that not? Oh, it's not in the the, the grid. I don't know how it didn't get in there. I think I deleted something that was supposed to be. Yeah, I'm just gonna move this one up a little bit when I get the chance. I, I think this is now too far back. Oh no, it's not. It's actually perfect. Trust me, it's it's I I'm I fell into the trap many times of just like building way too much when I did not need to. And I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm trying not to fall into that trap again, because I I will, I will do it. <laughs> I will totally do it. I, I almost fell into it before when I was uh, planning out this little space station. I was just like, uh, I'm like, oh, but what if I, you know, go make a bunch of uh, stuff for for this all right now? And I was like, oh, that's a really bad. Like, I want to actually make uh, all all three sciences on on the novice orbit space platform, and I realized like that is a horrible idea because <laughs> it will take way too long to basically do any of that. You know, so I was, I was, I don't know. I became very against that. I need to, actually, that's fine. All right, the last thing we need is that. Oh, we're not actually in a logistics grid, but that's okay. I'll just uh, throw down a... I can't do anything with that one. Okay. So the big thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw this one down and say go into here. Gonna be a iron plate provider. A lot of these things, like iron plates and stuff, you want to have that basically get created somewhere where there's productivity module as well. Actually, in this case, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't care about that. So it'd probably come from space anyways. But regardless, I need to have a system where it can come in and doesn't just come in via uh, landing pads anyway. So I have to change it regardless. So hey, X3M. Eh, you know what, I don't mind just filling it up all the way, actually. Alright, let's see here. Uh, so that solves that little conundrum. Uh... I'm going to have to bring in uh, radiate, uh, good old 235 as well. Still going. I think I requested like 80. I think that was overkill. What did I request on the other place? I don't remember actually. Maybe, maybe we'll have less than that. Maybe we'll just say uh, 30. And I'm gonna treat them all as buffer chests. This way they always go to, to here rather than to any kind of rocket. But also the rocket, I, I have it set so that uh, it tries to maintain 25k. Maybe maybe like 5k is a better number, actually. There you go. Because we do have to actually start moving this around. Yeah, 
Yeah, I asked for way too much of this. That's I, that's what I thought. Because it it just it only really needs forty of it, and it will like it's right beside the location, so it's okay. So. Yeah, these are all still going all the time, which is really fun. You, we only really need one train to basically bring all this stuff over, which is super cool. This is such a nice solution to the our, our little uh, problems with this. I like the, I like how much uranium it's now pulling in now. All right. So where are all my logistic boys doing right now? Because they're trying to, just trying to fill up all this garbage that I have now. So this one still doesn't like polished data substrates. Is there a reason why maybe we're not pulling as much as I thought we were? Oh, uh, well that would be a good reason. Yeah, that's really slow. Okay, well we don't need this anymore. I know I can't see past the rocket, but... Okay, I can, I can kind of see what's on the belt when I look over here. Just to make sure that there's nothing on it that there isn't supposed to be. There you go, it's going. That's really what the problem was, it, it wasn't able to fill up uh, fast enough, so. Alright, did this also fix up its, uh... Uh, no. Because I didn't actually adjust that one accordingly. Oh, our copper is a bit slow here, isn't it? Just have a quick peek at that, why is that so slow? Well, we have a lot of it. I guess it's just, uh, I, I took it from another line that it shouldn't have grabbed it from, I guess. Yeah. Are the number of core miners limited per planet? Yeah. I, I actually had been thinking about that. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about core mining uranium, but it seems like it's really hard to find, at least in my save. Like core, uh, core fragments? I mean, I have a moon with it, but yeah. I, I will say, I, I do think that overall, uh, we probably got a bit of a nerf. On the uh, on the core fragments, some of the stuff it was pretty good for it, like that that improved it improved in the early game, like the very early game. But uh, I think I think later on it will be worse uh, than it was before. By the way, because uh, th there's a couple things I did realize uh, when uh, while well, we were talking about it on my Discord for a little bit, and uh, essentially that the thing I didn't I didn't realize is that. Um, Core fragments become less frequent as you spread out. Uh, they're more centralized in the middle. Uh, so it's the fact that you're limited by seams which really kills it. Because um, I've been looking on the outside and they're kind of hard to tell because of the way I have it. I wish I had the other icons, but you have like one here, something like that. I'm not sure how many there are on this planet. I'm going to guess like, because I'm tapped into like, I think like eight of them right now. No, no, seven. How am I only in seven? I guess I didn't go into another one or something. I don't know. I'll have a look in a minute. See, that I kind of wish that showed up more often, but it, it interferes with my other mod for resource um, things. Apparently that is deleting the icons that the core, core fragment things put down, so. Which is kind of annoying, because it that like I like that icon a lot better. So, I don't know. I don't know if I should remove the other mod, but yeah. But yeah, as you get to the out, outskirts, it puts a lot less core miners down. Uh, almost none, actually. They're more centralized in the middle. That's how it is. And I, I have no reason to assume it won't work that way on Novice as well. So, I'm going to guess, I'm going to tap into 50 them, 50 Core Fragment Miners if I'm lucky. And then, uh, it's the logistics you set up with and all that kind of stuff. So, it's not quite to the point where, uh, when I threw down 200 of them, you know. Essentially, what I had before going was, I had at level 10 mining, because that's what I had, I had level 10 mining, and I had uh, 300 Fragments a second. That's what I had before. And with the amount that I have here, 
you know, I have, uh, let's see, we have 10 place down. I go here, times it by 10. Because remember, I, I did three purple belts worth of it. Um, per second is 71. So, uh, I need, like, remember, but I had, like, 200 of them. And it's going to be diminishing, so. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, 71 doesn't sound that bad, actually, now I think about it, but... But I think I think the idea is that if you need to if you're playing like a two like a hundred times scale multiplier or something like something really crazy, uh, I think the idea is that you basically go and start like saying okay I'm going to go to you know another uh, I'm going to go to another um, uh, planet or system or something that's what you do you go kind of like you kind of like roam around a little bit and you go to other so you go you basically go uh, cross system, but again I don't know how you'd have the UPS to basically handle that so. Yeah, it's just uh, just really weird, I guess. Wasn't there to boost the amount of reserves per fragment, making each fragment more valuable? There was, which is also affected by productivity modules, technically. I kind of looked at it, and it's like a very small boost. Very minor. Because I, I kind of looked at what I had before. Okay, here, one second. I'll even show you. Because I actually have it. It, it, it open um, here. I took a screenshot of my old run. Uh, where is it at? That's the thing I still don't know, uh, and I, I'm gonna guess that they're still feeling it out. Where's it at? Oh, did I, I didn't delete it, did I? Hopefully you didn't delete it. Oh yeah, it's, I think I just called it untitled. Yeah, I called it untitled. That's what I did. All right, here we go. So it's this one right here, right? Can I like put this? Can I pin this to the top? Yeah, no, I can't. Isn't there like a thing to do that? Keep below others. Yeah, whatever, I'll just go to here and then I'll just I'll tab to it. Alright, so. So, it's like, there you go. Uh, well, actually you can't really see it, can you? One second. Don't fit. Zoom in. So, it was 16 to do 6555. Five, five. This is my for my own video, right? And 8% eight, and, uh, 8 for that one. So you get a little bit less uranium, it seems, because you require more core fragments for it. But like, here's the thing, like, fine, you get more iron ore out of it, but you're also using four more fragments to do it. This is, by the way, KS2. You know, I should mention that. Um, KS2 and, and, and the other thing. So you get that pyroflux, you get less water, but that doesn't matter. You get a bit more crude oil. But again, you're using more core fragments, so I don't know how that works. You get more stone, at least. Stone definitely got a big buff um but copper you get less uh, copper you get less iron it looks like to me in a way well no you don't get less but like you get what i'm saying i mean guess that rare raw metals was taken from copper by the way is how that works so i'm not sure because it, it looks to me it looks about the same because you're using four more fragments split across all these things and you're getting like one or two more of each, you know? So I, I don't really know. And you get less uranium, but that doesn't really matter to me. It's not a big deal. So I'm not sure I'm not I'm not sure if it's strictly better. You'd have to like really run the numbers and stuff on that, and I'm just like, I'm not sure. I haven't i I have not done the math on that, because that's it, like you also have to take into account productivity modules and stuff, right? But like it's the fact that you need more core fragments to do it, so. I think it ends up being a significant boost. Should be at least 20% better now. The big question could be, if you kept adding core mining, could you speed up research forever? I mean, you mean like uh, the productivity upgrades? Yeah, that, that that that's what makes it really good, by the way. Because I'm at 50% right now for productivity, um, percent, like percent. And that's like, for every two core fragment miners, I get one for free. That's the biggest thing that actually impacts the feasibility of core fragment mining, which is why it's really good. But, um, yeah, for the other stuff, it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a bit rough, man. I, I don't actually know. I can't, I can't think about how the math works in my head to make that into something feasible. Anyways, let's go do energy science back then. I'm going to start, stop dilly-dallying around. I just need to think about this one. Broad, 23 supercomputers. It's so weird. Um... That is for the 500 target.
Oh yeah. Oh right, and this this actually needs energy science pack ones to to make this one, so I have to kind of move it around. It's very simple since Sprout module bonus doesn't impact the buff they did to the recipe. But is it a like how much of a buff is it? I'm just trying to think. Because you look at the recipe and you you need to use more fragments to get the more ore, right? So it is it is like it looks like it's about 10% better or something like that. Like very minorly. Like like if you do okay, one second. Let me look at it again. So it's like let, let, let's just let's just do straight up like iron ore. Let's do straight up iron ore. One second, I closed it completely wherever wherever it was at. Because now now I, now I need to do the math on this. Because now now you've gotten me curious. Because I'm really uh, curious about that now. Let's see. Uh, where is it at? I called it untitled. Because I didn't name it, or maybe I didn't. I oh, know it's on. Oh, no, that's my photos. Uh, here we go. Okay, so so before it was six. Six fragments, uh, sorry, um, every uh, six iron pieces for every uh, 16 core fragments. So it's about 0.38 is, is iron ore. Let's just do iron ore, right? 0.38, right? And the new one is... Uh, where's it at? The new one is 20 fragments to eight. So you then do eight divided by, whoops. So it's it's minusculely better. One one was um, one was thirty eight percent will be core fragments. This is now forty percent will be core fragments. The the copper ore though got a better one because that was five divided by. But I'm not sure if that it was KSG that did that. Twenty that's like twenty five percent, and then like uh, this one is now eight, and that well it's the same number forty percent. So copper got better for sure. Stone got better for sure. Uh, power, power flux doesn't really matter, I guess, in this case. Yeah, I don't know. I still, I still don't really know. It, it depends on what it was. But then again, I didn't use a lot of iron in my last run. It's just copper did get better, but now copper is less of a requirement. Like, dude, I, <laughs> it's, it's so weird. Also, it's the other recipes also matter too, because those also change as well. So, okay, let's go build some, some stuff. Let me go hate life and uh, build uh, build some machines here. I'm just trying to think here. Okay, I didn't, I didn't copy this right again. Nope. Oh, what is this? Oh, because it's like, uh, that's so weird. Because I, I can't copy it from the map, that's why. Where am I at right now? Oh, right here. I'll put the energy here, sure. Oh wait, I'm not even there. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, or it doesn't matter since we're always comparing against normal mining. That's also very true, I think. That's what I'm saying. I'm, it's so confusing because I, I, I actually, like, I don't know how they did the math with it, right? Because in some cases it seems worse, but in some cases it seems, like, maybe minutely, minutely better. Realistically, the, 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 kind of the, 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 the sorry, I'm, I'm tripping up on my words a little bit here. Um, the, the, kind of like the opinion I've kind of had is that it's different now. That's, that's what I mean. It's not strictly better or worse, it's just different. You know, and you, you can't really say one or the other anymore. <laughs> Mike, you're drunk already. I was drunk yesterday. I was extremely drunk yesterday. This is a lot of electromagnetics, by the way. You know, I'm thinking of just... I think I'm just lowering my target to 250, by the way. Is that a... Is that an unreasonable amount? I, I keep forgetting that these beacons are literal trash and I'm trying to work my way into them. 
Maybe, maybe what we should do, you know what I'm gonna do? I have an idea of how to solve this, actually. Where, uh, well... Yeah, let's just do this. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, delete all this. I have, I, have, I have an epic idea, guys. We're going for beacons right now anyways, right? So let's already change our thing so that we're gonna target the buildings for the beacons and I'm just gonna upgrade them at some point. Because that this is what we're doing anyways, so why would we do anything different? Oh, let's see. Yeah, this this becomes a lot different now. Yeah, now it's like now it's like eleven machines now. And that one, I'm gonna also go to the the better supercomputers at some point too, and you know some other things like this. So now it's like ten machines, and this like this one even says particle colliders one. Like, only one particle collider for atomic data? Oh wait, is this the wrong thing? Because I, I don't do I do not do this thing right now. I think I'm looking at the next one. Yeah, I looked at I, I clicked the wrong one. Because it's like shifting things around. Yeah, there you go. So now it's like 8.8, 9.3, 7.0, things like that. And that's much better. Alright, so let's start with... Um, Raggle Fraggle. Hey! It's strictly better when you have enough mining productivity. It's tough to keep up with fragment processing since you get more per insert swing. Yeah, I still don't. I, I still don't even know. It's still really confusing to me. I tried to crunch the numbers a little bit, and it's just like, yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. I figured I would kind of get more into it as I went along, and that was it. Uh, while we're going, actually, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go pick up uh, something else here. Where are we at? Uh, there's like a data card somewhere here, right there. Wait, how do we not have data cards? We have 1.4. What? 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 Are, what are my bots still doing? Are they in buffer chests? Oh, I, I have them in buffers. Oh, right. I forgot about that. All right, let's go back up here and I will... Continue with some of these guys. All right, so we got. I'll start with, uh, I guess, electromagnetics or something. Uh, I'll start with the building that wants like ten of them, actually. I hopefully gave this enough space, actually. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, when I had one that required three, right? How big did I make the stops? Nope, that was as big as I made it. That's good. I guess I could still kind of put it into the bottom, that's why I kind of did that. It's because some of them will also return junk data cards, so I have to have a junk data card pickup for a lot of these as well. So that's, that's like, it has to have... I, I maybe can have it do all three things, by the way. Because uh, it I don't think it actually requires as much of all this stuff than I, than I think it does. So this guy is doing... So we can't quite fit 9.3 machines here, which kind of sucks. This this part I don't really like. 
Then again, I, I think at some point we're gonna upgrade the speed modules as well, so maybe maybe this is not a big issue. Maybe this should just be the target. Let's do eight. I know I know it's significantly less than the uh, the nine point three, but unless I want to do something where like I toss it down somewhere or something I don't even know I kind of don't not gonna lie so I switch this one there we go the the, the it's the machines that are like uh, really screwing with me sometimes here oh good we have our first junk and scrap one just try to scale builds, layouts make sense, yeah. I mean, that's kind of my target with a lot of this stuff. I also probably have to leave enough space between these to actually put a wider beacon in them, but yeah. How big are wider beacons? Like 4x4, four four, I think, so. You end up low, just double the build. That's kind of what I'm thinking, too. Well, just for some of them, you can you can double it up, but yeah. All right, let's do. Yeah, the the weirdest part is it requires all this stuff. So, contaminated scrap we're gonna have to deal with at some point. Actually, we need to make a place to deal with that now. What can you do with that? Oh, good. It gives you uranium ore. Uh, I can I can active provided that. That's fine. I'll let that be dealt with other ways. All right, the bio sludge, the lovely world of bio sludge. <laughs> oh, I've totally forgot about that. I haven't, I haven't really dealt with that yet. So we don't quite have all the things we need to basically deal with all the byproducts, unfortunately. Uh, but that's what I kind of have over here. I don't think we're going to need enough of it for me to really care about it. Yeah, because it just requires one. I could probably even direct insert this, maybe. I don't know. Uh, well, this is also using the other beacon setup as well. give it uh, a little bit here. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one, he says, as he spends too much time on this one. Uh, do two. We even have some uh, cosmic water right over here. That's nice. Let's see. Um, and since we may have something that, that gives both contaminated scrap and something else back, we're going to probably have to make something that it uh, is able to handle bring it all out kind of a thing.
Yeah, I'm, uh, just store for tanks. Yeah, no, no, I, I will store at least the bio sludge in tanks, but that's it. You know, I'm actually kind of curious, uh, Re Re Regathian, uh, how many hours do you have in this game? I'm gonna say you seem extremely knowledgeable to me, so probably a lot more than I do. I do have to ask, it was, it's making me now a little bit curious, so. Oh. <laughs> Seven, yeah, that's a lot more. 7,000 hours? Dang. You, okay, you are a pro. Alright. I, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling, but I, I, I couldn't confirm it. I had to ask. You confirm my suspicions right there. Yeah, because I'm at a... What, what am I at right now? Oh, I've already said I was at like... Just like sub 1,500 hours kind of thing, so... So some of this, some of these builds, I'm still like uh, trying some things out for the first time, because I'm just like uh, I'm st I'm still figuring things out. On Steam, that is. There might be a few chaos Steam. Yeah, I, I I didn't ever play this when it wasn't on Steam for myself. So. I I think definitely when the uh, when the mods got a lot bigger and better. Uh, that was a lot of what it did for me. I just realized that I kind of want to give it a scrap drop off here and I might just give it some kind of garbage wait for it to bring it over here. That doesn't actually align at all with anything I'm doing here. Because that's, that's the way I roll, lads. <laughs> just like right here. This goes right through. It's gonna be another one of those situations where I just don't overthink it. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah, no, that's 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 pretty impressive to, uh, hours in this actually. I'll get there one day. Uh, is there a reason why? I think I gotta do that, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I can't quite put one over here. I don't mind if it waits there for that. That's okay. I do have to though finish this one. I don't know how I didn't finish this before. Realize that there's an entire waiting area and it doesn't even do it though. You played uh, for a bit while furnaces had loaders. Okay, that's way early then. I think I only got introduced uh, at like patch point 10 or point 11 or something. It's when a lot of the graphics changes started to come into place. So I remember, like, the, I remember the early versions of the game looked really rough, but I, I didn't even realize it existed until like a lot later than that. So I'm not I'm not a graphics first man, but I uh, like I I just I wasn't aware of it until earlier. Because ironically, uh, everyone was wondering. Pat introduced me to this game, so <laughs> so he's the one at, who he's the one at fault for basically get, getting me into the good old crack Tario, you know. You have him to blame or to thank, either, whichever one you kind of prefer. So. You used to have like 10 boilers per steam engine, and then the boilers chained together like pumps. Yeah, that was way before anything I ever did with this game. It was an excellent it was an excellent concept, and I'm really glad it took off, by the way. So I will obviously I'm, I'm playing it all the time now, so. <laughs> so let's 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 be uh let's be frank with that.
Oh, right, that's why I did that. Uh, we may actually not be able to do that anyways, because I need to do something else. Scrap. That's a lot better now. I oh, yeah, absolutely. doesn't quite work. Alright. I, I don't know where I'm gonna... I'm probably just gonna... Oh, I, I have actually some things right here actually for it anyway, so... And you won the game by taking off of a plane instead of launching a rocket? That is extremely... Uh, beginning. I remember though a lot like when I started playing a lot of the blueprint quality of life things came in a little bit later by the way so I it, I did come in a little bit and got to appreciate all the things they did with like the copying and pasting and stuff like that. I remember they had blueprints it just it wasn't like as easy as what I'm like doing all the time basically so I remember that much so Oh, but that's pretty amazing. You got some good history with the game then. Sledge here. I'm not dealing with this. I refuse. I'm coming in, uh, um, coming on to 500 hours of SEK2, and you played vanilla for 200 hours ish, but you didn't see the point of mega basing for the sake of mega basing. I, you know what? I'm the same way, my friend. I did the same, I was the same way. I knew people were doing it at the time, but I, I couldn't really get into it because I was like, uh, I had the same thing. I'm like, I'm not going to just build a big base because I, I like to have a goal in mind as well. Uh, so that's why, like, for me, a lot of what uh, kind of the biggest bases I've made are actually with SE because the, it's the whole SE challenge. And then just adding a, adding a modest multiplier of times 10, I figured was a good good option to go for that as well to basically add a little bit to the, um, the flair of the game, right? So that's, that's kind of how I did it. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm the same way. But luckily now there's a lot of great ways of uh, extending the like longevity of the game now, so. You're not strictly limited to uh, all this other stuff that you may not want to be doing. Is it a percent chance, or...? No, it just gives you the... Yeah, no, it just gives you straight-up scrap back. Hey, thanks, Andy Gaming. Thank you for the raid, my friend. How are you doing tonight? Got off some Factorio, I hope. We we're just having a chat about our uh, our hours in in uh, Factorio. <laughs> All good, real shit got done tonight. Yeah, in Factorio, playing with any good mods. All the good ones. I can only hope. Ooh, these bots are not fast enough, by the way. It doesn't help that I don't have enough logistic bots. You know what, I'm just gonna give it a bunch of them. Actually, I have an idea of how to solve this. Yeah, you're doing your K K2 plus SC playthrough? Oh, that's good. I, I, I did that first when I started, and I, I found it to be really, really enjoyable. It was actually excellent 
uh, set, set for the mod, uh, the mods actually. It adds a lot of flair and a lot of flavor to the game and all that kind of stuff, so. Oh my god, there's a ton of this stuff here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, I don't need construction bots here. K, uh, K2SC is the only way to play the, this mod pack. I oh, man. Taking shots at me. Come on. <laughs> Trying my best here. Why would you do a thing like that to a guy like me? Yeah, iron, copper, wood, steel, bricks with LTN. Oh, you know, you know that uh, LTN does not work with uh, what's it called? LTN doesn't work with um, the space elevators, right? And they're, the mod author said they're not going to support it. It's moving now. All that with the help of Ragatharian, he's a really cool dude to have in your stream. Yeah, I was just, I, I was just uh, complimenting the amount of hours he had in the game. Actually, we were just discussing that. that that's what, that's actually what brought it up. I was, uh, I was kind of saying, I'm like, you seem to have a lot more time than I do because he, he's uh, very informative and very knowledgeable. So I wanted to. I wanted to grill him on his number of hours that he has. He's impressive, impressive. He's on the he's, he's on the seven seven thousand. Space elevators not even close for me, so I'm good. Well, it's not about the closeness, right? I'm saying like they're literally not supported, so you can't use them with LTN. You'd have to put vanilla trains through the LTN system, and then then that becomes really weird and awkward, you know. Anything else that we want for research after this? Maybe another swarm safety. I don't know. Atomic bombs. Yeah. Maybe we'll maybe we'll give science a rest for a little bit, just because it'll let some of my resources catch up and some of my sciences catch up too. But getting into that energy would be good. Uh, just thinking here, because I I now have a little bit more. Where's this at? Uh, there it is. We can actually target a little bit more than this now. Because I think I did the research for it, right? Yeah, yeah. We did. We have Swarm Safety 7. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Have it right there. Oh, uh, let's see. You just bridge it with normal trains. You can. Uh, you can also have a really weird system that doesn't work here. Why doesn't this work? Okay. Clearly, there's been a couple flaws here. All right. I, I really wish I. So I wish I had not done the station at the end. I realized that I should have never done that to begin with. Because it just caused a major deadlock. Uh, where's the other one? I'm gonna have to add a condition for it to just be able to go. I'll fix this later. I, I'm not gonna bother with it too much right now because uh, these stations still kind of. I, I'm still their work in progress. So I've, I, I was playing around with having the um, depots at the end and also at the beginning and some other ones too. And uh, yeah, at this point, I'm gonna just do it kind of more like this. All right, let's go back to this. Uh, so what was the biggest one to target? Makes no sense. Electromagnetic field data. I had a feeling, though. I had a good feeling, though. Oh, no, I did not have a good feeling. That was the point. The bad feeling about it.
Oh, you can only target like two of these. Well, you know what? This is fine because we can probably use something at the top there. So these ones have, oh good, they, actually, you know what? I can't even do this anyways, because this one needs plasma stream and the other thing, and there's no way I can have both of them. Well, okay, well, there is a way I can have both, but I have to separate these out a little bit then. Yeah, so I need like three kinds of fluid here and some other stuff as well. I should actually probably put this more towards the end. Uh, nah, yeah, forget it. So let's see. So let's have the blues always here. I think it's actually the this thing I need to target. <laughs> oh man, that is literally awful. I think it'd be better just to space them out completely, actually, and now I think about it more. So here's the thing, it gives, it, it needs to receive blank data cards and it needs to give back potentially two of these, right? So I, I kind of wanted to have strong boxes for it again, but you need three of them. Yeah, this actually might work. Now I think about it. The main thing is just to make sure that the, in the middle is always the uh, one of them and then at the, bottom is always one of the other ones, so. I think the best thing to do would be to, to have it in such a way where the blue one would never be here, but you know what? I don't think we can do that, because it's either way, it's gonna suck, so. <laughs> I think you don't have a choice. You wonder if solar players always targets planets? For some reason, I've never gotten one that's gone for my moons. Nope, it, it can target orbits, too. I, I, think it, I think there's a preference early on to target like, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a preference, I think, early on to target novice. And maybe, maybe it has a lower chance of doing orbits, but yeah. No, I, I have them targeting moon. I have one right now that's going for a moon. Look at this, coronal mass ejection heading for uh, Hanetsky. And I, by the way, should probably send the Hanetsky rocket over because at this point it's, I mean, it's not gonna have anything else versus Hanetsky. Yeah, this is fine. This has an umbrella in it, so. So, Hanetsky is a moon for me. There you go. A nice small moon. So, I, I have one coming for it right now. It chooses random sur from surfaces that are discovered. So, there's a couple that are going to be novice and because you know nothing else. Yeah, okay, that would be why then. You're right. So, you have to, you have to know where the surface is, I guess. mention I really don't like the way this is configured. Okay, here's what I can do. I can move these two together, right? I think I can I think I can actually make this work a little better. Cuz unfortunately it means that I need to spread this out a little bit more. I can't do well I can do it if I just move it away further which is not a bad idea actually now this could be the worst thing I've ever done I want the trains to load ASAP that's the main thing I probably should have given it more space but I think this will still load into here 
Yeah, it, it still will, so this is fine. Oh, but you have the problem with this is, is I can't filter this now because it's too far away. Uh, I think I'm boned no matter what. Or maybe not. Well, okay. I, I am boned, but... See, I have to have enough space for this, right? So it means I have to move these up by two. This actually might be just fine. But it'll look literally awful. <laughs> Do something like this. So that's the requester. That is the other one here. Um, so this is gonna basically return out electromagnetic field data. Oh my god! It means that like I can't do a consistent one for all of these. Then I have to like I have to basically do it ad hoc for any anything I basically build for these, which kind of sucks. But what what are you gonna do, right? If you made a field build uh, and recycler from the cannon receiver, now you can do nuclear everywhere ever effortlessly and have all the Corvex done on a novice. I mean, I have the same thing though, almost. I do, I do, well, I have my Corvex done. I'm gonna move it over to the other planet, but yeah. The, the, the plan I have is still pretty good. It's like, just send a lot around and do that. It's like, the problem is like, what with delivery cannons, right? You can basically send over uranium-238, 235, and I guess you can well, you send the iron, it, too, right? so... Tell me you tested it. Hey, thanks, Executive Raptor. Thank you so much, sir. As Mach, I'm sure, is around and, and, and sees it, that he got that. So thank you very much. Send both steel and, and both uranium types. Yeah... Uh, I, I do like really big ass cargo rockets because I need to send them around though. <laughs> Oot. I swear at some point I'm getting some uh, some emotes for the channel at some point. Some point soon. Somewhere at some point. Okay, this is looking pretty much a lot better of what I wanted to do with it. I can actually do this with all these. That's actually not bad. This is actually pretty good. So the, this middle one here, this is going to be, and it just has to target that middle box, right? The bottom box needs to target the bottom one because that's junk data cards, and then the last one is whatever. And I, I'm probably going to put some lights here in a moment. <laughs> you just do the same thing with this. Okay, this may actually not be good enough. I just realized. I think I need to go down a little bit. I like, I don't know, a little bit. I don't, I don't see it. Oh, but I can't do that because then this won't be able to connect. Actually, it can connect. What am I doing? It has like one extra space for it. Yeah, let's try this. This is the most challenging part of this run. I could probably actually, I know what I could do. You cut that. You'd have to target it a little bit differently, mostly like, uh, yeah. So junk data cards at the bottom and more data cards at the top. That's that's the thing. Oh my god, this is such a <laughs> confusing system. Okay, yeah, the pickup. Yeah, the middle one is is that one. I I don't like. I hate this one. I might change this. I might change this. I may not like this. This is this is really convoluted and for every single uh thing that i do here it's gonna be so bad i don't even know can we test for a snake butthole emote no we don't have that we're not gonna have that at some point the downside of sending rocket fuel cells you have to recycle them and, and then bring the bad uranium back i recycle this fuel cells and you send less 232 you could do what i do which is uh i do nothing <laughs> so i i you know what I did? I did, uh, I have 2.9k used up uranium fuel cells, and I said, that's a later problem. That's what I did. What do you even get for recycling them? I probably should do something about it, by the way. Oh, uh, you get some 238 out of it. That's not a bad idea, actually. I should do, actually do something with that. 
bad uranium and stone. Well, in my case, I don't get the stone, though, which is nice. Eh, I could, I could start doing something with that now. To be honest, it's not that, that hard to do. Where is, uh, is there a beacon I can basically tap and do? I don't think so. Oh, that's also absolutely fabulous. What happened to my coal? Where's the coal at? Come on. It's missing cargo sections again. It has absolutely no cargo sections. Cargo. Oh boy, Cornetto rocket. How do you only have this many? I don't understand. Where, where are they all at? Rocket control units. No, no iron plates. That's crazy. It's supposed to have a bunch of it going through here. Yeah, I even disconnected uh, the steel line, did I not? I did not. All right, you know what? This is done. God, that's so bad. It's I, it's supposed to plug into the main bus. Where's it even getting used in? Well, I guess I was prioritying it. Yeah, I was prioritying it into that. That's why. Right. It just kept getting used more and more, and to the point where it doesn't have anymore. This is the, this is one of the issues when novice isn't making its own uh, iron anymore. But I, I can I can help the line here one second. We get some easy solutions for this. Uh, let's see. This is by the way uh, my utter refusal to allow novice to do anything at all that's useful because I, I I'm trying to get us to the science point where we can not have to deal with this anymore. Uh, seems like you should convert to belting ingots aground. I mean, so here's the thing. Again, I'm trying to get off of novice, right? So I'm I'm dealing with like the minor inefficiencies, just because I don't want to have to deal with novice. Really, that's honestly the reason. And this one has the same problem, but this is okay. I'm just trying to get. So I'm trying to get two space elevators. Then I'm gonna build a bunch of stuff there because it's like, how do you transport it up, right? And I I don't want to like make a temporary system in order to do that like to basically bring it around i'd rather it have something else that's kind of nice for this we don't need this over here anyways there you go i have lots of iron plates i've kind of filled the gaps with uh with logistic bots essentially With this dumb spaghetti base that I kind of made earlier. To me, that's the best solution for it. But yeah, anyways, let's go back to this. So I don't like how convoluted this is. I'm going. To, I'm gonna make this simpler. I just decided. I don't like this at all. How it's going to be, I do not know. Because it's essentially you have to take, you have to accept one thing and take in two things. That's how this works, unfortunately. So. I'm probably gonna, you know, I'm probably gonna start with. I'm gonna start with having some fluids on this side. Uh, so we need, because I, it's just gonna have. I'm just gonna make it two sides for it. It's a little bit too confusing to like try and make it all go down one side, so. I figure I'll keep using landing pads to bring materials uh, from moons and then use space elevator to take refined stuff to orbit. Thing is that it's not that far behind, but like if if I do, so if I start going and trying to upgrade all my stuff to prod everything, uh, you know, like have proper bussing, things like that, things like that, like it's gonna take essentially like a good five hours to refactor that when I wanna go to like a train base anyways. And I wanna have it just load into trains, go to Jet Nova orbit and dump it off, right? And and just for what? Like for these little minor, you know, discrep like little discrepancies, right? I, I just like, I don't wanna deal with it right now. So I think for now I'm, I'm more than happy to deal with 
the minor problems that I have with it. And we'll see. Alright, let's also do one more. I want to bring a plasma stream or something over. It's like one of these ones, isn't it? Yeah, this one. Actually, this may not be the one I want to have. Okay, actually, I don't want to have this one come here. Uh, let's go call it... Uh, ion. It's, it's actually Ion Stream. Which means we need, need, now need to get Iron Stream. Why, why do you have no path that you can't leave? Because it's like, how many times do you want to really rebuild in this game? <laughs> it's like, I, I've already done it, like, well, I, I've not done it many times, but I'm trying to target more of uh, what my late game strategy is going to be, so. Alright, this is too, too close now. I think I... Did I move it up a little bit? Yeah, I did move it up a little bit. That's why. I was wondering about that. Because that's the hardest part, is how do you get to... Uh, the kind of the, the place you want to be, be at, you know? Go get some ion stream then. How much do we need for this? I mean, we could technically start using like that ship that we have, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I won't really care right now. 4.6 machines. It's still doing this one. I'm gonna actually bring it down back to that. Uh, let's see. 4.6 machines. This is, has some iron, some copper, and some other stuff. Yeah. Figure the initial spaghetti bus, initial spaghetti space bus, rebuild the train city bigger bus. I mean, all the thing is for that, all you need is you need energy science pack one. That's all you actually need to get started on that, on that essentially that bus system that we're literally talking about right now. It's the only thing you need. When you have that, you're good to go. And we're, we're actually, we're at that point. We have it, right? But it's like, the things we don't have are things like space elevators. We cannot bring said material over here uh, that easily. It's like, do you still do rockets? So my, my contention was, I was like, I'm, I want to use like rockets like this to basically like just bring the material here and that will basically mimic um, how it will work with the space elevators. Like, I figure what I'll do is I'll have the, I'll have an ingot stop here and then it will also do that. And I don't know where I'll put it. I'll put it somewhere else, but it'll have like an ingot stop uh, and I'll just pick up that stuff. Why is this one not going anywhere? Oh, because it, oh, right, it doesn't have, uh, I have to reset this one. Yeah, do that one, and then do this one as well. Okay, two rockets inbound. And you know what the other thing I need to do? I need to go onto this planet and fix my, oh, there's like a lot of rockets going. Also, I don't think I ever made the Cornetto rocket go, because the fact that this does not have coal is a huge, huge problem. Where's Cornetto? Yeah, whatever, this is gonna have to be good enough. I need to make sure that this continues to go, and it looks like it is kind of going now. Still got a little bit of iron plate problems. I'm surprised it basically uses a full bus of this, almost. Oh, because all this other stuff needs it, too. This is a diff very different time. I ha must have had a lot more going in right now here. There you go. Yep. 
you really need that much? Okay, that pretty much does it right there. All. Yeah, you did my approach a bit different, starting out with prod science and then going into a bigger moon. Basically prep for getting space elevators one fell swoop. You know, the prod science I, I, I was very sad that I gave up on uh, for one reason, one reason only. <laughs> it's because I, I really like having productivity modules and uh, I, to forgo that is a huge, huge blow to what I want to do here. Yeah, there you go. That was that was the hardest decision to make actually in this. Uh, we can do something a little bit different than this actually. Oh, you can't quite get this to be. I don't know, this actually does work. There you go. You know, in the first year of green science for spooters. That, again, that also did hurt me too when I decided I wasn't going to be doing that. <laughs> so, I will say I wasn't, uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of uh, my strategy when it came to that. Because some of those things are really nice, but like I feel, I feel like, uh, like I said, space elevators are like literally locked behind like Astronomic One, Energy One, and Material Two. It's not that hard to get to, you know, when you think about it, and that opens up a lot of possibilities, at least for what I want to do with my train base thing, you know. That's kind of how I treated it, so. Yeah, this doesn't actually really save that much space, does it? It saves like one tile of space together. I don't know why I did this. This kind of looks weird. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna move it back to the way I had it before. Fact that they also transmit energy is huge correct as well I wanted to I wanted to also uh, use that in orbit as well and see how that would kind of work for a lot of my uh, energy problems as well I thought that would be kind of fun to to play around with I think I'm going to do the same thing here, where I'm just going to treat it as a separate uh, logistics grid and just bring in some bots. Like this.
Man, you can't wait to get to space. Space is fun. Space, that's the part, that's the point of it all. Um, he's already leaving novice for, uh, was stating the reasons for what Mike said he was leaving novice main base space area. Personally, I'm stuck with novice. Yeah, I want to get out of, I, I don't like a lot of what novice has. The only thing I like about it is core fragments. That's it. I like the lower gravity of other planets and, and some of the other stuff, so. And just making a nice small moon and things like that. Those are the main things I'm kind of after. I did I did this strategy before and I liked it last time too. I think everything every time I basically stayed on novice, I've regretted it. kind of all like I can basically do anything I want it's a space game why do I stay on this planet be a lot smaller too though that's the thing that must be your mall world fueled by core fragments uh, of course do this right now. Alright, we need to bring some uh, copper here. I think it's copper, right? Yeah. The copper is only if... Uh, I can do that. Copper. So there's nothing over here that will currently grab that, so we have to make a train for it, and then that's it. Provider until you're full, and copper requester until you are empty. Can it not go there? Okay, <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, why can't it? Why wouldn't it be able to go?
feel like these are maybe a little bit on the small side. I don't know, actually. I think Novice Oil will be fine until really late game, but it's impossible to predict. It'll be barely enough until you, before you finish the game. Well, it depends on... I guess it also depends upon the science multiplier you play on, because, uh, you know... I'm playing on the, the higher of science multiplier, so... I'm not saying it's a good idea, by the way, to do to do this, it's just, uh, it's what I'm doing, unfortunately. Oh yeah, that would explain why this was down here, by the way. Uh, right there. These don't eat up. This is an even number away. Well, I guess I could just do... can't quite bring another one up here, but I can do one more and that's it. the undergrounds would go through it. I maybe should just have it go up the side here. You know what? Forget it. I'm gonna have it go through the side. But it means that we can adjust actually most of this. Now I think about it. So the main thing I didn't want to do is I didn't want to have it uh, basically connect with this one in a way that I wouldn't have liked. Yeah, no, not like that. Maybe like this one and then a three and then a one. Yeah, that's like that. That, that looks good. All you really have to do is then this other guy. So I can't move this back here. You can essentially kind of move this here, and then that's it. So that's how these should actually be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust them all to accordingly. Good afternoon. I have enjoyed watching. Playing SE by myself for the first time and are rebuilding my initial spaghetti base. Any way to move tanks without losing fluid in them? Um, well, I have picker dollies. Uh, so picker dollies for me, just as an example, um, that's a mod I can do. So if you want to move it slightly to the side, you just uh, you press control shift and that you see it still maintains the amount that I had in there. That's one way you can do it. If you want to do it more like traditionally, uh, Either basically you have to essentially send a really long pump all the way or just barrel it up. That's a, that's the only ways you got after that. Barrels is the main way you'll be probably moving things around if you don't have if you can't pipe it over there. So if you're trying to go to um, another planet or something, then that would be how you do it. So that, those are those are kind of the the couple of options that you do get. Hopefully that is enough for you.
Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, the, the pumps would be the best way, I think, vanilla-wise. Uh, for, for you to do what you want to be doing. Okay, this is somehow connected to the entire grid. Why is that the case? This one, that's why. Well, that kind of sucks because I can't quite do that, can I? I don't want to hook it up to the grid, so... Um, this has a little bit up here, that's why. Well, that just plain blows. What's the benefit of the long pipes? Yeah, they're one, they're one, they're one entity, so there's less flow. They're really quite good for moving things around space. They're actually amazing. Uh, I wish this one had a little bit more leeway, but I can't. Yeah, I can't quite get it over there. Maybe I should just forget about the top. Actually, you know, let's just forget about the top. I could make it go more horizontally. There's no wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, do I need? Anyways, we're targeting 4.6. So if I just double this up again, then that's more past what the whatever needed to do. I don't need to overcomplicate this. How's that different fluids? Okay, it's not a problem over here. Okay, well, I don't like that. I screwed it up somewhere here. What, where did I mess this up? Right here. Oh, great. I did that for both of them, too. Was that the only one that was screwed up? I think it was the only one that was screwed up. Well, let's see if it hooks in now. Nope. Are these ones still okay? No, these ones are not. There we go. Now we're good. Click to... It's, it's not pipe contaminate. Well, actually, there's a... Wait, there is still a bit of pipe contamination. Well, how the hell did that happen? What? <laughs> I, it worked before. Why, why was I able to do it in that case? Are these not connected properly? Let me see here. No, these are okay. Okay, there's still something wrong. They're still connected somewhere they're not supposed to be. I hate it when this happens. Probably just residuals from the old era. No, not exactly. It's because they're connected somewhere. And I try to not have them be connected. It's like the, even though the outputs don't really connect anywhere. Okay, one second. Here's here's something we can do. So you, you can you can actually limit it by basically just doing this. So now now I can tell it's literally on this side somewhere, right? I can even go further and say, okay, it's not this one, it's something on, the, on this upper part, right? 
it can keep even going. It's like, okay, it's complaining over there. Right here, this is it, see? So when I do this, just adjust these ones, right? Uh, it's still not quite there, because this needs to be adjusted. There you go. So now it's, now it's appropriate now. It's, and even though it doesn't accept input into that, it's, not, it's, it's just some glitch with the game where it does that. It's really awkward. Even though it, it physically cannot do that, um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Something like that, yeah. It is it is really weird how that part of the game works, I will I will say. Alright, so let our bots bring that over. Alright, so we have copper, it can't unload it, because I have to act a bit. Alright, looks like our coal got moving again. And I'm really hoping that this part is uh, not missing various important uh, things for my production. It's a problem now. Steel. Okay, steel I, I knew would be an issue at some point, by the way. I mean, it, it doesn't help the fact I just disconnected a significant part of my steel production somewhere but it's essentially it's this guy right and coal was basically stalled for forever so you know that's just how it goes i really do want to this is gonna be one of the first things i think after i get the the next tier of beacons i'm going to significantly improve this infrastructure right there uh how's this guy doing i think we can keep this going yeah Not quite at the point where I want it to be. Man, I was really hoping I'd get those other ones there. Well, whatever, it's fine. Good enough for me. I don't, I don't care. It doesn't have to get all of that. It did. I'm a little bit sad. I can't. <laughs> I can't even get all that. How much is uh, here? Yeah, we only got like one or two rockets left. Is that literally all of it? Jam. It just ate right through that, didn't it? No, I think at this point, it's whatever is screwed up with it, I just don't care anymore. I think I got like maybe two rocket launches left in this thing. I may have to send up a couple of things, but that's it. I was having an issue with places uh, plasma. You'd flush the chemical gel from plasma out to so keep refilling it. No, it's because you had the you had the pipes connected. And you were essentially flushing everything out. By the way, uh, so just letting you know that that's that you didn't you didn't actually want to do that. It's um it's just basically the account is connected. So I, I have that here. It's working now because essentially what's happening is the outputs on the other outputs have to be the same. That's that's how you do it. If you were flushing, you were flushing unnecessarily. They weren't actually, they weren't interfering. They weren't actually connected. It's just a thing with a game that does that. So they don't have a flow through, but for some reason it thinks it's a flow through.
How much power is this going to be, you guys think? Eh, like, 3 gigawatts. Um, how much do we have? Uh, we got a little bit, but I'm going to add more. Because that's uh, essentially 6 gigawatts now, and I just need to add more of this stuff, so... We have enough power here, it's just like, we just have to make uh, endless solar panel farms and that's it. Oh, the bug is still there? Yeah. It was it was never fixed, as far as I know. See, I did that. And it's going to be Ion Stream Provider. Yeah, but all, all you, it's it's simple to fix it. All you do is you just make sure that they're aligned properly, and I and I always want to make sure it's aligned properly because it always tells me when I have something connected that I shouldn't. So it's it's just overall it's a good idea to to make sure it's it's in sync and just properly configured, you know. These will all have their other ones. Yes, they do. That one does not, though. How's our power doing now? Not incredible. See? Then it doesn't complain to me. That's what I like. I don't want it to complain. I want it to, you know... <laughs> I just want it to do it, what its job, basically, and... Uh, Give me, give me what I want with it, so. See, how's this guy doing? Yeah, that's going pretty good. The main thing I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to remove all this infrastructure because this is things I can use on my other platform. At this point, I'm not sending any more oil down or anything like that. If I need another rocket, I'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. You know, I could have used the rest of the petroleum to do this. I just realized, whatever. It's long gone now. Oh, everything's unpowered now. Shit. Why did that happen? What did I unhook? I think I unhooked something, I don't know what it was. Well, now it's kind of fucked here, isn't it? Because it's never gonna charge these. What are these even charged with right now? Yeah, this is charged. These are not, and neither is this. Oh, because it used to be hooked up there or something. I, 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 I don't know. Well, at least some of them are going, so that's okay. Well, yeah, okay, they're still kind of going. Okay, I may have actually screwed them up, by the way. There you go, they're kind of better. Yeah, I may have to come over here and, and adjust the rest of it. We'll just leave it, it's okay. And also there's a train out of fuel somewhere. What, how, Jet Nova Orbit? What, what, how did you run out? 
Oh, the, okay, this is the one where, okay, I knew one didn't have refueling inst instructions on it. I knew that there was one, and this is the one. <laughs> I, I knew I forgot it on one. I couldn't figure out which one it was. Hello, Ceteris. The master's base capitalism. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, there he is. Okay, it's fine now. I think he found it, yeah. I, 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 there was one I knew. Like, literally like a, like, like five hours ago. So, I figured I'd find out where it was after that. We're just gonna leave down with Sorba. It'll be the, the next thing we do. Alright, so we have Ion Stream right now, right? Was there anything else I need to adjust with it, or no? Okay, it still counts as in the network, why? Oh my god, there's there's that fucking thing over there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> just It keeps counting as a part of the network, and I'm getting really upset about this, because it's just, uh, it shouldn't be ever a part of the network. Making separate networks is actually a lot harder than I would have imagined. I imagine it'll be easier with a lot of the radar pylons and things like that. Dude, you have so many of these things. What are, What is wrong with you? Oh my god, at, there's a thousand logistic bots in he, just here alone. This is this is supposed to be a network of like five hundred of them. All right, something has construction in it though. Still, there you go. Alright, that's that's a ton, that's a hell of a lot better. Let's get out of here. Now, let me just make sure it didn't just add okay, it did it did a little bit, but that's fine. This is the network ID for this purpose. It's doable if you wanna what? Oh wait, wait, is there another way? I thought you just have to have them not connect. Network ID? It's doable if you want to treat them as separate. Oh, you talk. What? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you may have blown my mind for a second here. What? Is there a way to do it without that? Is a network a, a signal ID and LTN? Oh, I don't. I'm not using LTN. Oh, I thought I thought there was a way I could separate it with uh, the other thing, but shucks. All right. I think it just did something I did not want it to do. By the way, where is it at? Uh, where's here? Okay, good. It's it's actually fine. I thought it maybe sent uh, steel ingots here. Yeah, it's fine. Where are all the ingots? Oh, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Because we we brought it from uh, from Jet Nova uh, from uh, Novice Orbit. Yeah, they're right here. Forgot about that. For separate villain networks, I've used station prefix. Um, let me look at that up, actually. So when I get like a bunch of messages, oh. Oh, my friend's like messaging me. Does it not tell you on, on oh, I guess it doesn't tell you on Discord when I'm streaming something. I think I turned that off. Oh no, it does tell you when I'm streaming something. He should know this then. <laughs> he's like uh, like he's he's like he's getting angry because I'm not replying to him. I'm like, dude, what what are you talking about? I'm, I'm saying, alright, let's see here. I actually don't see that mod that you're talking about, by the way. I just want to mention that. The the station a, a station prefix. Or oh no no, I okay, I understand what you're talking about now. I, th I thought it was like a, a I thought it was like a mod for that or something. 
I was confused. Uh, okay, so I got these guys. This is all the data cards I have. So where's the train for this one? Let's see, where is it at? Oh, it's just filling up now. I think it has a timeout? No, it doesn't. It's just going as fast as it can, it's fine. LTN is now separate between surfaces. Uh, is it? I'm trying to think here. Oh yeah, I, I don't know. I've never I, I've never quite uh, used it. I've seen people use it, so I, I, I'm vaguely aware of how it works, but uh, I don't actually use it myself. So, where can it go? Okay, so it can't go get chips, which I kind of figured it wouldn't be able to. Because it's very difficult for it to bring all this stuff over, but that's okay. We don't mind. I'm, I'm willing to let it wait. It is, but you have two networks on the same surface and you still need to use the network ID. The network ID was originally made to be, make it work better with SpaceX. Yeah, the more you know. Alright. I think we finished everything else we have, right? Yeah, I think we did. Uh, I think the one thing I can do is, oh, I already, I already did this, uranium ore. Okay. I'm really hoping that this guy will launch in just a minute here. I'm just going to let it fill up all the way, because why not, right? It's just a little bit slow. That's why I want to get beacons, and I was going to hop on down here and, and basically fix this all up. Alright, let's go back to energy science. So what kind of lovely things we need? Oh my god, we need spe multi-spectral mirrors. And if we need multi-spectral mirrors... Uh, yeah, iridium plates. Lubricant is easy. Uh, chemical gel is also easy. Uh, the iridium is not so much, but that's okay. So we just have to set up a station of that and that's it. Uh, yeah, it should be pretty simple. Uh, yeah, actually this is pretty straightforward actually. Let me have a look here. I might move this into another place actually. It's gonna just drop off this stuff. What's this stuff? It's that, whatever. I think I'm gonna stop bringing things like this here. Just thinking of another place to drop this stuff off at. Maybe like right here, this is a good place for it. paint this. Where's the radar construction pile? There it is. And we're just going to go ham, but that's fine by me. It gives it a nice big grid for it to work on. So I actually want to start making glass uh, pickup stops and things like that. We have pals with stream now, so flying around and fixing issues, starter ships is doable. Yeah, I'm aware. Do some fun stuff with that. The reason why platform... We have 38k scaffold still. I should delete some of the stuff I'm not using for it, though, I should mention. Where's it at? Scaffold. Because I don't need... Well, I still will kind of need that one. I kind of place a lot of it down, and then I don't really kind of, like, use it all. Like, this is not needed. I, I was going to make, like, something else here, and then I didn't do it. Uh, 
That's the nice thing about Scaffold, is you can keep moving it around. Based upon what your needs are, so. Alright, while they're doing that. Like, this, this stuff will probably not be needed either. I really need, I really need better chargers for these bots. over here there you go that's it for that fortunately kind of just hang out here can I put like two down for each one I actually can this would be actually a good idea I didn't actually do this before because it actually has enough space for two I don't know why I didn't do that We actually have a good amount of robot ports. We do, like 138. Fortunately, like we just don't have good supercharging or anything like that, so they're just gonna basically, you know, party or whatever they do. Whatever bots do when they uh, can't get around. I probably should make uh, some charging stations over there, actually. I'll make them a little bit easier. I mean, over here is okay, but that the main one's gonna be down there. They're gonna be all in queue around that other one, so... Since they got a couple down here, then, uh... <laughs> the old unionization meetings? Uh, no. No, no, they don't. They're, they don't have enough energy to do that. We keep that. We keep them starved of power, so they don't. Uh, they don't do that. It's all good. Let's do a scrap. I actually have 45k of this stuff. I impressed my robots like 2022. Wow. Way to, way to call me out on my uh, on my practices here. Give me just a second here. Kind of want to just add more scrap somewhere here. Uh, I might just do it up here. All right, let's go back here. <laughs> Okay. I oppress my robots. Put a buffer chest with scaffolding out there so the, um, the logistic bots can help carry it out. Eh. Uh, the, the thing is that my logistic bots are mostly busy with other things though, but... Okay, maybe they're not. Maybe that's a total lie. They're not busy with anything. I mean, I think I would do that moving forward, but maybe not right now. I don't know. I, you know what? That's enough bots charging for this. Maybe I won't do that. Eh. How many? Uh, how many? How much scaffolding do we have left now? A forty-two k. It's gone up. I swear. I do need to kind of clean up a lot of the things I did do for this because I deleted some and then moved it around. I didn't really quite think that through. I need to keep it clean. They have better stack size, so they do it far more efficiently. Are you sure about that? 
No, they do it the same. Unless you're saying that the bots will only carry one around. Oh, okay, they carry one at a time. Okay, that might be why then. Never mind. Okay, I'll go. I'll go tell them to go do that. Because it, it's. Uh, I do want to extend uh, the the project here, anyways. Why do they even have that upgrade then? If they're not gonna, if they're not gonna use it properly, maybe uh, maybe like ten thousand. Oh, uh, thank you, novice, for uh, for this. Let's see, how's our steel stacks doing? Let me just have a look at that. Give me a minute here. Did it launch the rocket? Did it did it get to where it was supposed to go? Yep, it did. It did do its thing. So now there should be on novice, there should be a ton of steel somewhere here. Uh where's it at? Yep, there it is. Okay. Oh my god, it just ate right through it, by the way. Well, it did because of the the chest that I have it in, so. I did kind of decide to remove this, didn't I? Alright, well... Yeah, it's still just eating right through. It's going way faster than it has any right to, which is why it's important that we kind of get into some of this other stuff that we had going. Because it, it was also coal was not moving for a long time there. How's our coal rockets been? Tornado. Uh, why is this not working? Oh, vents. I, I need to press the tab. So let's say last hour. Yeah, no, it, it it's odd. Kind of eats all of the coal, and it's only being used on. Well, I'm not gonna say it's only being used on that because I believe it's also. Okay, I I, I think I know also something else I should do with odd Quan. That's rather odd Quan. Um, this right here should not be the case. So do we have any, so we do, we basically just make flat petroleum, I think. Yeah, so I can do, uh, that's not what I wanted it to be. Oh, I thought that was what I wanted it to be. Yeah. yeah. Originally, oh, you know what I just realized? There is actually, why am I using coal for this? There is a very intricate thing. I could just use this, this crushed ore. I just realized, because <laughs> this this stuff is useless anyways. It's uh, it's got a fuel value, any regardless. Okay, I've been doing that very wrong. Also, this is the wrong kind of uh, belt. Because vulcanite actually does this really well. Why wasn't I doing that before? I don't even know. I mean, it, it wasn't a, it wasn't a lot of coal wasted, but still, like it. Yeah, it's just you do this and that's it. That's that you have fuel forever on your uh, on your trains. I mean, I could bring nuclear fuel here eventually, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of good with that. Does the crush stuff work? Yeah, it does. I I I had, I'd done it when I first landed on the planet. I did that originally, and then I I, I just noticed that I had that coal in there, but I think it was because the coal was. I was trying to avoid it because I think it was coming from uh, core fragments, but like I now need a lot more of it, so I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Mike is art smarts, not really, because I had it like that from to, from the beginning, so, and it it wasted a lot of coal that it didn't need to here, because the coal should actually be going into steel all the time. There's no reason it should go into anything else. 
And I think there's like one more cold patch like right here that I want to tap into next time I was here. Oh my god. <laughs> All the freaking... It's the iron and stuff that's going away, by the way. It's, yeah. Okay, here's the plan. We're going to get those beacon level twos and then uh, come over here, do some more uh, outposting. We got 1.3, 4.5. Yeah, we do have it here, but we did eat a lot more of it than I would have imagined. 2, 2.3, uh, 3.6, yeah. So there's a fair bit of uh, uh, iron that we can still get through at the moment, but yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I just use solid rock fuel to do it. Uh, that's what I was going to do originally, but that, that you're using water and oil that I do not have on that planet, so. That was the reason I didn't want to do that. That's, that, that strategy is a way better one that I just did. It does need water for wall processing, yeah. Oh, no, just solid fuel, not rocket fuel? Oh, I see. Yeah. Alright, let's go do some landing pads somewhere here. Uh, let me think here. done it you bought you've emptied an entire bottle of whiskey um that's that's rather not specific <laughs> could have poured it down the drain for all i know hopefully not especially if it was good whiskey it's a sin yeah <laughs> the sink or the throat that's what i was thinking too it's <laughs> exactly the, the what i was thinking too The throat, okay. Well, that's good to hear. It's a distinction we have to make, because who knows. I forgot I have to distinguish that, actually.
Okay, these are both not going. Why is that? Oh, it is just asking for it. Uh, well, it's it's coming. It's coming. There we go. We got but we got one of them and the other one's probably coming in a minute. Do we have the umbrella here ready? Where is it at? Yeah. And definitely enough power to handle that. Although Oh yeah, gigawatts, sorry. <laughs> Freaked out for a second there. Then what I have to essentially do is I have to take this one and reverse it. This is all for just like some silly scaffolding thing that I had before. Okay, there we go. Now we have this guy going. some more Corvex to our loop. Yeah, we got tons of it here. We still have a lot of your tube 35 here as well, so that, either one I'm not concerned about. And it looks like I did kind of fix the uh, cargo section problems that I had before. I'm actually glad I hooked up Barrel to that. Can I can I mention that? Because <laughs> I'm like, uh, definitely has a little bit more uh, left to be desired for that. So it gives me an idea of fixed landing pad, trains pull up with a tiny bit of inventory and cargo, and the landing pad tops off all the items. Sirs get stuck with contents of their hand while filling the train. Yeah, I've 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 built around that pretty well, actually, to be honest. These are fine. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna refill my coffee, guys. I'll be right back, guys. So we'll go watch uh, uh, these trains. Be right back.
All right. Streamer gone, streamer gone, streamer gone. Hoff is supposed to be a moderator, an upstanding part of this community. And, uh, and look what he does. He sets a bad example. <laughs> Fuck. I'm a shiny pillar of order. I have to, uh, I have to admit that you never thought of filling a train like that. Like, uh, oh, the you were watching my uh, double one. Yeah, I want to try it out because I want to do two eight trains. Uh, I can so far say I recommend it. It it doesn't seem like it has a whole lot of downsides. Because to me, the thing with trains is not really so much the unloading time or loading time with ores. The ores have such a low stack size that that's kind of the approach I decided to take. <laughs> Shame on you, Hompomp. So it's worked out pretty well. I, I, I was, I've been doing the same with my uh, core rockets on, uh, on novice as well. Uh, well, not on novice, sorry. Core, core rockets everywhere else. So like, uh, for example, like one, yeah, one's going on right here. So I have only two things for it because the stack size is 20, right? And also I didn't want to have major ones, right? It's mostly the, the distance with the core, core miners I figured because they're really far away. Um, so I, I just decided to do it kind of more like this. So, and it, it actually works out pretty well. You just give it like four move up, uh, stops too. It's the orders look like this, by the way. I share them between all the plants, by the way, because they have the same orders essentially, and that's pretty much it. So and I have trouble training copper around. Yeah. I, it was more, like I said, I wasn't sure if it would work out. I just wanted to try it out to see if it would. And so far, I don't see any downsides to it. It's actually been one of the more successful uh, parts of this run so far. Oh wait, I don't have a bots. How many uh, things will we need for mirrors? Well, since it is 0.1, and that gives a lot of mirrors, actually, that's not gonna be a whole, that's not gonna be a ridiculous amount. Okay, so we're gonna have to get chemical gel and lubricant. But yeah, I do like that one a lot. Uh, let's see here, I need some lubricant and chem gel. Or some lubricant. Uh, let's see. I mean, I could just copy and then change it to lubricant. these lubricants what are you offering it lubricant squad reporting in so did you yeah it did all the thing Okay. 
and we have a mirror provider. <laughs> the regions get so. What the? F <laughs> I swear. Hoff is just trying to be like that cool teacher. All edgy and all that kind of stuff, trying to fit in. Everyone goes, and there, but everyone talks behind his back and goes, oh, okay, that guy's really lame. There you go. <laughs> Shame on you indeed, Hoff. Do like two and two, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I actually would like to have it go the other way now I think about it. So it needs a handful of things. We will get those in a moment here. <laughs> talk about you behind your back. I, I don't talk about you behind your back. I talk about you right here. I, I don't need to talk about you behind your back. That's even worse. Actually, yeah, no, we'll do it. We'll do it what I was originally planning on doing. That's too far. Gonna need some lovely low density glass, iridium, and uh, lubricant. You know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna tell this thing where's it at? This is no longer allowed to grab from uh, buffers. If it gets it, it has to get it from earlier on than this because it, it basically is essentially un like getting rid of it unevenly when I when I tell it to not do that. So, can't you just uh, do the lube forward on both machines? What do you mean by that? Loop forward, like oh here. Oh no, because there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a couple chests over here. I didn't want to deal with that because this is this has to be a drop off for that stuff as well. That's the reason for it. Towards the inserters, and underground in between. Um, uh, just, just just see what I do. Can you just get out of here? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> sorry, the train was just like. It came, it came over here when I didn't want it to, because I uh, I kind of rearranged a little bit of the uh, the thing here, but uh, just see let's let's see what I do and then you tell me if uh, what you had in mind was better. Is he like putting a loop forward in both machines like here? I don't know. We'll see. I mean I may not be visualizing what you're doing what you what you're talking about correctly though. I'll I'll be the first to admit. This is 
signal here? Okay, I guess we gotta do it here. My intent is to do something like this. There you go, just like that. So they basically are used in both and they just kind of are a little bit all over the place, but that's fine. There you go, it has both of the things that it needs. So I just need to bring in Iridium Glass and the other stuff, so. If we go wagons per minute and we just see hourly, it's 4.9, one than one. So it's kind of like, uh, it's actually a really easy wake, train wagon to do. Hopefully when I undo this, it's not gonna complain. Okay, good. So, okay, so needs iridium plates, glass, and low density. So. Glass. Plate. And LDS. So the ratio was like basically uh, two, two, and five. So you just say five, two, two. That's it. So if I double this up, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, three, four, five, and then this I can just copy again. There you go. And I'm not sure what to do with the rest of it. I, I'm trying to think of what the the unequal part of it is going to be. It's technically, I think it needs a little bit more iridium than that because of the the ratios did not line up quite the way I wanted to. Because 4.9, but then again, this is 1.9, which is a bigger discrepancy. Oh, no, I think I have more of that. I have less of iridium, so I'll just do more iridium. That's it. There you go. So we clear out all these orders. We say. Depot, get LDS, item count, depot, glass. Then I gotta get some iridium plates here and then that's it. Damn, you're feeling it now? With what? Oh, the, with the, the, the drink that you, uh, you downed, you said. <laughs> I had, I had like cocktails yesterday, it was great. I've, ne I've actually never been to a cocktail bar before for some reason. Well, okay, I kind of have. I've been at places that had cocktail bars, but not like the one that just like, that's all they did. And that was pretty nice, actually. I enjoyed that. Had some nice Mai Tais. Hey, TLC. That's some good times, actually. Uh, let's just get this guy going. I gotta finish this one's orders in a minute. I have to, I have to bring down a... Uh, I gotta bring down some uh, iridium plates for it now. Mike had cock and tail. <laughs> sure. Do we use iridium uh, ingots in anything? Let me see here. Seeing if I need to plan this out a little better. Yeah. Overnight ingots. Uh, ingredients. Yeah, no, that's pretty easy. Okay.
You know, I don't like having these kinds of chest, uh, chests, to be honest, but... Eh, whatever, I'll deal with it. How's Ontario doing today, TLC? Hey, Soul Weaver. You found a derelict spaceship. No idea what I'm doing with it. Still <laughs> for joyride. That's that's one thing you can do with it. Are you talking about the um, which one? Uh, there's there's a couple of uh, well, I guess I, I I won't go too far to well spoiler territory, I guess, but because you found the uh, Caladius one or the asteroid belt one. If I had to guess. lights here. Space is a dark place. Alright, we can bring the iridium down. It should do two, right? Yeah, it does two. Yeah. This is why I did it, by the way, the way I did it. I'm really a big fan of it. Just goes and, uh, yeah, so coal's good. And the iridite is gonna be right over here, yeah. So just, it will load up too, and then that's it. I don't have to deal with anything else. Is this usually how you, you set up your space base up? No, actually it's not. <laughs> the last one I did wasn't like this. Um, this is something new I'm trying, which is um, I'm going a little bit more beltless now. So, I, I don't normally do this at all. I've actually never done like mixed trains and bringing it to the location with whatever it wanted basically, so. There's a little bit of setup involved, but it's pretty good. Like the thing, the thing I like the most about it um, right now is the fact that like I'm setting up all these uh, stations to basically like handle junk data, handle all this stuff, right? I did have a method for it before. Uh, plate. Okay, I guess I didn't name this right. I did have a method for it in my last run that, that I did it where I kind of like mixed things onto a train and that was it. Uh, but like basically it would basically be able to handle scrap junk data cards or whatever and I'm trying to do something where it's a little bit more intelligent about it I'm so far a fan. I like I like it a lot. So This would be the glass one But th this this specific one is a bit new I'm starting to see a couple of flaws, but it's mostly in the way I've set it up uh, Particularly like the acceleration lanes. I don't think are sufficient enough things like that. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna iterate upon it a little bit as I go. The fundamental part of it is gonna be remain the same uh, about it. So, and I want you to go to here until. The one thing that's weird is like these conditions here. So glass, what's the other one that you can have? The low density. I wish there was an easier way to set up this one though, because you can't copy around individual orders, which is kind of annoying. So I have to basically do this every time. And then I gotta go say refuel until you're in activity and then, but I don't know. It's, it's, I mean, you gotta think about it this way. It's like either you're setting up endless amounts of, uh, belts and and other kinds of si or logistic systems or but you do you something like this right. so tell me you tested it hey thanks andy
but I kind of I kind of like the system that I have right now where it's like um, you have the concept of a buffer kind of a thing so the buffer uh, a buffer is essentially works kind of like a construction buffer chest kind of thing so that's kind of thing uh, let us know you suppressed your YouTube account right when, when you suppressed it what how do you know how do you know what 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 do you mean by suppressing my YouTube account I see, I'm gonna have to do it like this anyways. We again surpassed, oh. I'm just, oh my God. I got space on the brain, I'm sorry. <laughs> I totally misread that. Oh my God. <laughs> I've been like, I'm like, I'm, I'm a zombie right now. What can I tell you? I'm sorry about that. I had a busy week too. Right, whatever, excuses, what can I tell you? Oh my god. I can't believe I misread that that hard, by the way. There you go. I got spaced. Yep. I mean, my YouTube account hasn't really moved for, uh, at all for the last couple of uh, years, so nothing has really happened really with it at all. Uh, so it, it gave up because it uh, had too much... Oh, right, okay, I was gonna say, like, oh my god, did I forget about scrap? And it looks like I didn't. But it also looks like I meant to do some other system with this, and I didn't do it. We'll do scrap as the. Uh, I guess I'll do scrap as the bottom one. Did I not have a scrap provider? Where's that? At? Oh, what is what is this one? Is this like the junk one? One second. Let me first set this to no train limit. I think I was contaminated to scrap requester. That's what I had it for. I know I know you gave up, but I mean you get subscribed on Twitch if you suppressed your YouTube with your Twitch already. Huh? Like in terms of what though? I don't, I don't even know. What what metric uh, what metric are you looking for for that? Terms of popularity, I don't know. Yeah, it's that's hard to hard to weigh, to be honest. I mean, I guess so because that channel is basically dead. So, <laughs> so I, I don't know. That's what I mean. I guess so already. It's 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 just years of uh, you know um, YouTube. Just they kind of do their own thing with their algorithms and stuff, and they're just like uh, they really want. Um, Yeah, they, they, they're just kind of jerks, so. Like, I'm kind of tired of it. It's just typical Google things, you know? Those supposed to be mirrors. Okay, looks like they're all uh, equalized now. In terms of how much furry content it has, I don't know. They like they they do some weird stuff. Like they've had a they've had a thing where like they keep abusing like uh, a lot of their. Um... So you remember there was a little while ago where they had a uh, they basically added translations, right? Is a it was a very very innocent thing, right? They're like, oh, we have translations on all the videos. We can transcribe it for people who are like they can't hear well or whatever, and that's excellent. That's a good use of technology, right? To basically help someone that you know can't. Uh, you know, can't hear correctly or whatever, right? But now they now they're using it essentially to go like say like, oh, someone said a swear. We're gonna we're gonna like take it off the the search or whatever else they do. So that's that's what it kind of turned into. You know, it's it's just things like that. Um, so things that were you're like, oh, that's a good use of the technology there. I'm glad they did that. 
Uh, they then started to bring it down into other things, which, you know, was not fun for them, for people to do and deal with, so. Good old censorship? Yeah. I mean, it's they work at a scale that's, like, unlike anything else. What can you really say, right? But that's what they do is they, they try and now find things that people that people are talking about that they don't want to hear or like, don't want to say or whatever so all right so scrap train came it picked up its scrap and that's it that's why uh, that's why a lot of channels are like really dialing back on that kind of stuff now because and the thing is they don't even say it like people are just assuming it at this point uh, that, that, that's what they're targeting kind of thing because it's like they don't really give you a reason for it because it, it changes all the time what the reasoning is for what they want to what you what they want you to do kind of thing it's really annoying so you know they're like they're, I don't know it's like some retcon stuff you know I used to swear a lot more in my videos so I swear like a sailor Because I was like, what, like early twenties, and I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't really care either way. I was just like, uh, that, that's why I kind of did. It wasn't, to, it wasn't to be edgy or anything. I was just like, I just, I, I, I want to fill the wor fill words up, and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'll just swear a bunch. <laughs> so, it was lazy. I was really bad at it. I'm sorry. <laughs> we record our terms of service. You're going to jail now. I mean, that's what it is, really. Like, you know. You joke, but uh, you know it's what it is. Like that, what was okay before isn't okay now, and they can't they can't like undo any of it, right? So they're just gonna be like, yeah, whatever. Is it still doing this? Okay, I'm gonna go and save 150 for these. I'm just trying to get. I'm trying to use up uh, these ones. Although, do I, am I requesting for? I am not requesting for buffers, by the way. Whoops, and I fuck. Uh. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I shift clicked to the wrong thing. And there I was, I mean, I said I swear again, sorry. Sailor Moon Mike, the good old days, yeah. You want to say that YouTube is pretty much a lewd name for a website, so it's Twitch. I mean, it's not really, and I actually, no, not even, because, like, you think YouTube is about you, but it's not anymore. It's about, it's about, it's about not, it's, it's not about you anymore. It's about, like, big, big, uh, I, I want to say, like, uh, it, I, you know, nah, I'm not gonna, you know, let's, let's just not go into that. How about that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. Also, glass. Maybe you should make our tube? I wish. Alas, it is not the case. Also, oh, I see, I never was able to remove this. Actually, we should keep these going. Let's do some more of these. Alright, let's see. Um... Okay, so we can start doing the rest of this. The mirrors will eventually kind of catch up to where they were. We can also use it to make more solar, by the way. But I, I still have 1.7k solar panels I have not used. Making all the solar on uh, Novice Orbit was a good idea. Because it means that uh, we don't have any problems with power for the foreseeable future now. Which is good. If the company gets big enough, it'll be absorbed. It's just how it is. Yeah. It's depressing, but very true. Uh, I guess I was going to bring stone over here from somewhere. You know what? Actually, I don't need to because it, it automatically is bringing it from here anyways. It, it, we got buffers for this. 
Where's it all going? Oh. Alright, let me just make sure there's more LDS coming. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Wow, we got a lot of LDS. What? Okay, wait, what? Is it not in the rocket? What, what's going on with this? How much do we request? I don't think we actually request enough of it. Ten point seven. What's my requester currently set up for? Fifteen. We have knocked that up to twenty-five. Because we actually have a lot of it. So, I don't even know. Okay, let's go back to what we were doing before. So, we now have mirrors. So, now we can go back up and we can get the other stuff. Let's see also, is our... Yeah, there we go. So, Uranium-235 is trying to get made. Might just uh, copy and paste this and uh, just add more of it. Yeah, this is fine to do. We have lots of uranium, so. That's why I have this little system that anything that's over it well, is basically requesting into it, so. I don't know why it said it couldn't fulfill it, though. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, well, that would be a good reason, because I only have 300 logistic bots for all this. I, we probably should have a hell of a lot more. Where am I grabbing that from? I Wait, well, I asked for 1.5k. Where are they all at? Okay, fine. Go get like a thousand then. I guess it doesn't replenish it fast enough. I'm gonna get like a thousand. You know what actually might be the problem? It just occurred to me. I think we actually don't have enough logistic bots because we don't make them fast enough here. Yeah, that would be the problem. All right. Uh, can we, like, what is this thing? No. Yeah, you can't be stretched any longer. Freaking novice, yeah. It's always the little weird things that are causing these problems. Can I even, uh, like, productivity module these, by the way? Uh, yeah, you know, before I get too carried away with this, hold up a second. Um, now this is the reason why we can't have nice things. It actually is. I hate this place. <laughs> but I, I refuse to over, like, basically fix this, like, little thing. Because it's, it's always, like, little things, right? It's always little things. And I'm trying to get to the point where we can get space elevators. Did I put an F in your name there? I did. I don't know why I put it there. There you go. Now is, is the reason can nice things. I think I could prod those, by the way. I should be prodding them. Uh, let's see here. I'm sure we can do it, like, on this side. Because they're they're not a they're not something you can place. They're they're an intermediate, so they're they should be like something that we can easily uh, address. Yeah, yeah, you can certainly do it. So I should be doing that then, anyways. Because there's a lot of materials that we basically can just save on, so. So, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to take these guys out. 
And I'll make this one into a giant requester warehouse. This part doesn't require a whole lot, though. Let's get like a thousand of this stuff. I think the batteries may not be an easy part to bring into it, because I think I added a couple, but not a whole lot. It is, it is continuing to make these, though. I think I have a place that, like, eats the batteries somewhere over here. I probably need more of it. No, it, it does it, like, right at the end, doesn't it? Yeah, it does it right here. Okay. This is not for, very forward-thinking of me. It was not cash money. You know, we don't have a whole lot of sulfuric acid problems anymore, so maybe adding, prodding this would be good too, you know. It's actually not that much resources when I think about it, it's just not fast enough, that's really what the problem is. Yeah, this is just gonna eat it and nothing else can have any. Uh, we can't do that then. <laughs> alright, alright, you know what, I'm gonna... I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make, put a bunch over here. And someone's gonna start sarcastic going, did you say you weren't gonna do anything on Novus anymore? Shut up, I, I'm trying not to. I don't wanna do anything on this planet. I hate this place. I don't wanna. <laughs> and yet you're still expanding on it. Yeah, I know. I know I am. Don't judge me. Which I didn't need that splitter there. Oh well. Oh right, I did need the splitter here. Never mind. It's for this one. Oh shit, I can't do that. No, no, no don't do that. Alright. Um, alright, all right. I have the idea. There you go, 233 batteries a minute. How much does this want? Yeah, there you go. So that's way more than I was giving before, and I can just go back here, and I can just, uh, uh, the one that was basically just putting, throwing batteries into a thing, I'll just, uh, delete that, because this will basically do all of that. At least the spaghetti's creative, it is. It's the most, uh, thing. There'll be time to improve this at a later point. There you go. Prods are really good though. Productivity 8%, yeah. I love them so much. It's almost <laughs> menu density of spaghetti. I had my reasons, let me just say that right now. There you go, so now these are going and we'll probably have more logistic bots and then they'll go, I'll throw them in here and then that'll be it. I still have problems over there, but that's okay. We'll just leave that be. All right. 
Uh, we'll just leave that be for... Um, do I not have any more centrifuges here? Cornetto, no. Huh. Uh, I'm gonna guess I never set up a thing for centrifuges. I'll probably get like a hundred, uh, 150, and then I'll just lower it down to 50 as soon as it goes, so. It's now delivering, yeah, delivering 150 right now, so. I just wanted that one burst of it, and then that's it, and then just keep continuously at it. If you if you just leave Novice, it means Novice wins. Novice can have this one. I will let it win. But, uh, yeah. I'm still dealing with, like, uh, the stone and stuff here. Yeah, we've already been through a bunch of it. We're still eating a whole lot of it, but yeah, it's okay. That one's almost done. Yeah, that's it's okay. There was one more stone I tapped into, too. Yeah, this one right here. <laughs> there you go. Basically halfway through this stone as well. Then after that, yeah. So this is going to walls. Um, but some of it's just going into just various, like mostly the electronic circuits as well. <coughs> so. But uh, you can see, like, I have all of it here. What? Where are, all, where are they all at? Oh, right. Yeah, that's an issue, isn't it? I knew that something happened when I deleted this. I just didn't know what. What was this for? <laughs> it's just, oh, this is my old iron uh, setup, I guess. Why did I? Okay, what's this thing for? Oh yeah, that would be why uh, our iron ran out because I when I deleted that. But I mean, it's it I, it was never adding iron here anyway, so it's fine. That isn't that isn't the issue. I can assure you on that. It was never getting, well, it was getting it when I had iron coming in, but it, it stalled ages ago. Yeah, it's just now advanced circuits, but that's it. That's, that's okay, and as long as these are all going, which they are, it means that our, uh, yeah, our production is, is fine. And that means they're still going in, and that's, that's all good. I think that, that we still have a couple more up in orbit here. Yeah, so we have, I, I have it automatically cleaning it this time, so. But it's got a couple more that it needs to kind of get rid of and then that's it. So I'll let it continue its uh, little journey here. All right, so what do we need to do now? All right, so I think now that that's kind of resuming, we can go back to what we were doing over here. I feel like this is too close, actually, now that I look at it. So we need ion stream... ...thing somewhere. So, ion stream provider. Oh yeah, I guess I haven't done that yet, have I? I'll still use a generic depot. I do need to do the depot system that I had before in mind. But I kind of want to get the these two sciences going, and then yeah, we can. Okay, I have I have a requester for it. Is it just not available for it? What's what's going on? Oh no, it's there now. <laughs> Okay, go until you're empty, and then go to refueling, 
till a couple seconds. Oops, not second. Uh, it's an activity. Go back there. Okay. Actually, we don't need that top one then. Alright. Alright. And we don't have any other fluids we need for this? I don't think so. We got 22 minutes. We already have a thing for that, so I'm just going to ignore that. Um, so we have a contaminated scrap set up. We already have that. And... Yeah, the, the main thing was I had to just do the rest of this, and that was okay. I do the same thing I did last time, which is uh, to move it down here instead. I liked it better when I was down that way. All right, so. Only novices leave novice? Nah. I'm a professional Factorio memer. I know what I'm doing. No, I don't, but regardless. So which one was I looking at? I think I was looking at the electromagnetic data 9.3. I can start with that one and work my way down. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, that's right, that's the these two. Yeah, because of the size of these things, it's like, uh, yeah. Uh, did you run out of research for now? Technically not. I was just trying to let it all catch up. Because um, there's nothing really great to research right now. I'm trying to get to beacons at the moment, so... I could, like, do another swarm safety, but again, it's like, it's 49k for what, right? Novice doesn't exactly have infinite resources either. So my thinking was I was just going to let it kind of catch up a little bit there. Uh, and do what it kind of needs to do. And, um, you know, eventually we'd be okay. That was kind of my thinking with that regard. I guess I don't really have anything I can do with that. But I still feel that's the best thing to do at the moment. I don't really have any serious bottlenecks at the moment. It's just like, I would prefer to save the science for a later time. How does one decide on the dimensions of city of city blocks typically? Uh, for me, I, I didn't really, I, I do it by chunk. I, I kind of do it more by chunks. That's that's more what how I do it. Um, you because you have rail chunks and things like that. So, my um, my uh, rails are basically chunk aligned kind of thing. So then I kind of made a uh, kind of what I thought would be a good amount of space for the trains to come in from both sides. So that's why I have one that's like over here. So it goes down and then back up kind of thing. So I, I'm making use of both sides. They they fit in the line with the chunks and that's it. That's all I kind of did. I don't know if anyone else has a better system than that, but that's my system for it, so. Yeah, 
Yeah, chunks of roll ports. That's pretty much it. one more of this. I can put it like right here actually. Actually I can't really do that can I? I might actually move this a little bit more and have the other ones have a little bit more surface area on these. Because to be honest it's not even going to be filling it up all the way. So we're going to let the, the big Bertha boxes be here. So it needs data cards, data cards. The junk back. So it's literally just a data card uh, thing, which is very good for me. Let me just finish what I'm doing and then I'll put, throw some beacons down. I need to throw down the other one too, actually. So the junk is going to be. What, sorry, the, maybe this is the data card one and the junk one's just above it? Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Alright, so we now have our first instance where my, uh, where my little system here uh, makes more sense now. I'll show you in a minute. Just give me just a sec here, guys. Uh, it's the, my naming scheme. So it may not have made sense why I maybe called something buffers to you, uh, but I'll show you in a sec. Uh, we can't quite do that, can we? I guess I can't quite use both sides. So this is going to be data cards, and this is going to be junk. Yep, that works. And junk data cards are 4% of the time, okay. I will show it up in just a second. Junk data cards is greater than 10k. card requester. This is going to be less than, I don't know, like 100k or I'd say like under 2000. Okay, so this is kind of my system for this and I kind of liked it actually a lot. So when you actually look at uh, data card stations, um, you have essentially three kinds of stops. You have a depot, which is the place where they wait if they are in between and they can't get to another station. Uh, it's a requester. If it's just requesting just data cards, there's a train that goes to and from that just has data cards and it will just, you can have basically agnostic um, train stops for that. So you can just say, this will just take data cards, bring that to me, blah, blah, blah. So trains full of data cards will come drop it off. There's a couple of places where you kind of need to have that. You have data card providers, which I have a mix of. So some come from the cleaned up ones and one comes from the generic one. And I have a system for that to basically act a provider it out as well. So it basically will uh, shut off the other stops and enable the other ones when it has it. So I have three stops that have data cards currently. Uh, 
which doesn't seem to be shutting off the other stuff now that I think about it. I'll look at that in a second. And then you have a buffer. And a buffer just means that it's the thing that's making it. So it's making, uh, it needs to make data cards. So why isn't it shutting off the stops then, if it has a ton of these things? Yeah, this, so you're enabled, right? Uh, where's it at? See, I, I think I went too far in deleting all these things. <laughs> so, so it's on right now, right? So you have it. If it's greater than one, input count L. No, that's not what you're supposed to do, I think. I think. Yeah, no, you're supposed to active it out. Okay, I, I did that wrong. Okay, before I get carried away, one second. I, I don't want to do this, like what, whatever I did here. This is a mistake, and I'm going to put it back the way it was. All right, and then I have to make an active system for it, so. Because apparently that uh, did not work for, well, no, it wasn't that it didn't work. I didn't set it up correctly, I think, right? It's a, yeah, yeah, this is junk data card cleanup, so we want to use these first. And yet I set it up so that it would be shut off. <laughs> Why did I do that? All right, I'm a genius, and uh, we'll just go with that. I'm not really a genius. I'm very upset with myself. Uh, let's see here. All right, so this is what? What is this? This is uh, electric magne magnetic. <laughs> Dunce. Pretty accurate, actually. I, I, and I, I should have known what that would be for before, before as well, but I just didn't do that. So, so, so this is a electromagnetic card provider. I kind of feel like there, nah, there isn't one, never mind. So electromagnetic card provider. Okay. And uh, now we need to put the beacons in somewhere. Uh, I basically said I'd do it like right now. Yeah, there it is. There's, there's space for it. I, I knew there would be space for it somewhere. Um, this one doesn't, but I'll just, uh, well, I'll just shift it up a little bit. Yeah. This could just be shifted up here to accommodate that. There you go. We can give it some nice big lamps too. Okay, so this basically has most of what it needs. Um, I got. I just basically have to apply the same thing to the other side, and uh, yeah. Just trying to remember how this works. I had a blue and thing over here. Oh, I can't quite, actually these, these pipes will not line up actually. That's fine. Actually, no, this, these are fine actually, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, so, so I always had one on that side. This one is the one that will not work like this. I will have to rethink this one actually. I think it is essentially almost the same, right? It kind of is, but I have to, yeah, I have to make sure that also lines up. All right, let's go fix the other, well, one second. I think I can just fix it from here, actually, if I have to think about it. Also, we have junk data, you know, I have junk data cards anyways over there, so let's just go fix that up. All right. I'm glad I kind of noticed that, because that, that would have caused some problems if I had not done something sooner with that.
Okay, there's no more junk data cards. Good. Uh, alright. So, the system, what it has to do, actually, is... Yeah, it's gonna be something else. It's gonna be like, um... If, uh, if L is, uh, greater than zero, input count of one data card. There you go. So now, what should be happening is uh, when I go to the data card stop, this one should now be shut off. There you go. Even despite the fact it has enough uh, in there, um, it's uh, outputting, yeah, because there's two data card signals that are saying that oh, I need to use these first, and that's what it's doing. It's doing what it's supposed to now. Just took uh, a little bit of time there to realize there was a little bit of a mistake there. Is there anything else we want to kind of check out? I think there was something over here. Yeah, these are logistic bots. Still need a little bit more though. So they able to still create? Yeah, it's it is making what it needs to right now, which is okay by me. Fortunately, these needs also circuits as well, but that's okay. It'll catch up on its uh, things that it needs to do over there in a minute. All right, so back to energy science. And I effectively now have to do this for all of my cards, by the way. <laughs> so, you know, I have to do this exact uh, same system. But the nice thing about this is it scaling it up makes it a lot easier than I had than I had the last time when I had to do the same thing, essentially. So, yeah. Coronal mass ejection. I'm surprised that actually fits there, but, you know, whatever. Alright, the real problem is going to be, and this is the problem going to be I'm going to have with all of them, is how stupid this thing is when it, like, I mean, can I just reverse it, or what? I don't think I can, because it's going to, yeah, it thinks, well, we kind of can. Yeah, it just means that the fluid pipes over here will have to have the other one. I never hooked up this one anyways. That deals with half of it. Hey, TF Dave. How you doing, my friend? I'm in eternal uh, creating weird layouts for my uh, things. And you know what? I'm, I'm starting to look at this. I'm like, there's actually no space here for... Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, there's no space here for a be big beacon anyways. I, I think, honestly, I might be redoing a lot of these builds anyways with, uh, with beacons. I think I think I can't avoid it. Unless I add some space in the middle here, which I could do actually. 
I mean, I could I could have the foresight right now to do that. I think I will. How goes the space base? It's it goes slowly but surely. But I, I think I, I it, okay. Wait, one second. I have to. I I have to absolutely confirm this, by the way. I'm be able to watch in a, uh, watch in a couple days. What are you working on now? I am uh, trying to start up my. Uh, I'm just converting my the last of my space sciences over to uh, into the new platform that I had. So uh, I'm just gonna check how big the beacons are because I, I forget and uh, I want to actually see how big they are. Past Mike making future Mike's job easier. Yeah, we're we're trying to get down to. So how big are these ones? So they're 4x4. Four four. As long as I keep a 4x4 four four radius in here, then it's fine. Then I, then I, uh, we're okay. <laughs> Blasphemy. So I think there is enough space for it. It just has to be in between here, right? Right there. As long as I keep enough space in there, then we're okay. So what I'm actually going to end up doing is I'm going to move up, move down all this stuff. Shoot, can't quite do that like that, unless I move it up by a tile. Okay, let's just, uh, let me just delete this for a second here. That's one of them. Yeah, and then the junk ones are at the top. And then we go look at the coronal ma mass ejection. We don't need it. We don't care. You know what? I actually think this is uh, better. This is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is pretty good. And then I just have to adjust this one, and that's it. This leaves more than enough space for me to do whatever I need to. There you go. Yep, two of them are fine. I won't even be doing half of it uh, uh, all, uh, all the time anyways like that anyway, so we'll be okay. Uh, this one's not okay, though. I may have to move it down by one more tile. No, not Hanetsky. But yeah, we're essentially trying to go down the route, road of, um... We need, uh... I'm, try I'm trying to get to beacons. Like, the, the other beacons, uh, like, the really good ones, so... That's one of the things I'm trying to do here. Did I already shift these up? I don't even know if I did. I don't think I did. So there's technically, there's enough for four, right? So I can kind of have it in here or somewhere like that, right? I think I meant to adjust it up by, well, actually, there's a good way to tell. Yeah, these are aligned while well, these are not, so. There you go. All right. Cornetto. Well, it's what's the? It, this one should be really low. It's like on literally on the outskirts of the galaxy, or whatever. Uh, where's it at? Point the two nine gigawatts peak power. All right, it's going to all the interesting places. I have an umbrella already. Let me just make sure that the orders. It's not asking for one here. Nope, that was it. I 
And we have a 12 to 28 balancer blueprint asking for my clap. I don't I don't need one. What are you talking about? I don't need a balancer balancers. Balancers, balancers. Why did this need 2.6 gigawatts when I plugged it in? suck so to these bouncers anyone have the link to the 2022 bouncer guide before we're redone for space belts i wouldn't even know that you have a 128 to 128 bouncer all right that's hardcore These look like they just fit. Oh, no, they don't. You know what? I may have screwed myself because I don't think this has enough space now for this anymore. I mean, it. I think it. No, it doesn't actually at all. When I had to move it up, this is what happened actually. Eh. I, I actually, you know what? This doesn't even fit anymore, regardless. If I, if I just move it up here, this will actually have enough now. Oops. Those work. Are the ore patches on Novice are ridiculously small? They are, on purpose, because you're supposed to leave Novice. Well, not like you're supposed to leave Novice, sorry. I, I'm, that's going to bother someone to, to make a blanket statement like that. You're, you're, you're supposed to um, go to other planets and also leave Novice. Fine, I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with my, my original statement. I'm a controversial man, what can I tell you? It varies by RNG. Yeah, that would be pretty accurate um, statement, actually. I mean, I'll say that once I got kind of away from the radius of the center, so these patches are like 5 mil here, 6.7 there, 7.7, .7, things like that. But the thing is, I don't want. I don't really want to be killing biters all day, so that's why we just leave and go to a biterless planet. So, if if I didn't have another option, I would use them. But I do have another option. That is just just to ignore it. So, just letting us know you're a novice for leaving novice. Okay, fair enough. Now nah, I'm sad. Listen, if novice didn't want to be left, it should should have basically been a better planet. You know, it's, that's all it really needed to do. It's just really that easy. All the cool kids are doing it these days. Alright.
You could use energy beaming for the biters. You mean the, uh... You mean that the thing that's literally locked behind how many tiers of research? Uh, it needs energy science pack 3s, material 3, and uh, astronomic 3. By the time I have enough resources for that, I'm going to be an old man. If not already. Yeah, it's it's far like all the texts that are really good at dealing with biters, like that basically trivialize them, are really far behind. Like a lot of texts, so for good reason, because they trivialize the biters. <laughs> so that's why you don't want you don't want to necessarily, yeah. It takes a bit to get there. Uh, yep, I'll do. It. I personally do not mind it. the other one how far off his weapons deliver cannon uh, that is uh, so I'm um, it's energy one uh, material one and astronomic science back one these I need any I need these anyways for space elevators which is why I figured it was a good one to stop by um, the only detour I'm making with the entire strategy is going for the big wide area beacons because I can't imagine playing this without the wide area beacons Let's do items per minute. We have a crinite slush and cooling method here. I guess we have this now. Was there a point to small beacons that they uh, they added? Uh, yes, because you could basically, um, if you had a situation or a build of things that you didn't want to have a lot of, um, like you, you can hook up essentially typically about four things to it. And I, and I actually, I ran into that situation myself anyways. It's basically to allow you to use less modules for something. To be honest, I don't feel like the difference is big enough, uh, but you have a situation like, um, let's say, where's the cargo set? set like... I have one of these silos, um, and I used it to get arcospheres. So I had little ships to bring over things to to deploy and send us and launch arcosphere collectors. So that would be the reason. Uh, you'd beacon it with, um, uh, you'd speed it, and you'd beacon it with that to make it go as fast as possible. But you don't need the big beacon; you can use a small one. But I do, I do sincerely feel that I think it's a still a little bit too small. Like. Um, for the amount of modules and module power it gives you, because there's no benefit now to, to actually using it in that manner. Uh, I, I wish it was a little bit stronger. I wish it was a little bit stronger. Because I, I use the K2 beacons, like, uh, so back when, um, in point five, if you, if you played Jurassic Crest Dario, uh, K2 beacons were um, indefinitely superior to uh, the wider beacons, simply because you got like an extra tier of module power out of it. And for like the later tiers of modules, right? You're like, it's like, it's huge difference, at least in my mind. Um, Cause you essentially, you'd put tier sixes in it and you'd get the equivalent of tier sevens in it instead. So it was a, it was complicated. We'll just go with that. Uh, I need, I need data card trains. So let's go get that going. So there are uses for it, but for the most part in my run here, um, and given the changes they've made to it, uh, I'm only going to carry around with me wider beacons. Because in, in all those cases I can think of that I wouldn't want to like have 
beacons for it. I'm just like, I don't really care. So let's go to beacon, or oh, sorry, uh, data card provider until you're full. Go to the data card stuff. And go to a requester until you're empty. And then go to a refueler and activity. Should have added more into it, but it didn't. But whatever, it'll, it'll it'll work anyway. So, combat beacon is slightly more efficient than regular beacons. Incorrect. That is wrong. Because if you look at beacons, is at the same tier. I'll even look at the high tier one. It goes ten module slots at 100 percent for maximum module power of 10, and this is 20 module slots at 50 percent efficiency for module power of 10. They're not any better anymore. That used to be the case for KS2. Uh, not anymore because it uses the same ones now. So the, the advantage is you're using half the amount of modules uh, to affect a very low area. And also power is a big uh, issue as well. You notice how this is 800 kilowatts and this is 10 megawatts. So that's also a big reason to make the difference. It's the same, by the way, with these as well. They're, they're always that much. So you also get less, less power as well, but those are the only reasons. And to me, power isn't a big issue. So I don't really care about power. And there's your two data card machines here. So I don't like it quite as much as I used to. I used to love that stuff, but now I don't. I'll just do it over here. All right, what else do we need? Okay, so the last thing we need is we need something to give us the thermal fluid. So 17.3 thermal radiators. That would be on the old one. I, well, sorry, on this other one. I, I can't be doing that right now, so let's go to that one. What's weird is this didn't even change. How did? Why did this not change? Or did, I think it did change. I just didn't notice it. Yeah, it went to 24. I thought it was like 17 before. All right. Well, whatever. Well, I can tell if this one changes. It didn't change again. What? I don't think it did change. Or was it like 0.6 before? No, it, d it didn't change, actually. I was right. What? When you update the beacon type, it doesn't change it? Let me try it again. Let's do it with this one. Beacons. Seven right now, right? Yep, it's a bug. It should it should have it should have it should have modified it to that. Alright. That sucks. I didn't realize that. Yeah, think of all the mistakes people uh, make when they do that. When you change the beacon type, it doesn't uh, update it. Because it, it, the, the number of buildings should have changed, it didn't change, so... Uh, what are you going to do? Um, okay, so the very first thing I want to do is... Um, I probably should target something a little bit different than this, let's see. Yeah, we don't need these anymore. Why are you here? You shouldn't have come here. Why did you come here? Oh, because you're not hooked up over here. Alright, be gone with you. I guess I'll keep going. I'll keep making more of the stuff here. Let's 
see. I think I should do another one that has fluid in it, actually. Let's try and target another one that has fluid. By the way, this build, even though it's a little bit more complicated to set up, it will make it a hell of a lot easier in certain cases where I'm trying to um, share, like, ask for different kinds of uh, of materials everywhere. Because I always I had that issue last time a lot where I was trying to kind of use it for things and it was just like going crazy. All right, so we have. Um, can I like disable something in a build or what? Oh, maybe I could have a sub factory. How do I do that? Open subfloor. Okay, let's try that out one second. What if I just disable all this, right? So you say, where is it? It's energy catalog, right? So left click to open subfloor, and then I just say I want all this stuff. Oops. So it's saying it. Let's see, just do this one as a. So much did it ask for? Byproducts is that. Uh, is this number actually from the subfloor? Because this is ingredients for all of it, right? Yeah, I don't think this is accurate actually. No, there's no way this is accurate. That's a shame. Because I'm trying to do all of these numbers. I want I want all of it to be a part of the same subfloor. But it's saying ingredients is taking in uh, 390 to make... Uh, yeah, it doesn't even know what to do with the byproduct anyways. It doesn't know what to do with it. Even though, well, I said this was the unlimited one. Maybe I should say this one is. Oh, that's, that's how I do it then. Products 18K. Well, it's making it for all of it still. It's a, what the hell is the point of doing a subfloor with this? Is a glow around your locom locomotive zone? Yeah, that's a um, thing. You can control click to disable a recipe without m removing it. Well, we'll try that then. Uh, the mod is uh, train trails, by the way, to make them glow if you like them uh, to basically be shiny. I think I think I saw that when I clicked it, but I, was, I, I actually wanted to try the subfloor thing to see if it would actually be any better. Uh, so it's control left click to toggle. Yeah, okay. Let's just uh, toggle all these then. Oh, great. Okay, you know what? Let's go to traditional solver. I'm tired of the matrix solver. Wow, this is just this is totally worthless. <laughs> just <laughs> sorry. All right, that that did not do what I wanted it to do. I just want to know how much for a certain amount of them, how much I needed for one of them. That's why I, that's why I think the sub the sub factory thing is uh, is the best thing to do. It's the sub floor. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was just funny to me. Do this one, 9.3. Because it's doing it for all of it. Why does it not calculate that? I guess I can specify amount. I could, I could, I could just right click to specify amount, but that's still really weird, right? Mike, I returned with important information. It's all the government's fault. What, what happened now? What did the government do this time? All right, I'm going to go back to the matrix solver. Yeah, this one's fine. I'm just gonna eyeball it and just go like, this is how much it needs. So let's see. So cold thermal fluid. Yeah, this, that, that's actually not part of the resolver I should do. So this one I can, oh, you have to do traditional in order to get that option actually. I'm just gonna keep using traditional, Never mind. this is dumb. Um, 2.9, so that's like 6K, and so we'll just do 7K for that, 7. Okay, so that's better, and that one can be also on this one. There you go. So that's 6.3 on a, a, a 0.2 thing. I don't worry, it's just kind of finicky. Yeah, it's it's all good. I'm I'm fine. I, I'm I'm okay. 
Alright, so this is a very similar deal, but it does have additional things which I need to have in here. Okay. This one might suck a little bit, actually, because look at all the crap it needs here. <laughs> I think it actually might... Mm. So normally in these cases, I have four different kinds of chests, right? I'm not sure if I can do I can get away with that this time because I don't have four well I kind of do have four no I don't have four slots because this would be in the way then. I'm starting to think I really should have actually doubled down on like it going across the track or something. I should have actually utilized more pipe for this. Alright, you know what? Let's try and build it right this time. Because I'm just thinking about all the cases I'm going to run into this, by the way. And I don't want to, like, like overthink every single time how something works like this. Because I, I feel like I'm already overthinking a lot of this as it is. The main one is that these two uh, share um, this kind of pipe, right? Yeah. The fact that the middle is okay. So Shaz, what did the government do to you now? Shaz just enjoys being based. Well, the nice thing about this one is it's only one of each, actually. I still haven't given you a transfer notice for your new handgun. Oh yeah, uh, dude, uh, I tried to renew my firearms license like a little while ago, and then they were like, "Like, yeah, your license is invalid, but that's okay because the RCMP is swamped." So just tell them that the the thing was fine, the thing. I'm like, okay. I'm like that's kind of weird because it's like, you no, know, effectively you're forcing me to be an illegal man. So I'm gonna go get a refill of my coffee. So I'll be back. Yeah, so the main thing I'm after, I'm trying to make a universal, like, stop that I can have for this. And you see the train links right here, right? So I want to have, A, I want to have a beacon in the middle here, right? That can, because it basically has to accept, it has to be this large, like the beacon. Like, that's how big they are. They're just that big, you know? So I have to have that in there somewhere. I don't know, I'm starting to think like, I could probably put the beacons above and below, but then again, that's a really inefficient use of the modules as well. You kind of want to have it in the middle because then it hits as many as you can. Because it makes your builds a lot better. So you want to have it in the middle somewhere, like like this. And that's why I kind of left enough space so that 
eventually I can kind of just shove it in here probably. Like I'll have to do something different with these, but you know, I don't know. So that's what I'm kind of starting to think, you know what, a, a kind of like more of a piping layout is probably a lot better, like to, to actually always move it to the other side. And that's it. Hello, Mr. Russian, sir. Um, yeah. Meh. <laughs> mods? Oh, you, you tried it, that's like mods in uh, I don't even know if that's Russian actually. It doesn't look like Russians. No, no, the mods is there. It does work. I think it's just a bit slow today. So, again, I always like to have one for each kind of uh, thing you can have. Oh yeah, thank you for this. Yeah, no problem. Um, I don't know, do I just do like a long arm inserted for this or what? I'm just, I'm thinking about this one because I need a way to bring the pipe over. Oh, there's a reason it didn't work with the last one because the last one I was trying to filter out these things because it had many byproducts. Maybe I have to, maybe I do have to actually put the byproducts uh, in the in the center one, actually, now that I think about this one a lot more. I hate several things about how these work, by the way. Yeah, but that, that effectively solves the, uh, the problem here, I think, actually. I just, I, I don't know a nice way of doing it. <laughs> I just, I really don't. Uh, but yeah. I, it's just, I like, it's it's too overly complicated for what I want to do, right? So I, ca I can't just do this, by the way. This is, um... I'd have to go a little bit further back than this. And this is too far for it anyways. So I can't even do that. Ah, it doesn't work. Oh my god, space wipes really give you a... Uh, well, you know, it does work because I could basically just move it this way, but yeah. Tier 4 sciences are frying your brain and how to move everything around. I mean, I, I, I kept it to single blocks, that's what I did before. Right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have it do a thing where it's like, um, it makes one thing. That's a system I'm currently trying to create, uh, but it's, it's also like a huge pain in the ass because it's like... I, I need, it needs four different materials, right? And, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking about this one because I, I actually just don't like this and I, I would like it to much more be agnostic about what, what it needs. I might try, I might try a more circuited setup actually to this. Because I, I don't like what I'm doing right now, and this is obviously not going to work. Because you have to make you have to make it smart about what to put in. All right, let's try something out here. Um, let's see. Okay, actually, I don't think this will work, but let me let me try let me try this out anyways. I'm gonna try maybe having filters come from the train. Let's maybe try that out. Let's see, constant combinator. So if you had let's say a a negative number for something, okay, so it would not set the filter of that until it's positive. Okay. So, how would I do that? I'd have to take the contents of the box, times it by negative one, and uh, give it to the filters. Okay, I think I know how I'll do this then. The thing is, I, I need it to be... Yeah. All 
All right, here's what I'm gonna say. For every single thing like here, because this has so many materials, right? So you're gonna say we want, uh, what is it called? Electronic circuits. So I should have like, I don't know, like 600 in the box. Um, copper. Well, we should have enough that it can essentially load a full train of it and then disable the stop if it's missing too much of something. Oh, this is gonna, this is gonna be this is gonna be really funky, by the way. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Uh, let's say let's do let's do, let's let's take whatever it is and times it by ten. Just make trains bring extra material if it has less than one train of stuff. Well, that's kind of, that's what it's doing, but it's like how do you load? The first thing is, how do you load the material and make sure it's always good? Um, that's the first problem I have, right? To not overload something. Because if you have like a... Sh Here's the thing. You have to assume at some point that like, oh, Holium is going to have a shortage. And the trains are not going to be able to have a full load of that or something. Or it'll become unequal because the, the we have... There's, there's different systems where it has like very... Like, like it can return things... To you, like Iridium, uh, here, let me give you an example, actually. Uh, where's the recipe for it? Shit, I didn't mean to press that button. Um, like, material science. Let's, let's do one of these ones. Uh, where is it at? These ones are really dumb. And and they do this a lot, by the way. Where is it at? And we're gonna, we're, we're gonna have to account for this. Um, broad... Yeah, just make material catalog. Where is it? Did I hate this thing sometimes? Where is it at? Unlocked by material catalog. Okay, here. Rigidity data. There you go. Look at that. 50% one heavy girder. How do you how do you reuse it, right? You know, 50% heavy girder. 25% one iridium plate. That's the kind of stuff there is. There will not be a train bringing material if it is not low enough. But okay, so but you're not understanding, right? Because I could have a varying amount in the system here, in any one of the systems, right? I have to have something where I, I expect a certain amount, and I want it to keep reinserting. Um, like I, I want to maintain a minimum. That's what I'm trying to do, right? That's how. It's not that simple. It isn't. It really isn't that simple. Because I know later on I'm going to have all that. So I'm trying to solve the problem now. There's, we have to basically like tell it that even with varying amounts, we may not want you to fill it up all the way because it's a percentage chance. It's, it, it is truly chaos in a lot of the situations. It's really random. So, and when you have a train system like this, it's like, how do you tell it to do that? So that's why I'm going to have a system like this. You could probably actually have it be a little bit more than this, but anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll mess with that in a minute. So we need uh, arithmetic accommodator. And and I really don't want to make it too complicated, but I don't know how to do it in any other case, you know? Yeah, but if you have a system where there's X amount of stuff on the chest, it won't bring that material. So wait, if you have a system where there's X amount of X amount of stuff in the chest, it won't bring, what are you talking about? I have trains that have a mix of stuff though. The, the main thing I want don't want it to do is I don't want it to overload on one particular thing. Can't you split them out into their own chests? I don't know this mod pack. That was originally what I was going to do, but the, the the issue I have now is like with the amount of cargo trains to uh, this one here, like I, I would have to have one for each item like this, right? Um, and granted, I could do that, uh, and I want I wanted to do that. But the problem I have is the the amount of space that it has for the wagon. So like right here, right? I have to somehow have this, have enough space for a beacon in the middle, right? And and then also just just end me. This is how much uh, space it needs for this kind of thing. Right here, right? This is all that this is the space it needs to make this all happen. This is what I was doing before, right? But I can't, I can't, I can't have it go because there's a, there's also a pipe output here too. So, just a lot of things. Are your stations connected by a, a circuit network? Ah, uh, they are. Bigger chests? Yeah, but, okay, but you see, I need to have, if we're doing, 
four individual things, right? Because this thing needs four individual ones. I can't have four individual large chests around this, right? And and if we're going to say, well, then put two things of the same type in the same chest, how do I prevent one from overfilling one type of material? You know, you're getting you're getting you're getting really deep here. So when you have one to one, it then they doesn't it can never overfill because the train will just not load that one anymore. Then and then you're gonna go back to oh why not just do circuits to basically say what you want to have? That's what I was doing just now. Can't you have the inserters read the chest and stuff? I just don't just don't use mixed trains. Okay, then I need four different stops for all these materials then. So so what's the like what it, that's what I mean. It's it's a complex solution. So I I need four different stops for this. You know <laughs> that's what I mean. It's the easy way to do it. You're doing it with LTN. I'm not sure about vanilla way. That's what I mean. I'm not I'm not using LTN. I'm not going to use it. So. No, you don't. I don't know what. It's 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 complete. It's confusing. Can't wait to see some biology biology science. I can't wait either because those those um the little guys are really like tiny. Make one train that brings all the materials, but only brings X material when it's needed. So you make one train that brings all of the materials. Okay. So you're you're talking about my current system, but it only brings X material when it's needed. Okay. So how do how do I tell it to just fill up that much? Right. I'm not doing it with I'm not playing with LTN here. So you don't need four stops. Are, are you are you are you guys just talking about LTN right now? Because I'm not using LTN. So. It's a train shop one, so you're trying to invent generic trains to send any? No, not not LTN. It is connected to the circuit network, but it, I mean, there's a lot of circuits that you can have on it, uh, kind of thing. So you can do a lot of that kind of stuff. But anyways, I was I was just setting up something for it, but yeah. But I, I'm all for uh, uh, solutions to this little predicament I have. That's what I was gonna do, like a. That's what I was gonna do, a big chest that would just filter, insert the things it needs into it. Uh, you could have a train station on its own satellite dish. It might be getting really convoluted, actually, but, uh, but like, it's the the problem. The problem isn't the trains. The problem is the amount of space I have here with what I need to unload. That's kind of that's kind of more of the issue. You can set filters from the insert and tell it to activate on certain amounts, but you need to read the trade content from the station. So you're you're kind of getting closer to what I was just trying to do right here, by the way. That this is what I started to do. It's only some kind of transport system besides rails that would carry objects from point A to point B. Well, we don't know of any. I'm not I'm not I'm not using belts for this. And you, you could, by the way, use like a belt system, but I'm trying to direct uh, insert most of this stuff and see see how it is. It's a good challenge. It's a challenging. Uh, approach to it. I won't, I won't, I won't, uh, I won't lie. It's, uh, you know, probably not the best thing to do all the time, but yeah. But you're starting to understand a little bit more of the predicament I put myself into. So I won't, I won't lie. I won't even lie to you. It's, it's uh, more of a, it's more of a me problem than anything. So like I said, I need to have, it's so many, so much criteria, right? I need to have the, the, the wider beacon here, eventually all this other stuff. So, you know, whatever. Making smarts for trains is, is fun. Mixed uh, stations at LTN is a bit of a pain. I was thinking of a similar system to keep single item trains. I'm gonna keep going down the route I'm, do I'm doing and I'll see how it works. And we'll see. Uh, this would be, yeah. We'll see how this goes. I have a good feeling about this. Okay, I shouldn't have a good feeling about this, but I do have a good feeling about it. Alright, so... Uh, this doesn't work. Well... No, it doesn't, because the train may not have one of those things. 
and then it will be stuck on this. And I want to use stacking servers for this. So either way, this sucks. Because <laughs> vanilla, you can't do more than one uh, type of filter with this, because it's only one one slot for it. Uh, okay, well, that's a um, bit of a rip boss. Um, I mean, I can still do it. You'd have to read the train contents to know to know to remove it. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think it's a bit too convoluted for what I want to do with it. Let me think about it once more. You could also have the beacon over here too. This this would also work. You just have it on the outside. Maybe I should start doing that. Just target the beacon being out here. You know what? I'm just gonna. You know what? I'm I'm just gonna rebuild this anyways when I do, because um, I don't like this one anyways. So I'm just gonna do four uh, inventory things and that's it. Forget it. I, I think I could just fit one outside there and that's it, so. Wait, you actually want the smart unload? G load is easier? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I have that. I want smart unload, that's what I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> that's, that's the thing you've been seeing me try to solve right now. But I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to not overthink it. Because I'm planning for something I don't have right now, so. I, I just, it's not worth it right now. one uh data cards you don't need smart unload if you have smart load so well that would be uh, so where would that be that would be like a again i'm not using ltn so that would have to be where like that's what i mean you'd have to do some kind of circuit di dish thing for a place that has all the things it needs because you need one centralized place to bring it all in. No, I'm not saying you need LTN. I'm saying that like you need like a centralized place to have all that stuff. So that's what I mean. All this is space logistics for logistics, uh, right? Tick per item. Yeah, something along those lines. I need to make this further back. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop overthinking it too much right now. So. We'll come back to it at some later point. I'm just going to get uh, this all going right now. Once you have a smart load set up, then why would you want the smart unload? Well, because I don't have a smart load. Like, one second. Smart load factorial. Let's let's see what, what, what we can find. Smart loader. Well, I'm not doing a mod. Well, there's a tutorial that someone has online. Metzuri smart loader. Okay, what does he have for this? see that would not be what it was that's uh that that would be the thing that is ba that balances that wouldn't be a smart loading thing smart train loading with a single requester chest well that means you're using bots for that as well so you don't have in, you don't have individual stations for it hey transfer sex making this concept of any to any train though that's kind of the, the whole point of it though The thing is though, okay, but you go, again, you're going smart loader, but like, I have to, I have to then always send data cards to a centralized stop then. And like, it, that's, that's really, I don't, I don't think that's a good solution to this problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep saying again. Junk data card uh, provider. Again, I'm not saying it's impossible to do. Um, I think with the current setup I kind of have going right now, I don't think it'll work. Oops. I, did, I pressed C, that's what I did. Whoops. 
Anyways, I'm, I'm, like I said, again, I'm going to stop thinking about it too much because I think this is not good to be trying to over complicate this because it's just, uh, yeah. It doesn't actually need to be this complicated, so. This this one I kind of figured would be an issue. I need to I need to space it up by one more up here. So let's do this one like that. I don't see anything online about a smart train loader, so that's 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 the thing. I, I kind of wanted to see if there was some other, uh, other example, maybe something a system like that, but I, I can't see any off the, off the top of my uh, uh, just off, on the, off, off the search uh, first search I did. So that's why I said I'll, I'll just leave it for now and just do this. Uh, They're loading is goofed. The only thing you can think of is using rail stations to read the contents and something like that. That's what I was kind of thinking. Like, I did have a system in mind for something else. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think it's just not, yeah. Actually, I think it's fine the way it was before. Yeah, this is okay. Hey, what did I do here? Hold up a second. Oh, right, it was supposed to be more down this way. I, I knew I messed this up somehow. There we go. Okay, this has to basically be swapped, so... Again, sorry if you were trying to convey something to me and I'm just not getting it, but that's <laughs> the nature of this factory of streaming, I guess. You can't, uh, yeah. Sometimes you can't put it, to, uh, it's hard to put into words in a chat, right? So you, you may have had a really good idea and I, 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 can't, I can't, I just can't imagine it in my head right now because it's the first time I'm trying something like this, so. Dude, factory could get complicated? Pretty much, yeah. It's like, yeah, we're just, we're just trying to do some analog communication about this stuff. I'm always, by the way, I'm always up for really great ideas. And like some of the best ideas that, that I've ever implemented came just from the chat and things like that. Just like things that I never thought to do. So no, I'm, I'm, I'm more, I'm, it's not, I, like I said, I'm not even close to like trying to like discard anything. I would love to implement whatever it is, but it's, uh, yeah. I guess I'm just thinking too small. That'll work. It's all good. The best part is that there's so many ways to solve problems. Pretty much, yeah. This one I don't think I'm going to be satisfied with uh, later, but I, 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 at this point I'm kind of like, I'm not going to overthink this because I'm just like, when once I get the wider beacons, it really does change the way you do a lot of your builds, you know? So is there a place I can shove this in or no? Yeah, this is the other problem I have. I mean, I could just do this. Actually, this is not even that much more things that look good. <laughs> I could just do this. This is fine. Who cares? It's one more beacon and I have a ton of tier threes. So we're all good. All right, let's go put the rest of this together. 
That's why I'm, I'm just like, I'm probably going to be just redoing it at some point. Oops. Uh, one more here. All right, so how many did it target? I guess I'll just keep building these and then that's it. Yeah, this is like 8.3. Again, you know what? Like, it's just, a, I'm just going to make a bunch of these and that's it. I'm not going to overdo it. I've already overdone it, basically, but yeah. Because I'm so early on in this, I'm just like, yeah, uh, let's see. That's for Perfax, no one cares. Let me just have a quick look over here. So these are still moving. Ooh, it did actually send the Cornetto rocket over, that's nice. It still wants like 1.4k of this, but you know. Is 500 wide targeted for... Yeah, maybe we should go 1,000. Oh no, I did go a thousand, never mind. Logistic. Okay. This yeah, right now I'm going the good enough route. Um because the beacons will change it anyway, so I I I would like to just finish up the beacons and all that. Uh yeah, this is still going. We're gonna need this one to do our uh Science at some point. Are these, uh, oh. Whoa, that was a fast train. <laughs> a lot of traffic over here now. I mean, they're very long trains, let's be let's be fair. I mean, outpost plants, I don't really care about train traffic all that much. It's like a small 3,000 radius moon, who cares? I mean, how much power is this, actually? Eh, fair enough. Okay, whatever. Let's go back to the drawing board for this one. Uh, so, we got data cards, and this is the conductivity data. Okay, that's another one down. Let's see, is there another one that requires any, uh... Let's see, polarization data, meh. Actually, this does require thermal fluid, so... Oh yeah, this is the one that requires uh, 10 degree thermal fluid. I hate that one. We're targeting a little bit under that, so maybe we should just... I mean, actually, this is a... Well, no, it's just as big as the other ones, never mind. Alright, already as it is, this platform already just, like, took up everything because of all the space it needs, actually, for all this stuff. I went to the future and acquired the 0.6 X10 version of SC from Devs. Oh, the uh, 0.6. No, it's, um... 0.6 is the version of uh, Space Exploration. That guy's being sarcastic. Truly futuristic. 
it's a uh, times ten science and uh, and uh, space exploration point uh, point six. It's the new one. They did a new release recently, so I'm playing that one now. Polarization data. All right. Yeah, that's it's a distinction because a lot of people are playing space exploration right now, but this is this is a run of uh, uh, of the the later the latest Grizz. Yeah, you were fooled. He was yeah. Kate was being a thing. Um, so this has junk data and scrap. So this one, I was going to do something a little bit different with. Um, so here's the thing. I didn't want to make 10 different kinds of trains for every kind of conceivable like combination of scrap and junk data cards kind of thing. Well, okay, that, well, that's exactly actually what I'm going to do. But anyways, <laughs> um, because yeah, now we have both and I want to be able to drop off both. Is that's that's the thing, and I want to be I want it to be able to pick it up when it has too much of either one. You're surprised to have all the streamers that are still playing point five. You saw one of them start a point five stream one day after point six came out. Confusing. Maybe they just didn't know. I mean, it turns out they didn't know. When I started uh, SC uh, point five, I didn't even know there was a uh, compatibility patch that just came out for it. I just kind of started it. I'm just like, oh, this is cool. Let's go play some uh, exploration of space, and then. Uh, it wasn't until, until people came up to my chat and were like, did did you get screwed over by the changes too? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is just, <laughs> this is my first time playing this mod. All right. Oh, these are a little bit misaligned. <laughs> Screws himself over all the time? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Alright, so this lovely one will also require... Okay, so this is the mirrors and the other one. Oh, good. Doesn't actually have one for this thing here. What do what do speed module sixes require? Because I, I would like to go down that path at some point. So this is heavy girders. And oh, so it's just the it's just the mat science path. That's all it is. This would be really hard to do on my current setup, but like, what, by the time we get to this, we'll be at space elevators, and I can basically focus on an infrastructure on Jet Nova, then upgrade everything to basically module sixes, and then go maybe upgrade all the space science I just did. You know, but that's what we could actually do. Maybe that's how we'll do it, actually. That's not a bad idea. Uh, let's see. Oops, I pressed escape rather than confirm. So we're gonna say some deciders. Uh, 
I didn't even do a decider over here for this kind of thing. All right, well, we'll just uh, I'll give it the good old anything provider, uh, anything condition. Calling for a train here would be what? That's that's the interesting thing. We could, uh, there's actually a really interesting thing we could do. We could say, okay, this is what we could do. We, this is what we can kind of do. Because I'm kind of thinking of like, th this is getting really convoluted. I don't want to manage this every friggin' time. So we can do a constant uh, combinator on this one. And all we have to do is say there is, just give it a, Boolean plate, uh, give it one plate, give it a data card, uh, what else, electron circuit somewhere, and uh, copper. Uh, of course, it's... Why is it four? What? Wait, 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 why does it... It's, I guess each one does an output of one L. I didn't even realize that. Uh, okay, you want anything is under that. Okay. <laughs> That's actually what you want. Interesting, I didn't realize that was a thing you could do. We'll just do under like 600 for any of these, so. That way I don't have to worry about uh, whatever it has. That's kind of, okay, that's a, that's actually a cool condition. I'm sure I could use that at some point for something really cool, but that's good to know that it does it works like that. Because it actually copies it several times. Like, that's a good thing to potentially have. Uh, so this has been bringing data cards over, which is fine. By the way, I could bring a data card um, wagon here instead of having it be something that's like shared between all of them. Although that's like each one can basically only hold one thing of data cards. So maybe I don't want to do that. I don't know. I mean, it does free up the space for it. I don't know. You could have a separate station for that. I'm not sure if that's the best thing I want to do though. You'd have to like have one go up here and that's it. You know, I could have done that actually. You just have one data card Thing that goes around kind of thing and then picks up whatever it needs to it's kind of that's kind of a cool concept but one i didn't really capitalize upon at all so we'll just leave it at that all right so let's see um Yeah, that ratio is really fucked, isn't it? Did a card trolley ding ding. Yeah. 4.4, 8.8, Or whatever, yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't want to worry about the ratios really hardcore, like... I want it to be good enough. Actually, I think technically speaking, everything needs data cards. One second, uh, let me let me have a look because maybe that is actually a good idea to do. Hold up, and not just fill wagons with that stuff. Because that is actually the one thing that is used by literally everything. 
Let's change church type. Science. Oh, you could just do this. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't even realize you could do this. Oh, dude, what? what? Dude, this is a totally new interface I didn't realize existed, by the way. So this is like what? A list of like all the recipes and stuff. And this just looks for, this is, I like this one actually a lot better. This is actually good. I, I just saw that option. I'm just like, what does that mean? Yeah, check out all these things that it's used in. That's a lot of crap that it's used in. Someone showed you this previously? I, I don't remember, by the way. I'll take your word for it, but I don't remember. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a little data card set up here. Only seventy places. Well, that's exactly what I mean. It's needed in seventy three places. So that's the thing is, do you want to have, um, basically, you know, seventy three different trains that can po potentially pick up partial amounts of data cards, which I don't, or alternatively, um, you basically have one kind of train that does data cards, and then the rest of them just kind of move around. So, are you being equally impressed then? I really don't remember. I, I honestly really don't remember, <laughs> so. Uh, let's see. Which means now this setup doesn't really work anymore, actually. Actually, no, it does work. You just ignore data cards and then that's it. Actually, that would be going into the same system like that. Can I just do something like this? I think it adds it up, right? I'm gonna change the music, give me a sec, guys. Let's do this one. Shift B brings it up on the book, yeah, yeah. That one, well, not Shift B, it's like Alt, Alt, Alt left click does that. You should close the ingredients. Should put bring up the like here. Oh no! You alt click it. Uh, alt alt left click. It actually does it for anything, which is really cool. There you go. I like that. That's actually really good. That's a really cool interface. I keep learning. I, dude, I'm not used to it at all. I, I need to mention that. I need to try something out here. One second. Actually, that would count as it being under under that. Uh, what if we do... Okay, wait. What if we say there's like a million in here? Because you don't want to ever call it for that, right? Oh, yeah. It, does, it totally does work, by the way. Because even if you have like a thing over here that says like, oh, I only have like 15 cards, right? And you do that, it still counts as being of a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, that's that's what I wanted. Was that a new recipe book? Does uh, that mod fit any mod save file or if it just recipe? It fits it for anything. It's like, uh, it's called like recipe book. Yeah, it's recipe book. It's a, uh, I used to use FNEI and I decided to try this one this run to see if I liked it any better or worse. So far I like it. So far I think it's, uh, I think it's really nice. Is there no more data cards or what? Um, yeah, there's nothing providing anymore. What's the problem? No copper. To be fair, it is adding a lot to it. Will it coexist with F and EI? Uh, yeah, I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, so you could try it out.
Where's the uh, thing that's making uh, these guys? Let's see, buffer. You're waiting over here because you don't have enough circuits. This I kind of figured would be a little bit of a problem, not gonna lie. Well, it doesn't exactly help that it's not exactly adding enough circuits in here, so let's just add up the amount that we're requesting. Eh, it's number six. Let's see. That's really what the problem is in this case. Uh, where's that? 50k, and I don't have any. How is that? Wait, how does that not. How many is in the rocket? 9.1 Signals. So you're asking for 40k. Why are these not inserting anything? Okay, they weren't they weren't wired. Whoops. I, I oh, it must have been when I removed some of the other ones. These just have not been functioning this whole time. Cuz I wanted to have this go, so Now it's not more rockets, it's that these uh, these inserters were not functioning. Yeah, but now they're all working, so... <laughs> you fucking... <laughs> the circuits... It's, it's fine, I'll, it'll catch up, it'll, it, it's not a big deal. So this doesn't give... Oh, this doesn't actually give that. It gives scrap, so that's fine. Scrap. So it's contaminated scrap. Provider. Actually, no, no train limit right now. And this is the thing I was starting to think about, which was, do I want to have... Eh. It's like, do I want to have it... Uh, have two two different stops to basically pick out, uh, drop off the scrap and junk data cards or do something else? That's, a, that's the thing I was kind of asking myself here. One scrap change should be enough for that? Well, for this one, yes. For the other one, I don't know about that. Uh, it's, it's either that or I start mixing trains together. Like, I start having one that can basically handle both, I was thinking of, so. Would help a lot with your pie game. Let's see, this is the other kind of data card. Alright, let's go. So now... Now the nice thing is I don't need to worry about this anymore. So now it's essentially just a matter of wagons an hour. 17, 4, and 4. So uh, let's see. Calc 17 point. Oops. Point 0.8 divided by 4.4. 4. 4.05. Okay, that's it. So, essentially what you do is for every single circuits, uh, circuit or hole in plate, you make four of the copper plates. Was it hole in plates and what, what else was it? And uh, circuits, yeah. Okay, and I could probably do, so we can just bring that all the way down, which I'll do, yeah, that's fine. So if I do half, I could do one, 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 and do the same thing again. And this middle one can just be, um, 
I don't know, just do one of each. There, good enough. I gotta be careful about that, because if it's in a group, it's essentially sharing the uh, deletions in a group, so I'd be very careful about that. So go to the copper provider. Until uh, item count. Then uh, circuits. Until item count. You know the depot. The last one would be Holium. I don't have Holium yet, actually. Yeah, I actually do not have a stop for that, so we'll just uh, let that go while I uh, figure out where to put that down. Probably over there. I got tons of Hoyan plates and ingots, so just uh, bring some of those then. That, that came from the other platform, so. How do I have 26 holium ingots in here, but yet they're not available? Did I, was I actually just putting them into... No, they're not here. Are they here? No. I guess there's, I, I, you know, I think it is. I think there's no bots free for it. Yeah, there they are. They're in the same grid, right? Yeah, they are. Okay, now it's doing it. Fucking, sorry, it confused the heck out of me. I'm not going to bother with that too much right now. Alright, so while that's go going, let's go back to the train that just picked up. Uh, absolutely nothing. Where'd it go? Where's my nice buffer train that I was just working with? I guess it's right here, right? No. Shoot, where'd it go? It's a lost train. <laughs> Was it maybe in one of these? I, I had a circuit condition on it, so it went it went to moved. Oh wait, this is it right here. So it had picked up eleven k, really. Two point eight times eleven point two. Okay, so. And let's go add Holium cables, or sorry, Holium rockets. Make sure to this guy. You can wait until item count. And this is for this guy, I think, right? Yeah. Actually, I think in this case, you could just wait until empty cargo, because it wouldn't be asking for it unless, well, no. You have to do item count, never mind. So either circuits are done. So I question myself and I'm thinking to myself, this is really confusing for this, but to be honest, the space sciences were always this confusing. So it's not like I made it more complicated, it just naturally is very complicated. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I think it's fine the way it is. And it goes back to that, all right. So you just added in 
That's why it may seem like overkill, but it really always needed that. Uh, less than or equal to. Or sorry, greater than or equal to. Train signals? Yeah. What about the... What's wrong with the, the train signals? for this one too because like i did spend a lot of time making like that scrap recycling system and all that kind of garbage so i did a lot of it you know <laughs> like that's that's just how it was all right 2k so i can't even go pretending like it's like uh something that isn't yeah meant to be this complicated because it is it just it's just the nature of it all That should be the remainder of the stuff for it. I still have a lot of ingots to go through, so... Alright, let's see how it did. So there you go. So, what it should be doing now... Is it'll count all of that and the station should now be disabled yeah there it is so it's off now so despite the fact it doesn't have any data cards it doesn't care because of the the fact i gave it like a thousand of that that yeah, just was a green cable connected to it and that's it it can go around so that's functioning properly now all right this only needed data cards which is good in the ratio also since green ships have a bigger stack size um, kind of, but it doesn't matter. Oh, no, no, the ratio isn't off. I did, I do wagons. So this is a wagons, by the way. This is, this is, uh, counts wagons per hour. So, like, for example, um, uh, the ratio I have in there right now is, if I go look at it. So it's essentially saying, uh, three, uh, sorry, five holding plates, and there's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the circuits. And how much is it asking for? Maybe it is off. But it, regardless, it's set up in a way where it wouldn't do that. And it goes, holding plates one, which is 100. It, should, it, it is actually off, by the way. One second, where's it at? But again, it's not the end of the world, because it won't care. It, it barely unloads copper to the station, though. Yeah. Maybe we should give it a bit more of a wait time. Oh, that's copper. Fuck. Yeah, all right. Because it's waiting for any because any one of them. So yeah, a wait time, a pass time would be good. Because you want to wait if any of them, or maybe inactivity. I, I don't want it to trickle. That's the thing. I hate it when it trickles. Maybe like one second of inactivity. Do you know Katana Zero soundtrack? I think you'd like it. I've never heard it. Also, this might be too much time for it to wait to unload, by the way. But it will just give it a shot. Still delivering stuff. It's delivering like 1k of them. I, I, I failed to see how there there's so many things with Holium in it. But I guess it's because they're all like charging on these stations, so that would likely be the reason. We'll just leave it be. Alright, let's see the thing here. Alright, let's see how it does it.
How much uh, copper is in there? 2.5. I need to give it more. Hey, can you show your thermal flu uh, fluid cooling loop? Uh, sure, uh, I don't have one. So, not here at least, not yet. It's coming soon, but uh, I will make it in just a moment, by the way, so. I, I don't really have one anywhere else. Like, this is like the biggest one I can show you, the, the one that I have, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do that last. I, I kind of decided I was gonna do it at the end, so. So the answer is I do not have one. I think I need more time than that. That's that's so awkward. Like, do I have a circuit con condition or what? Like, I know it's a bit awkward, but yeah. Okay, there you go. I, I guess this will work. This is this should be fine, I guess. But yeah, you're right about the fact it didn't it didn't allow it to unload enough. I guess that's why that's a good condition to have, just all of them. Alright. Chris, one inserter mixed trains? Kind of, yeah. Uh, it's gonna always equalize that. That's fine, though. Okay, let's go back to that. I'm gonna finish off the, what it's doing. That's why the weight would be actually just fine, I think, for it. I mean, I could add, like, an additional uh, copper one, but... Isn't that the one that's like the... I think that's the one with the most amount of them. It is. So. But I did do the data card separately. I guess I should have had two inserters for it. I don't know. It's it's okay. We're, we're learning from our mistakes now, so... So later we don't have to make them anymore. I have to send it to all and on all conditions uh, because what if it has too much of something like it they, okay so there could be a situation well because the, the ratios are not perfect that's the, that's what the problem is it was like a certain percentage so it would it would basically it's always adding too much of one thing right now because it is a wagon with all that stuff that's what I mean. It will it will definitely uh, deadlock if I do that. I have to give it a way out. Yeah. Hey, that's uh oh no, it's doing its thing. That's a lot of solar. The issue with these. You know, I think it is. I think it's just too fast for its own good. Oh no, it's not. It's just the electronic circuits are slow. Trains actually add another layer of puzzle solving to this game, especially the way I'm doing it. Um, yeah, because I didn't have, like, because remember, this is what I did with my last game. I had, like, one block, right? And I would essentially just say, like, okay, I need green circuits. I need, uh, I don't know, the copper. I need this. Or... Or I use landing pads for it, right? That was something I did. That that was okay. That was what I did. I did landing pads, right? And landing pads don't fill up until they're empty, so I don't really care about the throughput of the landing pads. But this time I have a bit of a different problem because since we're trying to target space elevators, we actually have to have trains that can intelligently decide um, to leave a stop when it has too much of it, right? And the ratio and ratios vary very dramatically. So. That's kind of the that's kind of the issue that we're in, right? Now I'm debating this one. It's like let <laughs> let you solve your own problems. Yeah, I know. So now the thing I'm now considering at this point, by the way, is 
So this this has junk and it has scrap in it. So do I do one train for both? Right. Or do I do, and I kind of want to do one train for both, and then that train can just d intelligently decide to distribute it accordingly. Um, I could either do that, or I could basically, uh, what's it called? Or I could do um, like one junk data card one and one scrap one, you know? And then the scrap one is just called, and it just has it f like basically three different stops. But that's the hard part about that one. You just get LTN and it solves it for you, but then I can't use space elevators. So that doesn't solve anything. I want to use space elevators, man. How do we how do we use our space elevators with all this? Then you're gonna say vanilla trains, blah blah blah, but it's like no. <laughs> can't do that. You can still do it with stations without LTN though. So install L so you're telling me to I should install LTN to just not use LTN just have it there just just to look at it. I can't do that, man. You got to we got to go we it's all or nothing with me. It's got to be all of it or no. I am still hmm. Oh, actually I can kind of put it up there. Uh but it would only allow for one train to or one thing for that. Hmm. That's what I'm kind of thinking of just mixing up the trains, but I don't know. This is it an LTM free stream? Hey, there you go. You heard it here first. The chat has spoken. LTN is never being used. All right, let's let, let's try the mixed one, and then if it has a problem, I okay. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of concerned about the um, the inserters basically having uh, something in them when it basically has it, but. We'll, we'll, we'll try it out. This is the time for experimentation and blah, 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 blah. So let's go. Because that you know what the, what the other thing is? Because I'd have to basically... Right now you see I'm doing an exclusion. Uh, well, you don't see I'm doing an exclusion. But you will see it because I'm about to do a blacklist on that one. Make it interesting. Stay on novice, no LTN, or leave novice and use LTN. What? How does that even make any sense? Multi-spectral mirrors. All right. So this one requires um, 5.8 machines. I'm just gonna do four, I guess, because like as I said, I think at this point I'm kind of not exactly targeting what I'm supposed to do anyway. So. Uh, speaking of, I keep looking at the uranium and I keep wondering how far we are, but we're, we're actually doing pretty good. Oh my god, dude, we lose bots way faster. Like, we had 500 before. Oh yeah, Cornetto has really bad bot attrition, I just remembered this. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe, maybe that wasn't a good idea, actually, to do, like, uh, stuff on this. Because, like, this is a bot attrition of, like, 10. I was wondering what was eating them all up, but that was why. <laughs> uh, if we go to uh, logistic bots for losses in the last, like, uh, let's see. Yeah, there you go, like 20 per minute, 50 per minute, 50 per minute again. Uses bots on a planet where they almost die instantly, yeah. I think I need a better system for this, I just realized. All right, we're gonna do a better system for that. That was de that's definitely the problem actually right now. I don't know why I did this then. That's okay though. Gonna better make a better Corvix uh, loop for this. I didn't. I I totally forgot that this planet had a lot of this stuff. So. Uh, so basically throws out that much, yeah. Time for a new planet? No, no. This this is fine. This planet's okay. It's just uh, the bot attrition I forgot was really bad here.
It's a it's a it's a really simple fix actually. Just uh, basically stop being lazy. <laughs> is the is the fix. Very difficult for me, by the way. I just have to make a like a belted Corvix loop. That's all. It's, if if I do that, then it's fine. that we really need here. Just delete these all for now. So the main thing is it will always have a little bit too much uranium, which is what I want. And uh, let's see. Something like this. As long as it goes to the same place, it's fine. Or is it going up? No, no, you're going to go down, sorry. Uh... Whatever, fine. This Corvex always uses a little bit more uranium-238 for a little bit less than the other one. It's just that's the only thing I really need to do is just basically not not use bots for something like this. Because it's really something that is really easily solved by, you know, just not using bots. So. But it is definitely unsustainable on this planet. I can guarantee that right now. I'm going to need one more. Uh, well, that rail's in the way. Yeah, no. Well, uh, can we? Actually, we kind of can. Because it actually doesn't need to... Uh, yeah, it doesn't need to sort it any more than this. 
Let's see here. This is fine. <laughs> do that. Stop. All right, there we go. So this this one can just kind of go into the other one. So this would be yeah. That's going back into that and give it a little bit of that. Uh, or not. Did I do this wrong somehow? I totally did do it wrong. It actually has less space than I thought it did. Eh. I still think we can fit it in there. We just have to, like, move this all to the side a little bit. Okay, I want it to stop doing this, because it's going to just eat my Corvex then, if I don't do that. Yeah, there is there is enough space for this. It just, uh, I didn't do it correctly. I just gotta wait for these to finish up here. And we just put, like, two down beside each other, and that's it, so... Why are these not here? Yeah, that was a bad idea to do uh, a, <laughs> a bot-based Corvex loop. This one's fine. I don't... Well, this one technically could go somewhere else, but... Yeah, you know, I don't really mind the bots doing this one, because it won't... Well, I, I really shouldn't have done this, actually, like that, so... That's fine. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess they are carrying around a lot more for Corvex than anything else, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Let's, let me just copy this one and then just uh, cut this. Okay, it's fine. Also, also, I think I, it's called Cor Coverex. Sorry, I, I don't mean to trigger anybody. I, Mis mispronounce things sometimes. Uh, you know, ironically, we should probably move it up and, and not down. So this one's a problem because it shouldn't be like that. We can just copy this one over here again. And now we have enough space. Whoop, we have enough space for it now. Yeah, no, no, I was, I was in the middle of doing it. I was just, uh, yeah. I got it. Because there's, there's actually enough space for it here. So, you know, might as well, right? So it moves it out. This would be, if I do it like this. So the first one I have to do is always output the uranium here. Let me just not plug that in right now. So that's gonna be on the inner side. So I have to not do that actually. Or, or swap these ones, either one. Uh, yeah. I think we're gonna have to swap them. There you go.
Well, actually, I don't need to do that. I just need to output priority and, and not set an actual filter on that. Because what else is it possibly going to be? So. There, there's no stone in this system, luckily, so. So that brings it back in without needing it to go. And the rest of this can be rest assured that is just stuff that I can put into the rocket. We'll let it go for a second here just to get started again. Yeah, I know it's easy to forget about bot attrition as you get in the game, as things that are being automatically replaced, but yeah. I, I'm Okay, so Jet Nova has lower bot attrition, by the way, than, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the novice does. It's actually really good for bot attrition. But the main thing is, like, even, um, it's, it's really funny, because Jet Nova or Orbit, which is where I'm at right now for bots, it's only got 5.24. Cornetto has 10. You know that's kind of that, that's funny because like Cornetto ha Cornetto Orbit has less bot attrition than the actual Cornetto does itself. Something happens when it gets through the Cornetto atmosphere and it just it just completely fucks off. I guess I don't know. That's that is a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Logically, that doesn't make a lot of sense. I know I know that's why it's because it's what it's set to, but still, you know. Rare ones output on rails. What do you mean? Oh, you mean what I just did here? Oh, yeah, they do. What the hell? Uh, I guess I have to move it again. This will surely be the last time I move this. Okay, well, I, clearly I want this to be something a little bit different. this before. I don't even remember. Oh, I moved it down by a tile. Okay. Uh, where was it? Like this? Oh, it was like this before. Okay, now here's the chance. Hey, now here's its chance to do it. Okay. Uh, I didn't want it to do this one quite yet, but yeah. How many belts does this actually consume? Oh, wow. I probably didn't take that into account. I mean, I could have it so it grabs what it needs to as well. Oh man, this is bad actually. Uh, need a better system for this, I think. Shoot. I think, I think, I think I... Man, I've always done bot Quarrex. <laughs> Why did I do this? Yeah, I have to have it go onto the same belt or something. I have to do it. Yeah. I have to I have to tell it to just uh, remove, like I have to tell it to bring in the. Um, no, it it just has like a ton of it. You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna overcomplicate this. Forget it. I don't I don't care. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have it eat some of it off the line again, and that should be good enough for it to do whatever it needs to. Wait, why is this like this? Okay, well, this was screwed up anyways. There you go. That'll do it. These are okay. Alright, these are problems. 
There you go. They'll, they'll, they'll fix it enough. Then I just have to put this one onto a lovely belt. That's it. And I'm going to say, if I need more than this, I should probably just uh, make an additional setup. Uh, why does this feel like I did something wrong? All oh, right, because I did do something wrong. There you go. That's all it needs to be. It'll, it'll take some off the line, that's it, so. But it should always be making a lot more, so. Do you run out of uranium? No. <laughs> I, have, I actually have a lot. Um, I just want to make a, a system that didn't have so many bots for this. Logistic bots. Where's it at? So, we're still losing a lot, actually. Oh, no, that's production, never mind. Uh, no, it's kills. Yeah, there you go. So that, that was its high point, by the way. I was looking at production, but I still knew we were doing a lot here, by the way. When I looked at it, I knew I shouldn't have been doing that. That, that That's what it reminded me of, sorry. If you, if you got confused and wondering why I was looking at production and going like, oh, production is up, why, are you, why did you just do that? No, no, it's because I, I, I thought about it. I'm like, Cornetto actually has, um, well, it's, it is losing bots is the first thing, but that's where they're going, is they're getting destroyed because of the attrition. So that's what, this is where it was at its peak. So it's fine. Wow, I really don't have a whole lot of this stuff, do I? Only had one point, yeah. I, I now have less than 300 alive when it's set to 1.5. That was why, like it's it's still going out and, and still being bad, so. Certain condition removes U-35 when the, when the inserter is removing 238 activates. Uh. You could do that. Um, I'm just going to keep it with the, the belt system here. It's just that this essentially makes it so it's feeding off of the, the other line too. So, Because it, it's a problem for both, right? That's what it is. And I'm trying to make a full belt of this stuff. So it should eventually come back in. I probably should actually keep these... Also, is there a reason why this is like this? It's supposed to be like that, huh? I could have also done two belts coming through here as well. That, that could have been something else I could have done. Yeah, I did the same thing here. It's not a perfect system. You can say I bought a lot of my builds, though. It's supposed to jump to the next area for what the lower uh, line is going on to the first area, though. Yeah, no, they, they, they just keep going. It just it's, it's supposed to just come back into um, one one area kind of thing. That's all this is meant to do. Fair enough. A belt carousel feature in zone. I love the Corvex setups that are more circuit condition type. Normally, so do I, actually. I don't know. You, you're making me think about it. I just wanted to do something really quick, so just to keep it going, though, but I don't know. Now... now now I'm questioning this decision I just made. It's more because I'm seeing this go in on what- Oh, right, it's a half a belt. Yeah, you know what? I have to do a circuit. You're right. Because this is half a belt. I, I was looking at the numbers of this, and this is just- that uh, doesn't work. They're, they're, they're not going to ever make it to the end with this Corvex setup. All right. I'll, I'll do what you're saying, actually. Circuit condition removes 1, 2, 3, 5, and- Inserter is removing. When when inserter is removing two thirty eight, it activates. Uh, let's see, what is it doing? Just trying to think here. Uh, it's 
of how that works. When it when when a two thirty five inserter is removes that when it when it's removing two thirty eight. Well, it needs to add it in. Just trying to think here. We could do also like a, a more like lighter bot approach to it. Give me a sec here. I want to try something out. You need a splitter on the bottom line to feed others too. It removes one extra that is generated. Well, okay, so I, I could have the splitter at the bottom. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll just fix it the way the, where it is. You guys are right. Oops. Well, that one I never did anything with. I, I really want to do a circuit setup now. He suggested it, and now I want to do it, so... How about SS from Discord? Let's see, what do, what do you have there on my Discord? God, no circuitry. I, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> I guess it's just eating from the same one or what? Don't you ever do this setup with enriched vulcanite? Kind of. It, it basically feeds back into itself uh, in certain situations. Like, it's like a... It, this one's actually a really convoluted one, actually. I, I try to do something light with it to basically keep it going. So, you know. I, I basically kept each one as a self-contained system. That's what I did. So, and I want to do something similar again, actually, to be honest. But I'm kind of kind of a fan of doing something circuit-based, actually. Don't you need, like, a box to guarantee it, though? That's the thing. That's my question. Just looking at it, because I'm just like, yeah. You would use the filter insert because K2 doesn't output 238. 235, sorry. At the... I kind of like the idea of the... Um... Let me see here. So you wouldn't want it in a box, right? You just want to have a straight up line of the stuff, so. You have to you have to have a way of putting the input back into the output though, is the thing. Uh you don't need a box? I'm confused. <laughs> well, because you activate the you activate the insert only if the other one does. It puts itself into the box and the okay. Check Discord. All right, let me have a look at this. Uh, yeah, this, this is a more elaborate one. It's okay. Uh, I'm gonna skip that a little bit. Let's see this one. Yeah, it's something very similar to what I was. Uh, where is it at? Oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, that's, that's actually something similar to... That's that's exactly what I'm doing in my... Uh, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I'll just show. This is, uh, this is kind of what... This is what I'm doing in my other loop. But mine has a beacon around it. That's the difference with it, so... But I do, the, I do basically the exact same thing. It's basically like you basically come in back into it, and you basically... Well, I guess, yeah, you, you, you were doing a sort, and then, yeah, okay. I guess I'll just do that. It's fine. I was already doing it, and I guess I just needed that extra bit of uh, convincing to, to do that system again. Because you know what? It actually was a good system. So, okay, fine. We'll do, we'll do that instead. 
I'm already- I, I- it's a problem I already solved. I don't know why I'm, like, being all weird about it. We'll do- we'll, we'll do that one again, because I, I- I actually did like that one, so. Problem is that you can only chain so much belt supporting, where mine you can chain until you uh, put a support belt. Not exactly. I'll, I'll- I'll show you- I'll show you how it works. It is- I- like I said, I've already- I've already done this, so. So this is what you do. So you you kind of have it going out onto this, right? All right. So you, it starts here. First thing you do is you say, "I want to always output." I think it's this one. So yeah, so the, you always get less two thirty uh, two thirty eight, right? So you always guarantee that one's always going to come out here, and then this is another one. And then you just feed it back into the same system, and that's it. That's it. It's actually, it is actually really straightforward and simple to do, do this kind of system. And that's all you do. So this guarantees that it will always try to use all the, the whatever you have currently. It's not like, and, and that's why I usually give it like a bit of a buffer too. So actually I can move this down a little bit too. You gotta give it a bit of uh, leeway. Like that. Because it will also it will also always output on the top as it stands, so this kind of system it's the same out here, right? So it's basically doing 0.4 of a belt of mostly 235, and then a little bit of a belt of the other one. That's why it works. You don't want to just redo stuff. I mean that's that's my life is always redoing stuff. That's how I am. But what matters is when you look at these numbers, you basically subtract them from each other, and then that's how much you're actually going to need of either one, which makes it super straightforward. So, uh, let's see. Now, of course, I had a system before where I was only inserting it if uh, the one was greater than the other to basically leave enough 238 in the system, which I can actually do again. There's actually no uh, issue with that. You just connect it, say, as long as 234 five is less than 238 then you can go oh it did it for all of them subtracts it for you under the net rate oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah you're right so it's the net rate so this is like way less than than a than a belt of uh, of the stuff from before. So that that's and that's what I kind of wanted to have in the first place. So this is guaranteed to be a full line of uranium two thirty five. Well, not a full line, but it's going to be a line of two thirty five that I can use for other reasons then. So um, let's just do this again. And it, it's actually the same uh, alignment too, which is good as well. And it means that when you wanna have more, you just basically do this, and then that one line is gonna just basically be able to self-sustain itself, so. Uh, I could do it maybe down here actually instead. Or maybe not. No, actually I could do it over here. Add prior to the loop and tech? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this one, yes. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't quite finished off with this yet. Is it done yet or no? Whatever, I'm just going to delete it again. So I love doing that. So it means I don't have to add this little cleanup thing here. I don't have to have that anymore. Uh, 
So now you just need one thing to basically feed the system here, and that's it. It means I could just plug this uh, another one in right here, and that's it. What was this thing for? I don't even remember what this... Oh, this is the old one. I see. It's too big now for this one, but that's fine. I'll just I'll move it down here then or something. This doesn't need to be here. I thought I'd have another one, but I guess I didn't. So there you go, going right back into the same the same loop essentially. So. copy the same thing again. I wish I kind of put it in a space that had more place, but yeah, whatever. What are you going to do, right? Uh, I may have to act to provide us on this out. Give me a sec. I think if I just do this, I'll just delete a bunch of it and put it back in the system here. What I, I'm just trying to kickstart it to do as much as I can. Eh, I, I could, like I said, I just took out some stuff from the uh, rocket, so just by <laughs> deleting it, uh, deleting the rocket, and just doing that, so. one will go up. Eventually it will not need this anymore. Uh, it's just right now to, to get it going. But it's already starting to kind of come back into the same loop, so... Yeah, this is what... This is... Uh, I want to say that's successful, but why is it not doing anything? Or, you know what? Do you know why? Uh, because we don't have a... I don't think it's in a robot grid. Yeah, it's not. So, the, the the inserters are all disabled because it doesn't think it has anything in there. There you go, now nah, it's fine. But that's doing what it's supposed to. I want it to essentially turn off if... Uh, I want them to not use up all the 238 that I have, because I need that to restart the loop, I guess. It, well, it would, be, it would imply that there's a severe lack of uh, the 238 coming in here, because it, it might be faster than that. I've run into that situation before, where you just, like, if you, uh, if you mindlessly basically have it doing it, so failure successfully failed. 
Yeah, it's fine. But this should do it, and the net rate should be... There you go. Net rate, it's going to create uh, 138 per minute, so... What's the problem with this one? Okay, well that should be working. Are they disabled? Waiting for source items, that's what they are. Oh right, and also it's a little bit slower because it has to go all the way down here too. So, these, these loops are gonna be the slowest ones. Uh, I'm just trying to think here. side. There you go. That's a way to kind of get it to kickstart a little bit better. There you are. Oh, and I just have to output priority this. Okay, there you go. Now it should be fine. Yeah, th this one works with that. I do like circuit solutions, though. Don't get me wrong. I do really enjoy those. But this was one, not one I think that required it, so that's why I, I thought about it, and I was like, "Oh man, uh, you got to make it basically make it pick up at like a certain time. It, it's only enabled in certain cases." Like uh, he, what, the thing he was talking about before was like, you basically detect when it has something in its hand or it was activated. You do like a pulse and you have it pick it up. But to me, I was like, uh, "When do I do that?" <laughs> Just like I, I was, I, I could only think in the context of chess, so. Alright, guys, let's go back to this. Holy shit, we're in space, guys. We've been in space the whole time. Alright, alright, we got it now. Uh, let's see. So this is cards and mirrors. If I could post a screenshot, I could show you how mine is. Yeah, absolutely. Post screenshots, either my Discord or on here. Either one works. You are allowed to post links anywhere you wish. Well, the, that are in the context of the Factorio. I should I should probably elaborate on that. As I've learned, uh, that that often is a blanket statement for I'm going to post uh, uh, suggestive furry things everywhere. <laughs> All right, give me a second. Yeah, no problem. Look at Hom being like a, a rebellious uh, moderator. All right, so this is requester. I, I, I like I, I kind of understood what you were saying, but I'm like I couldn't wrap my head around it right away. So that was the uh, the difficult part for me. I think I have a data card requester over here. Yes, I do. All right. Is the data cards are still slow? Why are they still slow? Mm, let's see. Oh, what? What is this? Okay, I guess I have to give it a bit of a timeout because why would it do this? Oh, it's 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 asking for it, but what happened then? Why does one have way more than all the other ones? I mean, timeouts are still good. I I still would like to have a look at that one. Why it turned into that? Isn't that the buffer though? Which one is this? This is the. Oh, this is another kind of train. We lack of everyone ever seeming to notice that the satisfactory character is a thick tipped lady who amazes me. Uh, let me see here. What would the what would the Factorio guy be? He's a thick jetpack 
wearing. I guess you can't really tell. Well, that this would likely cause a problem. I need to. I need to give it an out, by the way. Or inactivity, actually. That should be what the condition is. Alright. This is the data card one. 6 out of 7 meteors destroyed. Lovely. One actually landed. Oh my god, it damaged things too. Alright, the game hates me. Victoria bots are female. <laughs> Alright. Won't go there. Uh, we got more coming in. Why would it ask get so much in here? Is it, okay, so what is the limiting factor of this guy? One second. So... Oh my god, it's like, it, dude, it's full of everything. It just doesn't have copper. Alright, you know what? Just, I'm gonna add an inactivity timeout for this one. I'm gonna do it for both of these. Or all of these, I should say. Because you know what? We actually have a lot of advanced, uh, advanced circuits. Oh, uh, you know what? It's also probably this thing, too. How do I separate that one in its own group? Oh, that's that's really weird how you have to like toggle that, but I see it now. Alright, let's see your uh, setup here. Alright, so this is a So it's essentially you're saying you're you're always putting it onto the same belt, right? Oh, okay, so this this takes out one when it puts any kind of uh, 235 in. The thing, the, the, the only odd thing is you have to kickstart it by being there, though, which I can't really do. You have to, you have to be there for it. That's the only thing. Also, speed modules? Yeah, I, I, I'm not there, unfortunately, with it, so... Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. It's that's cool though. Don't get me wrong. I like it. Trying to think of a better escape condition for this, because I've been doing 120 seconds of past kind of thing, and, and, and that's how much time it has to unload all its cargo. As a, you have to watch it, of course, kickstarting the rest of them would be a pain to take a while, yeah. I think the uh, I think the setup I did here is good enough for what I want it to be, so. It does need a little bit more to keep it going, but that's what this is all for. Because that's why I'm feeding it back into itself, just because it will, as time goes on, it'll be, uh, it'll be better. I could also give it more by just deconstructing this rocket slightly. Because they, they always empty it first. Cause this one's this one's fully saturated now. Why is this one a problem though? Oh, it's not in a grid. Yeah, the rest of it's fine. All right. Let's see, is there anything else we need to do at the moment?
I think I need another train for this, by the way. Because we just need enough, we, we need enough of these things that it's actually kind of important to me. This is a data card. Hey, what are you doing? Back to where you were going. Actually, it doesn't matter. Just go, go to this thing then. <laughs> Alright, it's also a data card buffer. There you go. Now uh, we just have two of them going around. That should be enough to make uh, data cards pretty consistently. I still have a lot of junk data cards. I think I was me meaning to get rid of them somehow. I don't remember where they came from. They probably came from another rocket. All right, let's go back to solving the uh, infinite problem of how to deal with this dumb science I concocted myself. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we're gonna need a mirror uh, thing because we already have one of these. We just need a mirror one and then one of these two, okay. So, let's do two more. Last time we looked at junk cards, we kept going on how much better the next level of supercomputers was. And I, I still stand by that. Uh, after I go for elevators, I'm probably gonna get the junk, the new supercomputers shortly after that. It's definitely gonna be one of the, the main things we target. And then we're gonna get, then we're gonna go to get Vidima Lodge, but that's a little bit far back, I guess. So this one's gonna be mirrors. I mean, that's how most of this st stuff in this mod is. It's like, uh, it's like you look at the science tree. And it's just like you start with like kind of bad stuff, and then you're like, oh, you kind of get it gets better, you know, as you kind of work at it. So, uh, gonna have to make it a regular depot for now. Uh, so we're gonna go to a requester stop. Or sorry, yeah. Provider stop until you're full. Requester until you're empty. And how much was I gonna target for this? Yeah, this only is like, this doesn't have that much of this, so we can just uh, get a, just a smidgen of it. Is there a amount of, you know what, I'm gonna probably bring this down. Oh, that doesn't work. I was gonna probably, you know what, I think I had come into this before and I said I was gonna just do this. There we go. So that's data cards, that's thing. Okay, that's fine. And this is the, uh, I believe the top one is gonna be the junk and the bottom one is not gonna be junk. Yeah, that's fine too, okay. The rest of this is polarization data. This one is greater than 8k. The junk. Plus, uh, let's see. I want to just use the same one, by the way, for this. We just do this, and uh, you 
yeah, you just hook it up to itself, and then that's fine. When you say any kind of scrap is greater than, I'm gonna say 8K. All right, there you go. So it just doesn't have thermal fluids now, but that's okay. We will give it that in due time. Also, why are these all screwed up? I uh, just was missing one or what? Also, I may not have put a whole lot of uh, signals at the top of this. There you go, rest of this is fine. Vita and not spaceships. Well, that's what that's what. I, well, okay. Plan is uh, space elevators. So space elevators is essentially this like material science pack twos plus astronomic one and and uh, energy science pack one. Then I want to go for spaceships. So the spaceships are like astronomic three, and then that that gets me some interplanetary trains, kind of a thing. And then I was going to do Vinimalage after that. That's why I said it, it's its not coming until the very end. And I don't know if that's a great, a great idea. Because it's like you, you lose out on productivity modules, spider trons, and uh, mining productivity. Three very important things. But things that aren't necessary for space elevators, strictly. That's the, that's the problem with it. So. But I did want to get like... Um, it, 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 it's so hard, right? Because it's like you could give it up and do something else. But, you know... Why would you do that, I guess? I don't know. Alright, so this is a lovely 10 degree fluid that I have to basically do something about. And we, yeah, we have to do something different with that. Well, let's just do the last one, the radiation, and that's it. Okay, let's see how the radiation is doing now. Speaking of... Okay, it looks like they're all almost going. And I say almost because it's not quite. They're just starting to make it down here now. It definitely was not this uh, well done before. Oh, right, this one just automatically goes, feeds into this one. Actually, that's most of them, now I look at it. <laughs> because only these two feed back into the main system. Eh. Do I care? It, it will eventually solve itself, you know? That's what I mean. But, like, I don't really... I, I don't think I really care all that much. It's fine. This one, this one, this one's... Oh, this top measure is not needed uh, for that long. Alright, let's do radiation. So it's a similar kind of system. Uh, we How much do we need? We need seven of these. Basically, just data cards and uranium. That's gonna be really interesting having just uranium ships just flying around. That one I'm probably, I'm gonna have to think about how that train stop is gonna look because I kind of don't want to have two full uranium <laughs> landing pads. Especially seeing as the fact is I don't even have one uh, rocket that's full of uranium yet. It's it's taking a while to get there. Actually, no, no, no. You know what we could do? Never mind. I'm I'm, I'm just gonna send this to the uh, buffer pad or something. I don't even. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll figure it out. All right. So this is gonna be. Uh, with uh, uranium ships with a chance to crash, yeah. That's why I prefer not having it like that forever, so. But that's why you'd have a... Um, you, you, you bring in from another planet, which is really nice when you get to do that. So 
So this one luckily does not need any of this garbage now. I've been trying to avoid getting into a situation where I'm going to be re rebuilding it, but I think I'm going to be in a situation where I'm going to rebuild it no matter what, to be honest. You're, you're trying to avoid that extra step to spend the extra time and make it however good you need to make it, but it's just like, yeah, I, I just don't see a way. All, all the good stuff like beacons and whatever are just like still locked far behind. So, ironically, I think uh, this, this one is actually forcing me to do more uh, rebuilds than the other one did, so. Uh, the 0 0.5. 0 0.5 I don't think required as many, uh, much rebuilds as this one does. Oh, good. Yeah, that's right. You have your aim 235 that comes back into it. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this up a little bit here. Oh, you know what the worst part is? It's a 50% again. Right. That sucks. Big Sag, not allowed to use productivity in space is bad. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I, I don't feel that bad about skipping Vitamilage because, I mean, how much are you really skipping for prod modules, right? Like, okay, I usually went to six, right? And that's what I did in my last game for prod. And that's a difference of like, where's it at? I Don't get me wrong, it hurts. It hurts me on the inside, but uh, where's prods, modules, mod, whoops. Okay, I started typing something in, it was like, modules, there we go, yeah, right here. So it's 14 versus the 8 I'm gonna have. That does hurt, <laughs> that hurts me. I already gave up trying to do more than one resource on a planet moon, in K SEK2 things require like holy and we already have a huge base by themselves one alone adding cry or whatever i mean they i i found that to be also the case where it just there's a lot of things that you kind of need to do with it so yeah anyways this is this is where i kind of went before but yeah the problem with prod prod fours is it requires vitamilage right away and like getting onto a vitamilage planet requires a lot of investment i was hoping to do it with um pile drivers but i'm being told that pile drivers may not be exactly that good so i guess we'll find out I like learning new things, like how bad pile drivers are potentially going to be. I don't think they, 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 they I'll be honest, they don't look that bad. I, I look at the, the numbers, I'm like, you know what, it's, you can automate it away, you can just not care, you know, all that kind of stuff. Also, I also need to make sure it's a filter inserter. If, it, if you can automate it away, can it really be that bad? Big pile drivers are question how much you scale them. If you do like 20, I think they could put in some work. I'm, I was aiming for 10, to be honest. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see how that turns out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Actually, was this? Actually, I think that was fine. Yes, it was. Radiation data. Uh, yeah, it doesn't require anything else, luckily. that becomes so 
that's the lion out of it, whatever. Have you launched a full <laughs> fledged nuclear invasion against the biters yet, aliens yet? No. I my uranium two thirty five is precious to me. I want to throw iridium at them. That was kind of what I wanted to do. Okay, it doesn't need to replace any of that, so it's still good. This also still needs to be fixed, this planet, because I erased a little bit too much, and then, uh, yeah, I did some stuff to it. It's it's nearly done, though, this place. But yeah, it's going to require me to come in there and fix it, unfortunately. Okay. Well, that should be it for this. I won't need any more than this. I wanted to see the 235, what it's maybe used in, but you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, 235, yeah. This one's gonna be a data card. I'll be honest, this is probably way harder than a main bus to do. <laughs> it does solve a lot of problems later down the line. To do to do this but it's just like you're going all in with trains right um, the good news is it should scale amazingly well but when we get there that's how long it'll take howdy hey spork how you doing i'm uh doing my lovely train setup here It's, this is all in the name of doing space elevators at interplanetary trains, by the way. I just want to mention that. I created 1,000 cargo rockets. Oh, wow. That's depressing. <laughs> just saying. Your aim not connected? Is it not? I think it is. Yeah, it's connected. Oh, well, maybe not to this one. I'm still working on this one. Yeah, no, it looks connected to me. I haven't done the space bus, but it's pretty easy once it fills up. I'm out of chemical gel and took forever to catch up, yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it, I remember I remember that. To me, this is like, this is the premier way of doing, like, uh, basically space trains, you know, in space, I guess. I'm gonna do another one up here. Alright, let's do a little setup over here. And then the last one, I'm, I guess I might as well just get this hypercooler set up now, actually. I like this weird ass number I came up with. So it's 6.3 for this specific one. All right, someone was asking how I set up this stuff uh, and I will show you in a minute. There's uh, uh, other problems at the moment. Let me just solve these first. It took a while, but I finally got to this point. Less than 15.
This is me trying not to put too much into there, but that is, this one's okay. This one could just do it fully all the time. How's the smart trains going? Uh, they're so far not very smart. Um, they're, uh, you know, uh, actually I need to do one or the other. I need two conditions. I don't want both to happen. Uh, just need one condition. Actually, can I do like... Okay, I, 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 I think I know of a better way of doing it. Since these are basically the same condition. So it's a smarter way of doing this. I did a similar system to this before already. We just have to basically make sure it always has one of this and one of the cryonite as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna target 20k actually. Well actually no, because I Yeah, yeah actually it's fine. <laughs> that's like you can't just say that. Wow, that's that's mean man. Can't just say that. These trains have feelings, I'm sure. Actually, I might do a system over here for this. Alright, so they always basically give me back um, this cold... Well, they want cold thermal fluid and they sometimes give me back the other stuff, so... So I only need like, uh, like, I'll, I'll say like maybe, it says 6.3, I kind of don't think I need even that much. I'll just give it 8, just be on the safe side. Probably should be a little bit less than this. So I actually want to have the thermal fluid thing somewhere in here that's affected by the beacon as well. Maybe seven's fine. So we have the Cranite Slush variant of this. I want to use the Cranite Slush because I figured that's, I mean, I don't know. It's I want to say it's cool, but that would be a pun. Is <laughs> he referring to the trains or the conductor? Those are the real questions to ask. Listen, I made them as I made them as talented as I could. Did this enable itself or no? No, it's it's not uh, hooked up. There you go. They are as smart as they can be. Uh, let's go do something else here. As long as the, uh, what is this stuff called? It's the, um, 100 degree. Oh, I have to bring it back here, actually. I mean, it's not that hard to do, but still, I'm kind of annoyed that I have to do it. So now we have Cryonite here as well. So yeah, uh, the train basically will do both uh, that, I ha that I have set up here, so. 
I really want to have a, well, I remember how much I used it in my last run and I was just like, oh, I, I really want it to be like a system that can essentially uh, take both in. Especially because I, I actually avoided using Cryonite, but they buffed it, so. How do depots work in the train signals mod? I have my trains come off the elevator and then depot resource pickup, but they keep saying to skip depot and get caught in the elevator. Um, okay, so the way depots work is, um, by the way, they have to use control, tra uh, they have to use um, train limits. So always have train limits on everything. If you don't use it, they don't work properly is the first thing. And the way it works is this, is, is it goes, um, so if it were at, um, if it were at the requester for uh, ion steam, uh, ion stream. It basically looks at the next stop. It says um, there's a depot. It will go to the depot if it cannot reach the requester. That's how it works. So otherwise, it skips it. So if the next station it's free, it won't it won't bother going to the depot. That's how it works. So what you want to do is you want to have um, the depot the depot in the train station name after the elevator part. My feedback is, I think you're not thinking with trains properly. Well, I have an input with crowd slash where you can just have an output for the cool stuff instead. Doesn't seem better. Doesn't seem any reason to cool locally with this setup. Uh, well, let's let's think about it. Give me a minute here. Okay, well, first off, there's a couple of problems here. Um, the first one is, this one returns a 10 degree thermal fluid. So, do, do you really want me to basically... Uh, what's it called? Do you want me to put 10 degree thermal fluid on the train? What should I do with that one, right? And the issue with that is to, to basically, uh, to, to empty it out, you have to essentially have cryonite fluid here anyways, as well as, uh, it outputs the 25 degree one. Have an extra degree, yeah, so you're saying make an extra, uh, extra stop for it. Okay, fine. Um, so that, now you're saying that instead of this little limited setup, I'm having uh, essentially four different, uh, three different fluid setups instead of this one then now, because I have to make one for picking up 25, dropping off a hundred degree and uh, and also picking up 10 degree one. So you, you've actually added three times as many train stops for this like minor little setup here that I feel that this is way more efficient on, uh, resources. And, and now here's the real question is how many trains is that per hour actually? How many wagons? It's, this is right now per minute, like 0 0.2 per minute. So what, like every 10 minutes is one wagon that comes in? I I think cooling locally is better. You already have two stops with Cryonite and Thermo. Correct, because they sh they have the same stop. This is this is one stop, by the way, not two stops. Because I I because you don't need that much of it. You don't need much of either one. It just fills up if it if if one of them is missing. So. I, I disagree heavily with uh, with uh, not doing it locally for for that kind of a thing. Should be about the same amount of trains, but it ends up being a lot less stops along the way to run. Because uh, it's more of the lossiness, right? It is definitely not something I was really thinking of, but I mean, I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> this seems so goofy. I don't know why. What do you, okay, what do you guys think? Should I, do you think I should do trains, like, to, like, don't do cooling in one centralized place? Every build that outputs multiple attempts is going to be a big win on it. For if, if what, if I, for this, what I just did, or for a uh, train pickup that basically can do any one of them? I mean, the main issue is, uh... All the thing, if you cool on site, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I kind of think as well. You know what, I'm gonna keep it the way it is. I think I think it's better this way. Main cooling would be cool, but yeah. I mean literally, no pun intended. 
it would be cool. But I, I think I, I think I prefer this. On site sounds way better. You only have to worry about two fluids over ever. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought to myself too when I when I kind of came up with this one. Uh, let's see. Here's the thing. If I were to do a setup over here too. Oh, that's fine. I've got plenty of space for this. No, 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 it's not this one. This is... Yeah, I don't need this. need to make a little weird system for this, sorry. Anything, or what, oh yeah, everything is less than 20k. Because I have to put it back in the system, kind of a thing. I'll say though, you did make me think about it there uh, at Kodiak. I, I did. I I contemplated it for a second there, and it, it it I think it would maybe be an interesting build. But I think in this in this particular case, it's like yeah, the one stop I think is pretty good. But, I don't know, I still have to try some stuff out, I guess. I don't want that. Three. Dry fluid is way too expensive. Uh, to do that, I need OL access to make cryo fluid in the first place. Yeah. All right, get ready for cryonite fluid. Out the nose. I really should just have it uh, locally be able to just pick them all up and put them in the same one, actually. Can this just go here? Yeah, I can.
That's not even needed. I was gonna pump it directly into here, actually. You put space pipes in space? No? Then why are they called space pipes? It's a joke, don't worry about it. <laughs> Got all, all this for a science I already have, by the way. I want to mention this. <laughs> I already have this science. Oh my god. I want to say that the future ones should be a lot, lot easier when I when I kind of start doing those. But that's some copium, I think. Opor will not fit. Alright, see these ones. How about it? They're alive! Except this one, because I think it was supposed to be hooked into the top. I kind of questioned it when I actually saw it. This one has the same problem, actually. No, well, actually, no, it doesn't. What the hell is this one's problem? Iron Stream. Oh, because you're supposed to have Iron Stream up here. These ones just do not line up at all. It's the, the size of the buildings are so awkward for trains to just shuffle in beside them and do their thing. That's actually the biggest problem I have with this right now. Is these buildings just don't work out. Especially when they have like three different fluid inputs. Because that will never change. It will always have this many. Like, And then I have to do something like this which is really awkward. This would be the not so good one. Is this, uh, which one is this? This is the other one. Eh, shit. I wish it was on the other side now. I'm not gonna do that, though. Well, I mean, I could really do it. kind of is that it for no no we we're not done on 100 degree thermal fluid
All right, here we go. So are these going now or what? Nope, missing data cards. But I think the stops are open. Yes, they are. So they're just waiting for whatever garbage that they need. What is this? This is a requester. Why was this enabled? It's still enabled too. Why is it never turn off? Oh. Okay, now it's certainly off. Uh, do I need that anywhere else now? This one's fine otherwise. This is a very, very convoluted system. Uh, so how does this not line up with that? How did I fucking... <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm ripping this apart and redoing it at some point. Like, that's that's just annoying. Why did I do that? I, I, I just like, I just realized that 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 could have that could have actually lined up, but it didn't. They're all misaligned now for some reason. Why did I do that? No, don't. What do you mean, don't? <laughs> it's better when it's not lined up. I don't think so. Fucking past Mike. Yeah, this is like not even that far in the past. This is Mike as of like uh, 20 seconds ago or something. I, 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 I'm not going. I'm not even going that far back here. What is this thing? One. Didn't they retire one of these? What did they retire? Stone. No. There's something I basically moved to a station. It's not green chips. Alright, hold up, hold up. How the fuck do you not have all this stuff? Oh right, I changed the amount that it requires, I guess. It's 4.8 now. I think. I don't- I, I, I can't tell you if I recall. <laughs> now I want to see the Holium thing, what it does, actually, for that. You get in there. What a noob lull. Yeah, pretty much. OCD bros. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see how much it adds to the holium for this one. Two point four. So I did add more. That's what I thought I did. Keep going. Uh, I feel like I'm getting close to the end of this now. <laughs> sure. I'm doing my best here. It's, it, I mean, it's going pretty well, I'd say. Despite this. There's the conditions on this. Yeah, okay. Waits for all of them. Oh, I see. I mean, you might as well just make it 120 seconds have passed. You don't have to do any of these then. This is a terrible condition, actually. <laughs> Most for disaster, you hear my glad in the distance saying everything seems like it's going to be okay. <laughs> uh, 
Listen, it will work out in the end. It's uh, elevators, man. Space elevators. What are you gonna do? There you go. I, I even made it like longer than everything. Here you are. Moments <laughs> before disaster. Yeah, I just realized that this is a problem here. Okay. Let me just make sure our uh, data cards are continuing somehow. What's the problem right now? Well, it, it ate through all of the advanced circuits. I don't know how it did that. Okay, that's a new one. Well, I mean, we have more coming down, so. I mean, I did add two trains. We have an additional train actually for this actually, so. You know, it is what it is. So you already have all your stuff. The real issue is that this is like a lot of frickin' cards that it keeps putting in here. I wish I could like, I mean, I could actually just make it do less. I could basically just go like limit it to that because this is effectively how much, uh, it, how much is that actually? That's a lot of data cards. Yeah, each data card is essentially three advanced circuits. All right, I, I may need to actually shuffle that down a bit. Maybe I will do that actually. That's too much actually for this. Uh, let's go with like how much is there right now in this? Uh, let's see. Okay, well this one doesn't have any, but what what, what about this one? Six point eight k. Space elevators will fix it when I get there. <laughs> yeah, my what? Those blanket data cards are hungry. They are, but they don't even need that many though. That's the real problem. I have to give it a lot less of it. Which, which ironically makes it a little bit better if I would have not done exactly a lot of that, like, going way heavy in that stuff, so. <laughs> I, I, I think it will be, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything because someone's going to quote me again. <laughs> so, I'm going to, I can't, I can't, can't say words, otherwise it gets put on novice. <laughs> so it goes. There you are. I'm ready with my ad text. Yeah, I know. Everybody's ready. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it so that it. Uh, let's see, it's six point seven. I'm gonna say. <laughs> just, I knew it! I knew it the minute I said it, so I was gonna redeem that. Oh, give me a sec. Let me, let me actually set this up to be what I want it to be. You guys are memers. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> you guys are gonna write out novice. <laughs> there we are. I only, I only remove the gear sometimes. Oops. Usually when it's uh, short enough that uh, I can actually uh, do it kind of thing. <laughs> Can't say words or I'll put on novice.
Oh, I guess my mic is muted. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, what did I press to do that? What did I do? Why did I mute my own mic? I'm just thinking what action I did. I, I pressed the hockey for it, but why? Why did I do that? Okay, I don't know why I did that. Okay, anyways, thanks for pointing that out. Now, now, now I'm a fool. Empty cargo inventory or inactivity of one second. <laughs> Why did I beat my own mic? My own mic? I, I, I'm sure I had my reasons. They weren't very good reasons, but I had reasons for it. So what, what kind of condition should I have to let it just leave? Like, I, I said inactivity. Inactivity will actually likely do it, actually. Yeah, inactivity will be fine. That'll, that'll handle it just okay. I'm just going to let these kind of do their thing and uh, essentially... What, how much did I say that they should have? Two lanes? Okay. I don't mind. I'll do that again. It'll catch up eventually, and then it'll be fine. Alright, this one was a bit crazy. I'm not gonna lie. This one was uh, a lot. Alright, let's go back to... So we have all of our things being made. The data cards will catch up eventually, unfortunately. That's essentially half a train I'm taking out, by the way. Cause I can't I can't be doing this for all the the stations. Not until I have a lot more uh, things at my disposal. It's like some because that's like four K it's gonna bring in anyways, so it's a lot of uh, cards. Alright, uh, well, no, one more. The rest of this is fine, though. Alright, let's go do some more, uh, science -y stuff. Let's see. Alright, so now we have every conceivable kind of, uh, data card under the sun. I'm gonna just bring in, uh... Oops, don't do that. I have to bring all this stuff back. I mean, I want to have a system where it would basically be able to put it back into the system. Or use it up or something. You know what? I'm just gonna ignore this for now. All right, let's see, what do we got here? All right, so we need uh, energy science pack one. It's gonna need some holium plates. Oh God, significant data, of course. I forgot about that. I wonder how the uranium is going. That's a good point. Yeah, I don't like that Kappa. Oh no, it's, it's doing perfectly fine, actually. This is exactly how it's supposed to look. So that's fine. It still is putting a lot more into the into here than I would have liked, but then again, why is that actually the case? I mean, it is filling up this rocket here, but... As, I guess it didn't quite get to the point where it could do it all the way? I don't know. I mean, it does take a while to get it started. Yeah, yeah, because of this stuff here. I mean, we could just do this again. Gives it a bit more to go.
Well, whatever. Oh, what's this guy doing? Right, so we're trying to make some stuff here. Where are all my other, uh, my other, uh, bot bros at? What are they doing? What? <laughs> Why did they come out here? Oh, they're, what? Oh, because I have a fucking thing here. Uh, okay, that, that was not a good idea to leave there, actually, I just realized. Because they're, uh, yeah, they think that's a place for them to go when it's not. And somehow that was closer? <laughs> That I don't quite understand. How is that so close? That's a weird one. Alright. So, we need broad energy insight and some other stuff. Cross, uh, crossing the bait a great abyss for the platform. I don't know how they decided that would be the closest one for them to do, though. That's the weird part to me. You know, but anyways. Broad Energy Insight is an easy 3.2, but it needs uh, energy and broad catalogs. That's also the old one, by the way. I, I, I'm not quite doing that one, though. What does it come out with, though? I don't know. I don't think it really matters. We're going to need a live energy catalog, though. I'll tell you that much. Energy catalog here. Okay. So this requires 200 and, well, this this is for the other broad energy insight, which we're gonna be going for soon-ish. Well, like almost now, to be honest. This is one of the things I couldn't quite uh, get all the way there. Oh, hold up a second, guys. I forgot about something. Okay, there's nothing picking up contaminated scrap, and there's also nothing picking... Uh, well, this doesn't matter. Oops, don't do that. There's another one I knew somewhere, but yeah, let's, let's get those going first. Actually, it could just be regular scrap. Go to here until you're full or in activity. To be honest, I could just probably wait there and not go to a depot. Well, at least I got rid of the thing. Why are they still here, though, is a good question. But yeah, they're going to do their thing eventually. Whatever. Okay. Now back to good old this guy. So energy catalog. We're going to target... I'll target like eight, because I don't even have all the machines for this other stuff here. So whatever it makes, it makes. to wait for the rest of these guys. Do we not have scaffold or something? What's going on? Scaffold. What? Wait a minute. Scaff. We don't have any scaffold? Where did it, where'd it go? I mean, I guess I told this guy not to do that anymore, but I guess we used it in a bunch of these places. Well, that's... I mean, it's pretty simple. We could just delete it. With the ones we don't need. So weird. We look up to 
I kind of want to have more steel production before I really started doing some of that stuff, but yeah. Yeah, this, this is not needed right here. We gotta just reorganize where some of our scaffold goes. The main thing was because steel is really a problem. Or was a problem. I don't know if it is a problem anymore. Where's my steel at? I mean, it's still going. I'll just let it do its thing. We could also use, by the way, this setup here for the top one. We don't even have to bring anything over there, ironically. Yeah, we could just have it. You, you know, I, I, don't, I don't mind that. I'll just use the same one. I don't even care. Uh, let's see here. So this is going to be... Um, okay, let's not do this kind of catalog. Let's see. We can only have this one right now. Who now wants 18 of these rather than the, uh, the the much lesser amount of that before. Again, I'm not going to target the other one then. I'm just going to do maybe eight of them or something. Is it really go down by like half, by the way? Is that like really what I saw? It really does. That's crazy. The the later recipes are so good and I, and I know they're good. It's just like, it's just funny to see it. But I'll do I'll do four machines for that. That's how we're gonna do it. For now, um, let's see. Hundred degree fluid. Let's see. Oh, this doesn't even have a thing next to it. You know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it separate. Never mind. Oh, wait, so uh, I I accidentally just deleted something I shouldn't have. There we go. I'm gonna keep it separate. I don't want to think about the top and the bottom together. I want to keep it together. So these are still really large. get uh, another copy. Probably something small to have somewhere. Just do some brain saver action. I'll be, I'll be right back, guys.
All right. I just wanted to make a small wrap and uh, copy so I can go on for a bit longer here. You know what the really annoying part is, by the way? I'm just thinking about it. Fucking... <laughs> There's another thermal fluid recipe, right? So you have radi like the super thermal fluid ones? They're locked behind fucking this. I feel like you're just like gonna... Re <laughs> well, okay, you're really just having, I guess, the amount of it. Yeah, I know, it's... It's the amount of they want you to rebuild everything is just ridiculous uh, a lot. It's it's worse than it was in point five, but uh, not like I have a huge problem with it, but it's still funny. Oh yeah, final level of science packs for that. Not like that. Uh, honestly, those radiators don't make a huge difference. I'll say though, because you're it's just twice the speed, right? I'm guessing they got some other stuff going for them. It's still like really annoying because you'd want to do it a little bit sooner, right? I mean, all you're doing is having it, but yeah. I mean, okay. This recipe though comes at uh, Astronomic Science Pack 1. And all I have to do is change the ones I currently have, but yeah. I get it, I get it. Why are you over here? Cryonite is... I think there's some kind of problem here. No petroleum, huh? What? Huh? Okay, apparently um, when I when I reached exactly zero When I reached exactly zero heavy oil it all stalled I thought that was supposed to prevent that condition. Well, there you go No, it doesn't if heavy oil is greater than or equal to that It is one is it not hooked up? Never mind. I think I screwed up something else. Oh, they're not they're not hooked up? When did this happen? How did I disconnect that? That's so weird. Maybe should people trying a sonar and our mega bases? I don't know. I well for me as well. I I, I wanna do it. I'm just chewing on the wrap a little bit here that I made for myself. All right. Uh. All right. 1.4, how much is it gonna be doing? Five, about maybe eight or something or so. Maybe like nine thousand. Okay, it's similar to what my other one was. make the other uh, stations first.
Because you know what the worst part was? I did not try to make this too complicated. And I still made it too complicated somehow. <laughs> so I was literally trying not to, and, and I still fucked it up by by over over complicating it before. Because the main thing was I didn't want to rebuild it again when I got to uh, whatever tech that that I needed to get to, right? But it's still like yeah, it still it still wants you to do it, so what are you gonna do, right? Oh uh, yeah. Um, Big Light is not SC, it's another mod. So uh, larger lamps. Uh, let's see. That is insane what a difference it makes for this, by the way. It really does make a huge difference, some of these things. I guess I'll start with the catalogs then. second what's the other one okay there's no byproducts yet unfortunately I know I know one of them starts to give you byproducts at some point oh this one wants that okay I see oh I see okay so this one has starts with this yeah It's semi-annoying that it wants me to have uh, some blank data cards for the first level, but here's what I might do. I might do for every single one of these, I might just feed it a bunch of blank data cards and just get to level two, and that's it. But basically, I'm not I'm not doing... There's, there's actually nothing in energy science right now I think I need. A pylon can wait. I can't do that anyways. I can't do add-on poles anyways. Yeah, I can't, I can't do any of this good stuff anyway, so. No point. Let's just, uh, yeah. Let's just focus on the end goal. With that one. Which means science is still gonna have to wait a little longer, so. Big rips. Wait, wait, wait. I was targeting this thing. Sorry, one second. I had the wrong thing selected. Alright. Uh, I'll just do this somewhere else. I, I want to use the ones that was kind of in the air and then active provider it out or something, but I'll do that a little bit later. that and it's uh unfortunately I will, I'll, I will never notice what it is so i have to kind of do this
All right, is all of the cards making stuff now? Yeah, they look like they are. Oh, I just don't have a 235 one. Um, right, I was gonna have just a separate train do that. But I remember there being a... Yeah, you have chips. Did I not? Oh no, I removed this one. Okay. So we're going to call this a 235 provider. I can just I can just bring it in. I'm just going to let the other planet do its thing. I'm just going to get a I mean, how much do I have? 235 at 1.9. I could I could always have more of that. I mean, okay, how close is it? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll ask that question then. You know what? It's actually fairly close to being finished on the 235 rocket here, so. You know, I find there to be a bit of irony that it's like, it is constantly moving in a circle. And I, I'm always thinking to myself, is it like because I did something wrong with it? But I don't think so. I think it, I think it just uses that much, does it not? Yeah, it uses 0.4 of a belt, so naturally it will constantly be going in a circle. It will eventually catch up, right? I do find it interesting it hasn't gotten in, in, into that spot yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to need many trains for this, but yeah. Go here until you're full, there until you're empty, and then uh, I guess uh, here. This should basically do what I want it to. The bot cloud is impressive, thank you. I'm doing it as a, as a holdover for uh, <clears throat> when I, because this is stuff that would come from the space elevator, right? So this is my temporary not space elevator shit. I'm still seeing junk data cards in the system. Why am I still seeing them here? Okay, that's that's like free data cards. What the fuck? <laughs> Where are they at? It's supposed to be at? Um. That's the problem. I don't really have a system to like put them back in. You know. The thing I don't like about this. Because here's the thing, if I if I just feed it into these these um, chests, right, then what will happen is uh, what they'll become uneven on one side, and I don't want that. <laughs> so I don't know how to evenly do it. Uh, and I, I, by the way, before some smartass says that, yes, I know you can do it with belts, but you know, 
trying not to. Maybe buffer chests. Yeah, maybe I'll try and do buffer chests. I'll see. I'll see if that evenly does it. I like how you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> I refuse. That's what the thing is. They don't balance between themselves, but do they balance which ones the the bots send it to? Is the question I have. We'll try it. I, I doubt it will, to be honest. I just need a way for it to, like, get rid of it, but yeah. No, they work like any other chest. Well, never mind then, rip. Maybe the, maybe the solution is to just set it really low. So that if there's a bunch of them that come out back out, uh, out, come out at once, then, uh, you know, they're just doing, like, one at a time, essentially. And that, then that have the best chance of basically loading it evenly, because I don't act to provider it. So you just do this then, right? That's probably the best solution, actually. Only set it for like one slot available. Mike challenges and trial refusal against Starlands. Yeah. <laughs> the trial or refusal. Just do something like this. Because this way, like, you have a bunch of it, and they'll basically distribute it evenly then. They have a good chance of doing it then. It just takes a lot of time, but that's not the point. That like that's the point is like it takes, it, it it's when those little things happen where I like, I use them up or whatever, right? And I want them to basically you know come into it. So I could do I could do the same thing for data cards here. Data cards. Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll leave the rest of them be. I don't mind them. All right, how's my? Uranium one, going awfully. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna start the uh, the train up and then it will but basically just load up whatever it needs to. No path. Oh, I guess you can't leave. Well, let me help you solve that, my good sir. Whoops, I didn't mean to press that button. Okay, so apparently uh, control T is right beside control R. Who would have thought? Okay, so I, I was targeting eight with this. So yeah, one on each side and that's easy peasy. Because eventually they give you cards back, which is the worst, um, but yeah. But this is, this is fine for now because it's not like I'm targeting like, uh, what's it called? Uh, there's no I'm not targeting this many anyways uh, early on I'm, I'm just doing uh, level two first so we can just we can just forget about anything else put everything else out of our minds all right how many did I need for this eight I like the larger lamps. They, they give so much more light. Oh, 
Like I said, you've been watching the Mech for LP. It's the best Mech for game. I liked it a lot too. Doesn't that make you even more depressed on how bad uh, the uh, Piranha Games one was? But um, I mean, we all saw it coming. It was it was not really a shock uh, to anybody when it when it was like, oh look, it's buggy and shitty when it came out. Apparently, it may it may not be as bad anymore. I think, but uh, you know, still. They did some really funky things with that game. I was really sad. I, I, I think I've told all the stories about how badly balanced it was and, uh, you know. There there used to be this bug in, uh, in that game where you could basically do, uh, what was it called? You can lock on with uh, LRMs, right? Uh, LRMs are the long-range missiles in the game, and you can lock on to people. So you're supposed to have line of sight when you when you see people, but there's a glitch in the game where you can lock lock on to people when they're behind cliffs and stuff, right? So some some player decided to take it upon himself for some reason to use it against one of the game devs that was in the game to basically go like, "Hey, you should fix this bug. It's been in the game forever. It really sucks, right?" So the game devs saw that, and uh, the, the, what, what apparently they, their response to that was they nerfed the weapon, and they were they were universally terrible for like like a year or something because of that reason because they didn't understand it was actually a glitch which made them strong. He didn't realize it wasn't a glitch; it was just uh, sorry. He didn't realize it wasn't just because they were unbalanced; it was because it was a fucking glitch that that made that happen. So. Uh, just one of those amusing things, I guess, you know, what can you do? Piranha Games is, uh, not exactly what I'd call my favorite developer. Uh, I need to... Actually, I think I can flip this, can't I? If I can't flip this, I, I swear to God. Okay, I can. Best minds of our generation. Remember when games didn't need endless patches and came out finished? Yeah, that's also been kind of a disappointment. I mean, you know, if you want to get technical, technically Factorio's had endless patches, but they're good patches, you know? Can you really say that about this game? Oh, why are you such a monster? I thought you, I thought you liked Factorio. Also, I know you don't mean this game, but yeah. A lot of games were released in the yield in days had patches, but were only released by a new sales. Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing I did over here. These are all like screwed up, huh? Can't I get like two? Come on, why is that like this? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, now I'm just disappointed. Whatever, fine. Be that way. Uh, game having the ability to be patched wasn't really a luxury back in the day. That is very true, actually. That is an extremely true statement. The thing is, though, now it kind of gives more of an excuse of, like, uh, for devs to just kind of go, like, oh, let's just release it as it is, and, uh, you know, we'll, fi we'll fix the problems when it, when it, uh, when it, when it, when it's come, when it comes out kind of thing. Which didn't exactly, uh, yeah, it's not exactly the best, uh, the best times. Let's do anything greater than... I think 8,000.
I won't complain that much though. I I would say compared to how things used to be, I think the games are a lot better. You, you get a couple of bad apples, but they've become a lot better anyway, so. I guess you can't quite do that one, huh? Multiplayer is basically prehistory of my StarCraft. God, do you remember how many uh, patches they did for StarCraft 2? What a, what, a, what a joke that was, actually. I mean, okay, for balance patches I'm talking about, by the way. Because you're like, it's like, it was supposed to be like their competitive uh, multiplayer game, right? And they just did like a ton of patches for that thing. Um, all the time, it was like meta changing and all that kind of stuff. And StarCraft 1 did not need that many patches. It was just like, oh, it's like, you know, it's just find the way it is kind of thing and people actually deem that one as really really super balanced it's super good I, I don't really like meta shifting kind of a thing through patches just because people get bored of how it is you know I, I kind of miss the stable games where it was just like you know that was it everything I know games like Dota or like League of Legends or whatever do like you know they, they have to do it because I guess it keeps it fresh it is still kind of weird to me I see one did actually have a huge amount of patches as well. Not as many and not as frequently, though. It, I mean, there was, what, like 13 major patches or something? I mean, they had A, B, and all that kind of stuff. But it's 13 major patches that that did all the balances and all, and all the stuff for that. So it, it wasn't really as many as you would think. Either that or I'm vastly misremembering it, which is a possibility. I was into that community. I was into that game a lot, so. I think I have to... Shit. Uh, I kind of wish this was over here. Now. You know, we can still change that. There's some sort of RC endpoint that... In an SC one that had to get fixed. I remember that one. That was the one with uh, EUD triggers or whatever. I remember that. I was in the community at the time. And uh, we were all really mad at Blizzard for patching it out, to be honest. More because we liked the memory. Uh, uh, we, we liked reading from memory, but... I think someone I think someone emailed them a map where they deleted System 32 and they're like, Alright, we gotta get rid of this thing. That was so sad. But yeah, basically you could script it, so you know. What can you do? You only won't do one target lead because you can't be bothered to redo Act 10 and 1 to 10 anymore for PoE. Yeah, I, I don't play that game that much either anymore, so. I've kind of gotten tired of it as well. It's not even that, the end game content is pretty grindy too. It's kind of boring sometimes, so. A few map makers used to make custom maps that were outside the scope of SC1 could do. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it just occurred to me. Art Dakes, uh, you, were you, were you into the StarCraft mapping community uh, back in the day? Are, are, are you aware of who I am, actually? <laughs> it just occurred to me you might not know who I am. Have you heard of me before? No. But, like, it's a... Uh, um, I, I was a prominent figure in, in StarCraft 1 map making. I did, um... What's it called? I, I made a... Started.net. That, that was my site. I was the guy who ran that guy. Uh, that site, so... Encoded and all that kind of stuff way back in the uh, what was it? Uh, it was the early OOs kind of thing. It was when I was in college, I did it. I had a lot of fun doing it, it was great. Fortunately, now you joined 
in trying to get to SE point six tricks. Ah, uh, yeah. No, that's that, that. No, that's all good. I, it, I always forget that people, because I've just started streaming a lot more recently, so not everybody knows my uh, history with like certain games. So when you start talking about UMS uh, maps, I was like, oh, like, because I, I have an interest in it, right? So I figured maybe you, you, you came from somewhere else, and I'm like, no, wait, you probably didn't. You probably came for, <laughs> for, for Factorio stuff, which is fine. This is all is I'm, I'm here for it, too, but yeah. And also, I don't think we have any more. Oh, right. It just did this side. That's why. But yeah, no, I did. Uh, I did start at .NET. I, I was in the, um, yeah. Big in the map making community then. He was great. The start two different full time players and stuff respecting their time of the casual players. I think it always was a hardcore game though. I don't think I don't think that ever changed. I want to make a. Uh, science thing over here. You stopped playing SE1 around the time that Diablo 2 Lord of the Drift Okay, then you don't you don't know then. I was I I started making the map sites a little bit after um Yeah, I a little bit after Diablo 2. It was it was late in the game's development, I'll say. The game was already like a, a couple years old. But like the mapping was really big in that game. People loved it, so and I loved it too. What should I call this one? I kind of want to call it like energy science back, because um, it's like the things that make that stuff. So um, it's gonna be a uh, depot. Wait, why did I not? Oh, I pressed I pressed escape again. And then, uh, Depot. But fair enough. Actually, I might as well just do it to all these, because if it gets blocked in any way, it's... I mean, what can you do, right? Not making an, an SE1 and uh, workout through pretty nuts all around. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I think that that isn't the, as important of a thing anymore. Because, simply because people are, uh, I mean, there's like there's so many good game engines now you can actually code things for. So it's really not a important thing I would say anymore uh, with a lot of this stuff. I don't count. Uh, what else can I get? All right, you know what? I actually want to prefix these all. <laughs> I just realized that like, I don't like the fact that they're separate when they should be together. Even though we technically use them in some other things though. And these are not important. And this is for radiation data. Now oh, we have to also make a thing that stops the thing. See, this is, I mean, I'm doing 8k, but the, the train technically only carries like 2k of, uh, of all those things. Maybe I should have a 2k instead. I'm gonna do 2k for these. I just changed my mind. Why was this 10? I don't know.
Yeah, about WoW money ruined them. And now guess what? Uh, mobile money is going to ruin them now, so let's not go into that. Because I hate them now. Uh, what, why is it still called that? One second. Oh, that's, that's why. There you go. Energy, cargo, or the energy is greater than or equal to 2,000. Polarization, greater than or equal to 2,000. I probably should give it an inactivity timeout, too. There you go. Now they're all together. That's what I want them to be. I mean, I could just say, instead of doing this, I could just say inactivity for all of them, to be honest. It would save a lot of time, but I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like doing it with uh, the actual numbers. <laughs> I don't know why. I like I like math. Uh, and what's the last one? It would be. It's this one right here, right? The, yeah, that one. All right, and we have to add the lovely energy depot for all of these. Then you go to a World was successful at surprising. Yeah, it absolutely was. They they made a they made a fair bit of money for not a lot of effort. I I bet you half of that shit was outsourced, anyways, as well. So it's just easy money, right? It was it was very successful considering the amount of effort they put in was basically nil. All Energy is full. Why? Oh, there's nothing in here because there's no data cards anymore. Many stories about studios, they never put the same amount of quality into products when they start. I mean, it's true, but we got, um, honestly, the last time I actually cared about or bought a AAA game was, I can't even tell you when, because I just don't care anymore about them. There's plenty of other better things now that aren't made by AAA devs anymore, so. I feel sorry for the people who have to work with those companies, though. It must be really soulless all the time. Because it's it's a, it's a creative industry, right? You think they would be, uh, um, you know, they would have the creativity uh, creativity going on, but they just uh, they they simply cannot. They'll keep Heroes of the Storm along, uh, along, so long as it makes some money. I mean, they won't shut it off because I'm I'm sure this the the server money the, the the actual money to run the servers is like a drop in the bucket these days. So they don't really they don't really care about that anymore. Uh, let's see. So why is the okay? Because it's just data cards, I guess, at this point, right? Yeah, it is on. Data card. Oh, I forgot I can't do data card as a one thing. There's three things requesting it. Okay, and let's see. Okay, it is actually moving. It, except there's just not a lot of uh, advanced circuits though right now. Is there any, like, no. I don't know where all the cards are. I guess they're just in, like, various machines. I, I don't understand them.
Oh, this one couldn't put it in all the way, but that's fine, because it'll, it'll do it the next time it comes around. I, I kind of figured that would happen occasionally, but yeah, next time it comes, I'll, I'll do the rest of it. Dude, I, I, do, I do not understand where all my uh, data cards have gone. <laughs> I think it's more that I never had them to begin with. Um, I mean, here's some of them. Okay, this has now some things. All right, is there anything else I can really do for to help this along? Let me just check out my dear old novice. Dude, every time it, it basically sends up like a gazillion of these things and they're just being used by something. <laughs> because I need it now for the next tier of science as well. Is there like something maybe wrong with it? Let's see. I don't, I don't have anything that's like building into something I don't need, I think. Let's see, where's it at? No, no, it's not it. Sorry, it's right here. Yeah, it, it just didn't come. It just didn't come over here. Is there anything waiting in the novice rocket for this stuff, or what? No, I already sent it all over here. It has it all. I mean, I guess it's the inefficient uh, consumption of the of the things I really need. Expand novice production, smiley face. No, you can't make me. I mean, to be honest, it's it's I productivity this, but not this. Realistically, if I wanted to improve it, I would speed and productivity these. Because I haven't done it here. I didn't do it. I'm going to try out some layouts here. But I think I think plotting this would actually be a good idea. At the very least. This doesn't count as expanding production, it just counts as uh, me doing something I probably should have done a little while ago. Yeah. This is the only thing I've done. I made a production block for material testing packs and holy smokes, I did not expect the atrocious stack size. You mean that stack size of 10? Is it still 10, by the way? I, I now have to ask that now. Uh, material testing packs. Yeah, it's still 10, yeah. Now, I remember I had a dedicated rocket that would just send this up, by the way. <laughs> it was pretty bad, actually. Oh God, atomic data. Why do you need that? Why do you do this to me? What, it, what, what do we need to, in order to make this, by the way? Uh, plastic, stone, iron, and copper. Eh, it's not that bad, actually. I know, I, 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 I'm wondering where I should make it, though. Probably somewhere that actually has plastic. I actually might make it on, uh, what's that planet called? Cornetto. Even though Cornetto is really far away, and that's a really inefficient use of my, uh, uh, fuel for it, but I don't care. I had to crunch the numbers and doubts prodding it, setting up. No, you want to prod these. Well, actually, I'm not sure if you do now. I mean, I, I, I was thinking mostly because I, I would do it normally. No, don't do this. I really want to make a better version of module inserter that has like a backup to the uh, to the whatever the the instead of like you can basically like say do prods if possible otherwise do speeds or something 
God, maybe I should learn how to mod in this game. I'd make some sick mods. No, I wouldn't actually, but... My, mod, my mods would be awful, but, you know. It's, I mean, it's just a lot of Lewis scripting, so... This now, yeah, so this now wants uh, what I kind of figured for this. Awful but functional, exactly. That's that's the tagline that you can say for me. Awful but functional. No, are you kidding? So you can do it like with this. All right, I'm probably gonna just do that then. Let's just do this, this, and this. Cause yeah, you can have six on it, but I can't really, oh, well, maybe I can hook up six cause you can have one more over here. No, you can't. All right, well, uh, uh, no, because I can't. I can't. I, it's not in the beacon range anyway. So we'll just keep it at four, and that, that'll be fine. How many lanes of this can we have? So remember to always have the amount of transfer belts for this. Uh, let's see. So I can have five, let's say. Nope, we can have more than this. Eight. Yeah, eight would be about the cap for this. And this would make 0.7, opposed to right now where it's making like... Yeah, this almost doubles what I was making before. So let's do, go do that. Unfortunately, this may not actually be enough space for it right now, uh, but it's still a good idea to do. Yeah, I'm, I might just start it up here or something. Let me just uh, remove this over here. <laughs> Come back to the FTC novice being expanded again. Why am I being judged every time I touch novice? Come on. It's not my fault novice is just being mean to me, alright? You know what we need? We need some kind of like, uh, we need the Q bomb in this. Like, uh, something to basically. What? Why is there. So many. Oh, I see. Uh, it's because there isn't a connection now to this. We need a Q bomb in this so we can blow up an entire planet. <laughs> because it bugs you. <laughs> it's true, it does. So, what was the reason I did this? Oh, to basically add more to that. Okay.
Or should I just go? Actually, no, that should be fine. <laughs> Why are you messing with the death planet? Oh man. <laughs> hey, we're in it for long haul. Dude, I'm at 151 hours and I'm still not like completely on Jet Nova yet. Jeez. What have, what have I been doing? I've been slacking off this entire time. This would be the split. Everything to me is just a dirty fuck. I didn't mean to press it on that. All right, there we go. Everything's a hack in this thing, unfortunately. Chapter was being an engine called a little bit more low level than you need in real. I thought they did a lot of stuff in assembly, uh, but that was a. Uh, I found out to be not necessarily the case. I mean, I, I, I think I was thinking more of Roller Coaster Tycoon, to be honest, because that one was like, had lots of parts of it just written in assembly. Actually, it was all assembly, wasn't it? Never mind, I'm, I'm stupid. Ignore me. Yeah, and they're all part of the same network. There we go. Only 2,000 construction bots. That's rather ambitious of me. Thinking I could get away with that. Uh, I think this rocket's ready, by the way. Okay, it's almost ready. RCT was a product of necessity, was it not? I mean, it was for me. I loved RCT. I think everybody did, though. I don't think you'd find one person that would ever say, no, I didn't really care much for it. Uh, like, I, I see this little copper thing here, and I was thinking about how to move it around, but... Uh... Something like that instead. Forget it. Alright, how much is this right now? This would be... Uh, yeah, we can have more of this then. I'll just make sure the rest of this is okay. I didn't put these bet in yet. So these are okay. And these are the wrong way. I'm just gonna throw this all- well, whatever, I can just do this. I mean, there's a lot of them to do, never mind. No, I'm not doing all that. Why- what- what is- what is wrong with this one? Why is it not actually putting whatever it needs to in there? It's so weird. Alright, let's uh... fifth one. Oh, because they're all like charging right now. So that's fine, that's fine. And I didn't put any uh, long arm inserters either.
that has two. I mean, technically I don't need it to be like that, but I think I'll just leave it, because I just don't care. <laughs> it's novice, after all. I'm being, I'm being flamed for basically uh, building anything on this, so... Oh, good time to autosave, by the way. Novice is for m <laughs> novice mistakes anyways. I've heard it all now. Novice is for novices. If you leave novice, you're a novice. Uh, so I don't know, something, something. All this stuff. I, I never realized that novice was such a particularly... Uh... Oops. Okay, fuck. Okay, do that. Just give her this one. <laughs> I can't be there to, to babysit this thing. Actually, wait, I, I just realized what it was. Fuck. Did it again. It's because for some reason I did this. There we go. I'll fix that. Alright, how much is this right now? Let's see. That would be almost... Actually, that should be the limit of it. Whoa, how much did I do this? Uh, up to here, right? Yeah, a little bit over that. Yeah, we don't need that last one. There you go, that will do it. Because it's mostly the fact that it needs a full belt to both one, both of these. Oh, there you go, look, look at that awesome full belt of red chips that finally we've never made before. So, circuits. All right, so we're making 1.5. We're still keeping up production. I still see 1.5, but I think it's still going up, right? I, there's no way it stops at 1.5 because I literally take the, I took the same input output. I added way more productivities and way more speeds to it. All right, there we go. Now it's starting to go up. 1.8. I mean, what's the what's the cap on this one? 1.9. So I'm at, I'm literally just adding 0.4 more with less resources. So that's all that's all that's all good. What's this one's problem? You don't have enough copper cable. Oh, that one's fine. Just add another one. I mean, I could. That has a little bit more copper than I was willing to use up and well not copper but it's the blue chips and stuff actually i would have to have another blue chip line come from somewhere else and potentially uh yeah i mean how much does this use 270 i don't think i need it because i think this will all just make it to the end maybe it won't oh my god okay you might be right because it's rocket control units it's also eating it this also by the way could probably use um some some love with that Maybe I really should have, you know, I hate to say it, I maybe really should have done something different with that. But here's the problem with the stands. If I add another line, I need another line of freaking plastic. But that's not hard to get. I do have oil and coal, sort of. See, I have a second line here. I just, uh, it kind of just plugs in weirdly. Yeah, I, I, I basically ate it over here. Oh my god. I, guys, I don't want to. Guys, stop me from doing this. Okay, you know, I'm gonna just try this out. This is, this is a mild improvement, so, you know, let's just count it out, count it up where, where it is. Don't do it. There you go, Kate. Kate says, Kate says don't do it, so that's, that's all the positive affirmation I needed. Actually, it's more like negative affirmation, to be honest. Uh, thinking here, I need radiation. Uh, we already have that. Next payload. If you do it, you have to manually kill biters. It's also not ways to do good builds for this, since it's uh, have good templates for Jet Nova. Uh, no, because uh, the Jet Nova is going to do completely um, a direct insert into trains. Um, 
So it's completely different in how it does it. And it's going to take in uh, uh, interstellar, uh, whatever the things are, the um, interstellar trains as well. So they're going to come from ships. So it's, it's entirely different how that one's going to work, actually. They're not even remotely similar, unfortunately. Maybe, you know what I'm going to do for these? I'm going to say... I have way too much of this as it is. Maybe it's maybe it's also a good idea because these are also data cards. It just occurred to me. Let's see. Oh my god, this is where it all is, right here, by the way. I just realized how this happened. These are, yeah, I have to, like, tell it not to, to stop doing this. Actually, this is so bad. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, okay, I just disconnected something. Apparently, it did not matter, that thing, so... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, I, yeah, I'm gonna guess I don't want to undo that one. All right, let's just go like target one wagon per thing, per side here. So yeah, this is gonna be a lot less than that. Cause that's that's just cars just sitting there, right? That's also a problem. So. What I also might do is I also might have it potentially have a way out into here. Because they shouldn't ever path to this anyways. The reason they don't path here is because, uh, what's it called? Because it has train stops here. So they count as train stops, so they won't come here. So it, let, it lets me use them as a, as a place for them to kind of hold out kind of thing. All right, where's the uh, train for this? It's at destination full. It still can't. It still can't go to the first one, and the reason being is because it, it can't get data cards, which I just improved. So you know, we'll see. Yeah, yeah, you can you can definitely tell the improvement. You see that trickle? That's a good trickle. All right, what happened with this? Where, where's it all getting eaten right now? Because I bet it's going to something stupid. Well, I think it's going to that. I, I think it's the the rocket uh, parts too. I I should redo this. And I don't know why I'm not, because we need so many rocket control parts. All right, fuck it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go all the way. I I don't know why I put this off so much. I'm sorry. I'm so lazy, and I'm like, and this is not a good this is not a good idea to be so lazy on this stuff. This is a really bad idea to to be this lazy with this. Novice time, yay, it kind of is, but I, I don't want to go to the planet. So, yeah, I got like 15k landfill. Because this is like, it uses, like, you basically, you're, you're supposed to, like, essentially, all the, um, yeah, all, all the old stuff like this, you're supposed to basically do something with it. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that one. Actually, we can totally do that like this, like this, I guess. I fucking hate novice. <laughs> Cause like you could prod all of this and it saves so much everything. Like it's just, a, it's a no brainer. I don't know why I didn't do it. It's, we got the beacons, like why didn't we just do it? I don't even know why we didn't do it. It's, you know what, and the worst part is it's actually really easy to add in. That's the worst part about this. And, and I neglected to do it. I'm like, fuck me, dude. I'm so dumb. <laughs> Why do I do this? My not, dude, my, I think my novice hatred has like literally con consumed me, by the way. Can I say that right now, guys? Like, it's just, I got too edgy for my own good. Look at 
<laughs> let the hate flow through you. I'm just like, I don't want to do anything on this planet anymore. And then like, literally, the, the like the planet's just blowing up due to like productivity issues. It's just like, yeah. It's like, it, oh, it'll just eat through this freaking resources forever, you know, and, and I won't care. Now this one is probably gonna be a different issue that I'm gonna have to solve at some later point. All right, how much was I making before? What are these? These are um, rocket fuel tanks, right? Let's see. Production is usually about 20, right? I mean, it sometimes jumps up a little bit, but I'm, I don't know where these came from. I'm gonna say it's gonna be doing 20, and this is what now. Is that, really, did I just really just fucking quadruple it? Did I really do that? Do I actually even need all this crap for it? <laughs> I think I just quadrupled it, by the way. Yeah, I think I just did that. 47. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just keep it going, because why not, right? I could have done this ages ago, but I didn't, so. If you want a pro tip, don't do what I just did, which is like, be lazy on your factory and. Where is this at? All right, now the the real so on also rocket control units I also need to do. And and again, this is a really easy one to do because look what I could just do. You just do this, and you just throw in a beacon into the middle, and then you just throw prods into all of them. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> just Kodak's beaming me while I'm like trying to like fix all this. <laughs> just trying to dark novice the wise. Oh my god. It, by the way, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, it only was mildly inefficient. Did you ever hear about the triumph of Dark, <laughs> Dark no Novice the Wise? It's not a not a story. <laughs> it's not a story Genovian would tell you. <laughs> I am so going to really pile driver this planet. By the way, for that, that's it. This planet's getting nothing but uh, just shelled for days. <laughs> oh my god I just I, I just can't believe it I keep I keep looking at this I'm just like I, I don't know man it's such a waste of resources and I keep trying to send things around and it's like yeah it's fine because it's like we got we basically have the the resources on all the other planets so all right I'm gonna do that first this one's now another issue because I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna fit this in here there's no way um, I think I need to space it out, but I may have to move these uh, meteor defense installations slightly. I don't think there's enough space for it. What's actually this thing's problem? Oh, because there's not enough of that. Well, let's see here. 384. Yeah, we may have to add some more speeds to this guy. Actually, it doesn't even go fast enough for this. Huh. Why did it do this? What? Why did it do anything like this? So it, it, so it has to be taking it from here somewhere, right? No, it doesn't. Because is it used like strictly for here or what? No, it, it isn't. Why did I do this? Because the steel isn't used here or anything like that.
Uh, if you need the throughput, skip one prod and put a speed in there. I mean, this this doesn't accept prods, so I, I gotta throw in speeds into this guy. So. I'm just gonna throw speeds into all these, actually. I'll just do speeds, who cares? The biters hate me anyways. Yeah, the main thing is I, I, I don't know how to fix this one. Also, I didn't uh, prod these yet, I just realized. Production modules are way overpowered in this game. I, I need to say that again. They're super, super good. I think I might just, I think I might move where this is actually. I think that's what I'll do. So I did just add this crap here, so. Yeah, that, that basically addressed it. Alright, let's go do... Something for barrel that slightly resembles this, but not really. Alright, how many rocket control units is this so far? Uh, the answer is not enough. I actually have a lot of these. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just gonna take out the rest of them, because I, I believe they're all okay. I met the problem with the build above? Oh. Ah, it's okay. Uh, I need uh, cargo sections. You know what the worst part is? I actually did do the um, the barrel one, which is good. Uh, let's see here. So the rest of this, I'm like, I'm, what the hell, I picked up a pump? Is that my inventory? No. <laughs> I'm just like, wait, it, it like, it like disappeared or something, I don't know. There's a pump on the floor there, I was, I was confused. Uh, that's all good. So how much does it use on the, what, what does that middle bell have? Oh, so it's on that stuff, okay. Here's what we're gonna do then. This goes that way, this comes this way, and this comes that way, this comes that way. This is what I should have been doing to begin with, but I did not, so go figure. I really want a substation in the middle of this. Actually, I can, I can totally have one here. Put a nice lamp here too, maybe. Ah, just two substations, that'll be fine.
All right, so how much is this going to require right now? Uh, let's see. So this makes 41 using 5. Are you kidding me? This is a this is a huge amount actually. Like of the stuff that I'm going to be making. Uh, barrel plates. Oh no, no, no. It it wait, wait, wait. It makes 15? Oh, cuz they're not all converted over. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, that confused me. 18, 18. Okay, that's that's better. 18. And it's right now what? Making 95? That's cr a really a large amount of this stuff. What did I do with it? How did I do this? I had it come here and then it split there, so I'm just gonna have it stop the split. Uh, middle long arm inserts can output. Um, yeah, they can. These ones can't. You're right. Whoops. Uh, guess I should swap them around, shouldn't I? I'm just gonna take these out. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. Nope. Go into the belt. There we go, and we take that, and I'll put it onto that. It's the reason why this is, uh, oh, it is delivering. Productivity. Yeah, I got tons of it. I've been making modules for days, so. So what does it need more of? Yeah, let's see. It's the thing it needs the most of. Low density and cargo control, oh yeah. Okay, so I did something dumb with that, I guess, I don't know. I don't remember what I did. LDS is sort of high-ish. This is the metal one. I want to be like up here. This is the last one. Actually, now that can go somewhere else. All right. And this is like, I don't know how much this is. That's rocket control units as well, so if you wanted more of this, how much cargo sections were they making before? Actually, this is not an accurate number. It will never be an accurate number because it's, uh, this is, um, yeah, it, cause it, it's going to count, uh, it's going to count when it unpacks it too. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I will have no idea how much I was making before. That's okay. I didn't count it really. Actually, you know, I probably had a number in here. I was probably targeting like 24, I guess. And I'm making, uh, I'm already making multiple times above that now, so I don't even know. Who knows? Gotta break stuff in order to complain about it and fix it, yeah. It's uh, destroying my life, actually. Okay, this is somehow broken now. Well, how'd this happen? Uh oh. What? How was this before? How was this before? Oh, it was this one. Oh, I didn't realize I took the wrong one. Well. So let's see here.
I don't even know what what are half my construction bots doing anyways. It's like they're constantly like delivering something. Oh, there we go. All right, so now it's like 190 using 72 of each. Yeah, okay. And how much uh, rocket control units is that? 288. And I make right now a little bit less than that. All right, I could do another one and then like extend it by like one more segment. That would likely be enough to basically fix it. And then it will have a lot more too as well, so. To be honest, I had a lot to begin with. Uh, so it actually did fill up and did what it's supposed to, so. But regardless, I would like it to uh, basically fill up, then stop stop fucking using it, <laughs> and then and then we'll be okay. Uh, probably no, we're not gonna be okay. It's still not coming, by the way. It's yeah, it it just it want it really wanted to fill that shit up. By the way, it really wanted to. It's still moving, but it's like yeah. Anyways, it's not. We're making the next tier of science anyway, so this is like basically done anyway, so. Where's the, uh... All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna prematurely put this down over here. Research more reusability and lower the strain. That's locked behind uh, astronomic science. But good, good try, A for effort. I'm really trying to get there, I, I assure you. I really want to get there. But we're in like a uh, forever mode of uh, getting a lot of these sciences going, so. Uh, all right, so this can be something else. We're now we're, we're now starting on the next one. Fuck! How many are there? Just all right. I, I don't know exactly what I need for this. Maybe I should look at this first. Atomic, subatomic. So that one, subatomic. What is what is this one? It's atomic data. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I did need that one. What's the other one? The force field data. See, there's like quark data and some other shit there. So I think it's actually giving you a, 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 um, every signal that you have there. So that's 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 really what the thing is uh, about right now. So yeah, yeah I, I only have these ones unlocked anyway. So that's fine. This works out. Like I said, there's nothing really that we're too in a rush to research anyway, so. Okay. Okay, so we want a full train of it. That's fine. I don't mind that right, right now. Okay, let's see. Which one should we put that into now? Uh, I guess I'll just start making it up here then. How much uh, scaffold do we have? We have 7.7. 7. Maybe not this. Maybe not as hard over here. Okay, and I should just go disassemble some uh, some platform I don't need, like over here. I, I think I really had an idea of something I would do here, but I don't really know what that is right now, so. I'm gonna go get that radar construction thing as well.
So we're starting on energy two now. Disable the rogue port. This is why I really want <laughs> the really good energy uh, creation things, but yeah. These did not actually finish either, so we actually should finish those too, these grids. Construction pile on right there. There you go. All right, let's see how the uh, this guy's doing while it's kind of moving around a little bit. Well, it's slow. That's the bad news. Um, let's see. It needs 720 barrel and I'm only giving it like 900. Most of this is like dead anyways because of batteries. Again, the fix for that is just to have more flipping batteries. <laughs> Guys, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking fix this. Oh my god. And you know what the worst part is? This is actually a really easy one to do as well. Actually, I don't really have to adjust anything here. People are gonna start questioning if I'm a novice enjoyer here in a moment. There you, go. you came here because you wanted to, so, so you wanted a, a hate a hate stream for a novice, not a love stream. I feel like I've failed everybody. question where you know you just accept your novice in your heart oh man it's not true <laughs> I feel like I'm not in the cool kids club anymore Again, a lot of these builds actually just allowed me, a lot of the how I set this up is just, it works if I just, you know, replace a lot of these things with the, the modules, so. The reason why, oh yeah, that's right. Let's see, transfer belts to this stuff. The world famous renowned novice lover stream vector who's streaming my butt. Oh my god, I hate you guys. I want off this planet. <laughs> the world renowned novice lover.
All right, how much of a... Uh... Okay, that barely uses anything of this either, so... Honestly, probably the reason I never did this this particular uh, change to this planet was because I, th I think at the time... Uh, what was I going to say? You know what? Let's also pull it from here instead of down here. I think at the time I uh, definitely need a lot more... Uh, I need a lot more petroleum, but I think that hasn't been a problem now. I mean, coal is... Well, no, we don't need coal either. Yeah, no, we're fine on all of that. This is also one that uh, is a bit of an issue, but I don't want to really... Again, I'm probably going to not fix it, and then the minute I notice it's, it's a bottleneck, I'm going to then go do... I'm like, okay, i got to do it now. So, let's see, per minute... Oh, let's do transfer belts and stuff. What did I do? I put it into just one? Why did I do that? This is still not getting anything it needs because it's this. I mean, you're the one with the plan to reclaim novice from the biters pile, pile driving it. Clearly, you adore this place and put too much effort into it. I mean, if you if you think that putting a, basically putting on the surface a bunch of pile drivers is is adoring a planet, uh, that's that's something else. I am pile driving it. <laughs> I am going to do it. the The plan is. The plan is, regardless of what sexual connotations you may have, it, there's Iridium pile drivers right there. We're going to do that. I, that's actually one of the goals of the, this playthrough, is I'm going to get to that and I'm going to try and uh, be a free spirit. Hey, guess what, guys? Fucking... <laughs> the sulfuric acid is now a, a problem. <laughs> guess who has to fix the sulfuric acid? Oh my god. Alright, just... Just end me. The, the exact thing I said would happen has happened. How much do I need of this stuff anyways? It's like five to something? I don't even know. The ratio is better with prods, I know. Trust me, I know. Wait, how bad is this? Oh my god, what the hell? Yeah, okay, that's probably why. Yeah, so you want something like that then. Really? You just can't put it in there like that? I'm sure there's a better way of doing this, probably. Um, can I, like, move it up by one, or no? No, I can't. Eh. I'm trying to think of how I could possibly make this into... Because uh, you, can, you can, like, pull it in from here, right? But the other one you can't. Not from not like this. I have no idea. Maybe I should stop trying to make it like perfect like this. But I, I really like. I mean, what's even the point of having beacons when you uh, can't do things little setups like this? Uh, you know, I forget it. I won't even try. Why not do four on two sides? Uh, actually, you I could do. I have an idea. You can do it like that. There you go. It's good enough. Kind of.
Why did steel ever come down here, by the way? I don't remember, but... I'm sure it's not important. Oh, this is the old, uh... Uh, whatever it was. I don't remember what it was. It was the, the heat pumps, I think. So this is 22, right? This now requires... That's actually pretty much all that it needs. Oh, no. It, can, it could go for a little bit more than that. I'll, I'll address that in a bit, though. Yeah, you can see actually the petroleum. This is where the petroleum used to come from. I feel like I'm now ejected from the Novice Haters Club. I just can't, I can't look myself in the mirror and just, you know, I can't, I can't admit to myself I really hate Novice anymore. Not if I put this much effort into it. What have you done to my what? I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm trying here. I'm trying. Uh, where is this one? is for sulfuric acid. I keep I keep fixing everything by satellite view at this point, so is there anything reason it was with going down here? Not really. I just pumped it in and I guess it was for yeah that's that's just for the sulfuric acid line. Uh is there any other thing I want here? I think I've let everybody down with my uh, constantly building on novice. I just can't help myself. I'm gonna try and just use this, but I don't know. My men is here are here for, are here for high octane Navi Navi Navian base tinkering. 
Uh, left third from the top needs petrol underground. Uh, left third from the top. I, I'll see when it. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah that one does. I, I, I was I was gonna wait for the bottleneck to basically tell me, which it literally just did as I came in there. All right, we're gonna need some more water, by the way. Shouldn't need anything else other than that. The problem is just water, so I'm just gonna hook up that water and it should be the rest of it should be good. How much water does this even need? What the f oh wow, that's a lot. Okay. Uh I think I had one somewhere here, right? Uh I think I had a system here. It wasn't a very good system. You know what? I actually just realized it should not even have a condition on it. This is the old Pyroflex setup, and I was like, uh, I, I want to like not have to void, I guess, or something. I don't remember. It was dumb, and I hated it, and uh, I was trying to use the water that came out of it, but that's a, always a bad idea. All right, let's go find some more water to, to just shove into this thing. Fuck all my shade. Your shit's in the way. You're using the water when you came out it would lead to your enrichment randomly stopping? Yeah, that's why, like, if you're on a planet with water, there's no point in doing it. It's just like, I and I understand why you did it too, because you're like me, you're like, oh, I'm gonna efficiently use all the resources, right? But it's just, it's just a really... Considering how water is one of those free resources, why bother, right? Because that was my logic too, but I, I, I eventually realized the folly of my ways, because I was like, uh... uh well anyways, it looks like it's going basically all the time now anyway, so... Well... There's a good reason for that, because it's not moving at all right now. Why? Oh, it doesn't have any iron now. What? Yeah, I guess it's a little too good now, huh? Well, you know, it, it's... Ah, uh, whatever. It's fine. I don't care. Yeah, you look at this. It, Oh my god, look at this. They're completely backed up now. They're all going now. Okay, yeah, we don't care anymore. We're good. Time to expand iron? No, it isn't, actually. It's time to ignore it, and uh, it won't, it's not a problem now, so that's what it's time for. It's my favorite time. So, where are my bots at? They're just ch chilling over here, I guess. Missing novice already. What's stopping you from blueprinting this whole base and moving it to another planet? Um, nothing other than the massive amount of construction time and the fact that it's not a base I want to keep. So I want to do a train base, anyways. 
I like trains. I'm a big boy train enthusiast. Oops, I pressed the this thing button again. Energy science facts. All right, let's see. What do we need for this? Uh, we need you, 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 and you. Well, these are not so bad if it wasn't for the fact there's this stupid force field data. Why is it like that? It's probably because it's the, the stupid traditional solver. I like to say stupid a lot, but yeah. Wait, how is force field data a byproduct of something that makes force field data? What? 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 What incarnation is that? Let me throw one of those down to see what that even does. Actually, technically speaking, I should do it the proper way, which is to... What is it? To alt-click or alt-right-click? This is 50% force field data. Okay. That's kind of what I expected, yeah. Okay, I guess matrix solver it. It, it, that's weird that it doesn't use it as its own byproduct. Why the hell did it do that? That's so weird. Also, one particle collider is all you need for uh, atomic data. Go figure. Well, actually, yeah, you know what? These are still targeting the, the wider beacons, but that's fine. Uh, is this used to anything else? Let's see. Ingredient in portable RTGs. Okay. I mean, I guess that's kind of important, but I, yeah, I guess we don't really need anything from particle colliders or anything, so... I mean, that's useful to know. Oh god, <laughs> material testing backs. Oh man, I knew this day would come. My old nemesis. Four gigawatts of power, that's nothing, who cares? Okay, maybe, maybe it is a lot of power. Yeah, I see. Oh god, we have no power now, I'm just kidding, it's over here. Oh dude, we got 15 gigawatts, what are you complaining about? We got tons of power. Literally power for days, and I will even keep expanding this over here. This is one of the nice things about being in orbit of a planet like this. All right. We gotta start making material testing packs. I kinda wanna make it on this planet, uh, just because I, I actually don't know if I wanna make it on this planet. Eh, yeah, we could do it on this planet, it's fine. Because it needs, like, a little bit of stone, a little bit of plastic, a little bit of... Man, do we need to come down here and do this? We have stone here, don't we? Yeah, I do have a bit of stone, but I think I'm voiding it right now. Yeah, Cryonite is not moving at all. But we're using all the free stuff, that means. I think we may need to actually go into that 10 mil stone and actually use it. Uh, why don't you bring mats to orbit and make them there? Isn't it way better for shipping those raw materials and, and make it in orbit? You bring up an interesting point, actually. Is it? I don't think it is. Because, well, A, petroleum is the first thing. B, you can't productivity it. Um, those are the two, two, the two main things. But it requires iron, which is 50. Well, technically speaking, I guess these don't matter anymore because they're both ingots. They're like one-tenth of that now. So it's really just the stone and the plastic bars at this point. But the plastic bars requires oil. You make plastic on the ground and send it? Yeah, I was saying earlier with testing packs, I think it's almost equivalent. It is now. It wasn't before, but it is now. Um, that's interesting. I didn't even think of that. The, the fact that it's actually just garbage now to make here. Interesting. Yeah, I could just send plastic on a rocket then. You're, you're right. And what else do I need? Uh, yeah, and stone I already have up here, so... It's like 10 packs per slot. Yeah, no, yeah, I know, I remember. But the reason I didn't do it before is because you couldn't do that before. Like, eventually I'm going to bring it from, like, Space Elevator up, but... I think, it, I think you're right. Just bring the plastic over through here, and then that's it. Okay, all right. You guys win. You guys, you guys made an extremely, extremely good point. And I am going to bring the plastic from here, though. I 
I gotta say, it was not something I exactly thought about. Uh, oh, can't quite do that. wanted to be over here. It just wasn't connecting properly. Did I move it the wrong way? I did. I'm kind of running out of space for uh, rockets to just be here, huh? You could do that before what? No, no, I was saying like, it didn't make sense to do it before uh, because before it was a lot more materials. Then again, you did have massive stack sizes, I guess. I don't know why I never thought of to do that. Uh, you know what, I, I went really hard into rockets at, in that playthrough, so that's what we'll say that I did. But I, I don't think that was actually the case. I think maybe, maybe it was always that bad to make in that place. Isn't just one plastic, one iron, one copper, one stone. It, it required also immersorite crystals in K, K2 plus SE. It did, uh, it did add something additional to that, uh, that requirement. Yeah. That was, it did add something. I was gonna have one rocket for this thing. But like right now it is, I think, much better to do it this way. I will agree to that. Capsule, you have cargo rocket sections, I just need to give you fuel and then you're done. Just one rocket should be fine for this. Maybe we'll redone on the number of uh, inserters. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, you know what? <laughs> okay, I bet I'm not even gonna look at it, but I bet you five bucks it it gives back scrap or something garbage that I don't want to have. Oh, maybe it doesn't. What? Did it not give scrap back in the other one? I, I, I distinctly remember it requiring giving you scrap. Did they actually remove they did did they remove it or was it just never there? Well that's good news. I 
It was never there, and I, I swear to God it was in, uh, it was in KS2. In KS2 it added scrap to it. Scrap was on data rough, uh, rough data substrates? Oh, maybe that's where it was. I just remember it being somewhere and it was really annoying. But, uh, that's good to hear then. It's good, good to hear it was all in my head. So I need to give it A, I need to give it plastic, B, I need to give it the, uh... Wow, there's uh, some stuff going on here. I guess uh, there isn't enough space for it over here. Okay, one rocket of stone, one iron, copper, plastic, and send in not exactly enough material for two rockets worth of uh, material testing with uh, testing packs of that. Uh, but but don't forget, by the way, we have uh, ingots now. That's that's what I didn't even do the math because I knew about the ingots, right? Are, are you take um, oh you Sora? Are you are you taking into account the fact we have ingots now? We're in the we're in the ingot age now in point six. And those are like times ten. They're they're actually a like huge ratio difference. They're really good for transporting that stuff around. That's the thing that definitely like just caps it completely out in that direction. Oh, and guess you forgot it, so it's absolutely cheaper to make it space. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even do the math. I just, I kind of like, ball, when I looked at it, I just ballparked it in my head. I didn't, I just ignored copper and iron because that's like not even a problem anymore to make in space. Yeah, it's, it is, it is more, most definitely much better to make it here now. I would say though, when it becomes cheap to bring things up into space, that's a different story. I think at that point we can start to say, hey, let's go just make a bunch of stuff on the ground for it. But yeah, the ingots do it. The equivalent of 1.3k of each material safe for each rocket launch, which is debatable. Yeah, that, that was the reason. I didn't even, I didn't even account for the, the things because of the ingots. Uh, this is also not uh, having this, which we should have this. Okay, I don't think we have to do anything up here right now. I kind of want to remove the stone and put the stone over here instead. Where is it a stone at? So they did something dumb where I was like, uh... <laughs> I, I, I like how I prefix everything with, I did something dumb. Just like, it's how I live, man. Destroy my life. I did something dumb. All right. It was here, or was it? Yeah, it was this one. This song is a banger. I'm glad you enjoy it. Song's relaxing, you know. All right, and I believe I did something here for it, where I was like, "Where's it at?" Yeah, right there. So 
So this unfortunately is actually going to be shut off because of the fact I need so much stone right now. Which is kind of cool actually. There you go. Not exactly banger, but it's good. Oh, it's just it's just a calm, collective music, you know. Just relax. All right, so let's get some plastic up here. Whoops, plastic. Plastic needed for anything else in space? I kind of hope it is. This this interface is so good, actually. I swear to God, no one told me about this. If you if you find the VOD where I friggin' was blown away by this interface, this one right here, I swear to God, no one ever told me. If you find it, I seriously will go see a doctor because I swear to God, I don't remember it. <laughs> I really don't. I really don't remember ever looking at that. Okay, there's not a whole lot that's actually needed up here for this, so that's, that's kind of good. That, that's that's how sure I am. I, I, I was never told about that when you guys said that. So I think either someone's messing with me or something else. Let's see. Okay, so we got all that. We got plastic. I'm going to tell the rocket it can launch whenever you wish to uh, any landing pad with name. Plastic. You can go and lark cargo full. Is it still just going properly? Is it? Wow, it's just... That's, that's pretty funny. It's just like uh, it can't do a full belt of this? Well, then again, it is doing two sides, kind of, so... I, this is kind of, I intended this because I figured that this would be moving at some point too. And I want to priority the uh, other side, so you know, I'm fine with this, this is okay. I mean, alternatively, I could do something like where it's like here. go marginally faster and I'm so glad we have enough coal on this planet too this actually makes it an ideal planet for this too uh, petroleum huh I you know what I probably didn't really uh, account for needing this much petroleum I had that whole system to void it too Is the, uh, let me just make sure that the fuel is, yeah, no, it's all good. Yeah, and that's why it's 15, because I, I wanted to have it so that if the core fragments were going, it would, it would use it all, but we just don't need it. We're not doing much cryonite usage either, which is nice. You're not going to go look for it, but I remember specifically someone calling it out. I mean, they may have called it out, and I just didn't, uh, I didn't pay attention to it, so... That has happened before, where someone says something is better, and uh, I, I don't that I'm not listening or something. It's just that I'm, I'm dumb, so I just, uh, you know, whatever. What are you gonna do, right? I just don't hear it. 
or I can't visualize it or whatever you want to say. So let's see. There's this thing. So we're going to need a lot of these. No, you did. You opened it. And I don't remember how excited you were over the time. I really don't remember. I really have no recollection. I have no idea. That's that's scaring me, actually, in a way, no? Just like I, I don't have any memory of that. I really don't remember. Oh, wait. This is too close to this one. How did I even do that? Okay, well, whatever. I really don't remember. Listen, it's not to say I don't believe you. I just, uh, you know, I just, I, I just, I don't remember at all. I remember, I thought about getting it over FNEI. Well, after using it for this run, I can say I definitely approve of it. I like it a lot more. The thing I hated was. I hated the other interface. I hated this interface because you'd have to go like plastic versus plastic and they're both different things, right? I didn't like that. But imme immediately when it swapped to this, I'm like, this is familiar and I like this a lot more. I mean, I kind of would like it to, and you could probably do it where you just remove the recipe part of it or whatever. And you just go straight to the item. You could probably do that. You just have to set it in the, uh, yeah. You just have to set it up, I think, in settings. Yeah, you just it's categories or something that you do, or pages, I don't I don't even know. There's so this is such a good mod because it's so yeah, you can add so much to it. Probably a little bit too much. Right click versus left left click part of FB and AI. Yeah, that one was more like what do you want it what is it used in versus the other one? It, that one was not intuitive in F and AI. Alright. Well, the good news is they're all one to one. The bad news is the stack sizes aren't the same, so it doesn't really matter. This should be okay. Oh. Actually, we can move this all the way over there. And the last one does this. Yeah, but you, this wasn't, you couldn't really do this in the other SC just because it was a pain in the ass to bring, bring around, um, well, it, it was the, uh, fuck, what's it called? The, the Immersorite Crystals were crazy. That's that's really what did it in the end for that one. I'm say there's two available for material testing packs. Or maybe I'll just even say there's, there's, there's like three. Because this will basically handle it until the end of time. So I would like to have them line up here anyways. I'm assuming, of course, I use chain signals here. Yeah, I did. Because they'll just wait over there, it doesn't matter to me. What's this guy waiting for? Scrap. Why can't you go anywhere? What are you waiting for? Oh, it hasn't unloaded everything yet. And then the scrap train is kind of confused. I guess I should have a timeout, shouldn't I? Just some, do something like that. Seems like it's just broken though, right now. Oh, wait, what? Why can't you go over there? Where are you right now? You're at the provider, right? Yeah. So you're here, right? 
Yeah, because it's going to go to the depot. I, I need them to clear out the this stuff sometimes. And why is this one stuck too? Yeah, this is not even either. The delivery cannon a good idea to set up right away in orbit? Uh, probably, yeah. I don't use delivery cannons on my run, but um, I would say that they're not necessarily bad, by the way. I should add a, a, a timeout for that one too, actually. I need more timeouts. Because that's why I deadlocked. It got into a timeout situation. Uh, so for me, like, um, I don't want to set up the logistics of delivery cannons on every single surface, uh, especially because you're doing. If I'm doing a times ten multiplier for my science, right? It doesn't make any sense for me to do it that way. And I, I did the math like long ago, and I and that was for my initial run. I was like, do I do this? But for things that you don't need a lot of, it it makes a lot of sense. But for me, I always find that like I always have enough cargo rockets to go around that it doesn't matter. So two stone, one thing, and that thing. Okay, good. I have like I always have enough for myself. So. Uh, what's this one for? That would be this one. How did it still not go anywhere? That's hilarious. Uh, let's do... If you're doing a normal run, then... Uh then you're 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 pretty good on that. So, but for me, it's like cargo rockets are bust. Your new TSC, it's a bit overwhelming. Yeah, you, always start small. Is your is should be the thing. So when you see me scaling really hard on things, do take it with a grain of salt because I am doing a times ten science run. So because I have to do everything ten times more. So real, like you keep the science small, you keep the, um, yeah. And you just productivity, productivity module stuff. That's usually the, the stuff for that. And and solve like little problems at a time. That's what you do, you know? It's a really great mod actually, so. Uh, I guess I didn't remove that yet. I'd say it's useful to use a delivery cannon to fire water ice in Novice's orbit to Vulcanite plans to start. Ironically, the water ice that I had started with in Novice orbit was actually more than sufficient. Plastic, stone, iron, and copper. That was the ratio, right? No, it was stone, whoops. No, you can't do that. Uh, never got into a case where I <laughs> gotta do that. There you go. Go down. So this is gonna be. Uh, let's see. Do I have a depot over here? No, I don't yet. I should actually add one. Nah, I'm just, I'll just use a generic depot for that one. That's fine. So iron requester, or sorry, iron provider. provider. Uh, so iron. Copper, whoops. One five x prod mined <laughs> water for hours. Yeah, that's what I did too. It was it was really great for just having you just have water, water, water. So yeah, I might do now. I I, I still want to. I, I I always want to partially do like inactivity timers on this. You know, I'm gonna try and do an inactivity timer on it instead of doing all these cargo conditions. Let's do one second of inactivity and see how that goes. 
Because honestly, these should never open up anyways, unless it has it. So this way, this way I have to stop counting stuff, which is kind of neat. I'm going to try it. I, I should have probably been doing this before, but I, I don't know. I feel like I should try it out just to see if I, if I like it. And then you go to... Okay, I have to actually name the station, actually, I just realized. This is going to be Matt Science Pack. Buffer. Until, I don't know, 30 seconds passed. I'll just do that for now. Clay's Astro Bell has a ton of water ice too. You thought you were going there instead of shipping yours out. Yeah, I like that. I, I really do like that beginner ship. And, uh, but I didn't, I didn't really use it for anything to be honest. Because I already went to a water ice planet, and you need cryonite anyways, right? That was kind of my thing. Uh, let's see. I like the condition I added for one of these. Yeah, this one right here. This is a good system, actually. So you say if any of them is less than 600, then go ahead and bring it all over. Actually, we should do probably a thousand, actually. Or maybe, two, maybe we'll do 2,000, actually. Because it's going to go fast. Because this is a, uh, yeah. Oh, actually, let me look at the inserter rate. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. Uh, but I have two inserters doing it, so that's the lucky part for me. I could have done direct, by the way, for this one. But again, I, I, I really like using chests, though. Because I like the fact that it keeps running even when it's not there. It doesn't force me to make another one. And a train doesn't have to wait there. It can go start filling up again. That's the reason I like it so much. Yeah, so this is just three train limit, that's fine. What the fuck is this? Oh! Yeah, how about you go somewhere else? <laughs> Did they even make anything? Or No, no, there's no plastic here yet. Alright, let's go, uh... Let me, let me just give it a bit of that. There you go. They are now equal. I actually should not have made it equal because I only have one flippin' rocket that's sharing between both of these. But whatever, it'll be fine. And I just realized that this train never goes to... Fuck, where is it? Uh, how does it never go to plastic? What is it going to instead? Nothing. It just... I forgot to put it in. That's all. Okay. I just want... I kind of want to watch it because I want to see how that condition exactly fares. Where is it exactly going to? All the way over here. Why do you assholes remove this from me? <laughs> I hate you so much. Oh wait, I still have too much of this stuff. Yeah, whatever, fine. Okay, so this is the one that's... Yeah, this is the inactivity one, right? So let's see if it's... Well, like the, the, yeah, the, the front cargo train was fine. 
And it's gonna just launch a rocket for it, which is fine. Where are they still coming from, by the way? It seems like it finished. I think I, I think I used a bit of uh, stone for something else. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna delete it now. Wow, look at that, that like unbroken line of stone. They cannot, they cannot enter me right now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at this like <laughs> that looks amazing by the way I love it the conga line uh, I love the bot AI this is so good Where's it going to for this? Ah, okay. Iridium pl Polyam plates. Where's it going for stone, though? Okay, I guess it's all good. So this will be something else eventually. I'm not going to bother with it right now. Alright, let's go back to making some stuff. How long have we been streaming for? Eh. I kind of would like to get, like, the next research going. Also, what is locked here? Oh, it's this. This is the thing what we want. Yeah, this is what I want to do right now. This second. All right, let's have a look here. Um, so this, unfortunately, or fortunately, needs super cool thermal fluid. Uh, so let's go back to items in uh, a minute. Yeah, this is why I went to it again, because it was not accounting for the byproduct. Fortunately, this is going to think that it has to make 4.5 for all of it. Oh, no, or maybe not. Dude, I have no idea. Yeah, this is, uh... Right, let's go just back to the matrix solver for a second here. Let's see, 5.8. Actually, that one would be fine. That, that one's actually entirely accurate. That's fine. Let's do this one. Uh, well, let's start with this one. Let's see. This one is 5.9. This one's going to be this one, and it's go to 2.5. No, we want like 13. Let's do like 14. Yeah, so that one's fine. This one's okay. I don't have to do anything about that. But it is going to need, let's see, a fair bit of this 13 degree thermal fluid or whatever. What's the numbers I have on this right now? Why is it like 19? Oh, because I didn't do, I didn't do this right, that's why. Okay, I, I thought that was wrong. So 18 is, yeah, that's fine. So 13 of these machines, is that really how much I need for this? I guess it is. And not hard to do still. Is there a kind of cool thermal fluid? Yeah. I mean, that's they're all kind of cool, you know? Let me just make sure that this is all fine here. Yeah, look at that. That's actually backing up now. Look at that red. Oh my god, look at that. Just completely coming onto the line here, which is good. It, I know it's eating some of it over there, which I, I technically don't need to have it doing, really. I could like priority splitter to the right. Problem is this, this gets used up for stuff. If I, if you know what I could do, I could tell it to never pick up um, advanced circuits and let them just come over here. I'm not sure if that's a good idea though.
So I believe that the, um, I believe, I believe that's a half a belt and that, yeah, I kind of need the assistance, I think, with it, but I don't know. It is going extremely well, I do have to say. So more of it, yeah, more of it's moving here, but it's still doing a full line, so it's still okay. Where is it going to right now? Da, 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 da. Really? I thought I told it to do negative, I guess I need another zero on that. Yeah, that's why I need another zero on it. All right, let's see, let's, we'll check in that, on that in a bit. What we need now, though, is we need 13 of these thermal radiators for some godforsaken reason. Is this on? Yeah, this is traditional. So I have four on this side, four on the other. Just the way this is configured, I'm just like, dang. So this makes it uh, 10 thermal fluid machines and it wants 13. It can't be just for that machine, is it? I think it's. it has to be counting for more than that. I think it isn't. I think it says 18 right here. Oh, because that's right, I have the cryofluid one. I, I keep forgetting, I, I never used it before. So this is the first time I'm actually using the cryofluid variant of these recipes. So yeah, no shit, it's uh, a little bit different now. Yeah, no, I, I didn't see a reason to use it in my last run. I was just like, oh, forget it, I guess. They weren't as strong as it is right now. So this is now, how much is this? This is now 15. Just one shy of that uh, magic number. Actually, that was... Uh, I uh, no, that's that was the uh, not magic number. So we want two things. So I think does it need actually anything for I made this small. Um So chronite, chronite, that's good. And what else? Uh, yeah, there is one machine here that requires it in the the bad one, so we're gonna we're just gonna have to make sure we have it. It's all it's not really the bad one, sorry. It's like the uh, the 100 degree one. It's not really there's nothing really inherently bad about it. Yeah, there you go. What was the buff they exactly... Does anyone remember what the buff was that they actually did to this thing? Because I'm kind of curious about that now. Because there, there was something they changed, and then, I, then, and then it became really worth using, actually, after that. It 
It's not to say that the old one was bad, it just wasn't worth carting around a lot of the time. That's really what it came down to. Okay, how on earth, how does this not have power? None of these have power. What? What is it even hooked up to? Why? So why are these not complaining about power at all? Electricity or whatever. I don't even... Oh, because I think the radar counts as a thing. Or two. Right. I don't remember, but I uh, I used the cry recipes before. They were better, but not probably as good. They were better. What do you mean they were better? Like better before? Because they they buffed it in this. At least as far as I was concerned, it wasn't good enough to use all the time. Because like I said, I I didn't use it a lot of the time. I just opted not to. I used it for like uh, ones where I centralized it more, or ones that I just looked at the amount when I did the, the when I did the math, and I was like, oh, that's that, those numbers are ridiculous. I'm gonna basically use the cryonite fluid crap. So. Beacons in space, yeah. This is uh, point. Uh, this is point six. They actually they brought beacons into space. That was one of the big updates that they did. That was absolutely amazing and was very well needed. Don't think it though got any simpler though. It really didn't get any simpler. <laughs> it it makes some of the early parts less tedious, but it still uh, makes things difficult in other ways. So, all right, does this need any other fluids? Let's see here. Uh, nope. Uh, proton stream. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get that out. I don't even think that has any other purpose other than, yeah, this is just useless. Uh, well, there's your good old 5.4 gigawatts. Uh, when you'd cooled fluid over 1400 length segments on your space bus. Okay, yeah, no. That, that, that is definitely something you should have trained. <laughs> I still think it's on though. Oh, that's right, because it just did everything. Your cooling setup had 0.5, and 0.5 had 74 coolers, so just for level 1 space science. Uh, actually, I need to undo that. Because I just have to make, pro I just realized I have to make Proton Stream. Do I not have one of these? Yeah, I do have one of these. The only train I had was one I used uh, as a shuttle to ride up and down the length of your space bus. <laughs> Dude, you just avoided trains that much. Why? Dude, that, that just sounds painful. I wouldn't want to do that. Okay, I think we actually may not have any more uh, particle accelerators. Why is that? I think the thing that was making it was over here, actually, now I think about it.
Yep, that would have been it. That's it. Actually, I'm going to target this and just throw it on a beacon with it. I'm just trying to make the numbers uh, a little higher for this guy. So it asks for a lot more of it. I think Sunny's a. Oh no, I still request from buffers for a lot of these. So I just need to get more of these over here. I wish Space Trains had cool alternative graphics. I mean, I'm using Vibrant Trains, which kind of adds some alternative train graphics to it, sort of. Uh, I mean, it just makes them brighter colors, but yeah. I mean, you can use like a mod like, uh, what is it, like alternative trains? That That's a good one. You can do something with that. I don't know, that doesn't count. It's like one and a half, I guess. I guess I should just see. 3.7. That's my guess, actually. Fuck. I never have that thing. It's my particle accelerators. <laughs> you really like Aaron does uh, art style is what I'm saying? It is pretty good. It, would, would that, is that the thing that's stopping you from using it, though, is the question. You're just like, I just can't, I can't bring myself to to make, uh, to use space trains. They just don't look like they're space trains. What? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. 4.2 and then 2.5. Maybe it's like 3? I'm trying to figure out what the ratio is for this. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it's 3 to 2. That's what it is. I mean, that's that's pretty easy to, to solve, actually. I have once again found myself into a pickle. Maybe it's not that easy. Eh, maybe it is that easy. Never mind. Super easy. Easiest game I've ever played. Okay, maybe not the easiest game I've ever played. It's actually pretty hard, but you know. It's not like that. Eh, we also have to, though, we have to share this one, though. Well, because this one actually needs to get uh, some stone here again. Well, that's a giant green chip setup. How many uh, proton engine things do I need? Yeah. What is pro? Uh, well, it's not proton stream. It's oh, it is actually called proton stream. What do you even do with that? I was just using a bunch of random crap, and that's it. I'm, I'm guessing you can also use it in a... The default temperature is 5,000 degrees. So, that it's probably also something you can use in a uh, fluidic generator or something. Instead of using ion stream, which is probably not... Uh, no, that's also 5,000 degrees. Okay, I don't fucking know the difference, though. <laughs> I don't know why you'd want to use one over the other. That doesn't make any sense to me. And we can do a... Oh, I can't 
quite do that then. Actually, let's do it all the way down there. To go, I'll just have to go grab some more of those things on my own. That should be enough uh, Proton Stream. I can have it go from the same place. It's nice that I can make it all in one place at least. I was actually considering myself making it on uh, Caladius or something, you know? I was just like, oh, I could, you know, if I need to have, make a lot of this stuff and I need the, I need the power for it, I might as well make it down there, right? I, I, I began to think that to myself, but uh, yeah, no, I've, as I've continued here, I'm like, no, nah, I guess not really. 8.2 scaffold. What are our scaffolds doing? Or, or sorry, our steel is going. It'd be here. Eh, it's it's going. I was really hoping to have two rockets at some point, but like I said, once I get those, um, uh, once I get the 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 wider eight beacons, that's a good excuse to come over down there. The only the only thing I'm kind of scared about is like 10 megawatts. I mean, that's actually not that bad, but I think that scales. Does that scale the, in, with the things that you have in the beacon? Does it actually increase the energy consumption? I don't think so. I, I don't remember. But it should be simple to do. that's so oh it just says two that's why well that's pretty much all i need to do for that yeah we don't need we don't need any more than that do we what's this missing though uh iron plates okay so we need to bring iron plates here then can definitely hate myself. Yeah, I, I, this one's kind of important because I kind of hooked it into everything. Oh, I, I, you know what I could do? I could just move it to the side slightly. Right? Yeah, yeah, that works. The NYC resistor. Someone wants to resist it. A requester. Okay, so there isn't a train for that yet. Where is my... There it is. my fucking bots at. <laughs> I guess I should start getting them to destroy more things, by the way, because I'm just like, uh, I'm looking at some of the stuff, I'm like, eh. Like, oh god, what have I done here? I need to do something with this. Be 
if the total iron is less than that. I actually don't think I need any more than just one. Because I, I actually solved the problem of what I was doing before. Alright, see so here. That is a zippy train. Iron. Full. Or activity of 15 seconds. Then iron. Until you're empty. Or also an activity 15 seconds. Yeah, nothing else I need to do with that. And then we can just add an additional stop here somewhere. I, I guess I never use Proton String for a lot of things. I don't. I don't. I don't really know what it's for because, like, some so of it's useful. Plasma makes all the other stuff. Uh, Ion basically flies ships around. But Proton is... it just exists, so... as far as I'm concerned. It serves no purpose. Okay, that might be an exaggeration. It does serve a purpose. It serves to make us science. Proton is one of the just weird stuff, yeah. Where it went off. Yeah, well, I, I saw it's like used in like three things and then that was it, so. How many bots do we have in this one right now? Pretty good, 500. Let's just ch keep checking this guy. Okay, there you go. So, we could actually start sending this one off somewhere. I, I would also like it to uh, maybe, I don't know. Do you put ingot, ingots or plates in trains? I put ing I currently put uh, plates in trains. I do not put ingots in trains. Because um, the way I, well, okay, I do technically have ingots in trains, just for iron, though. I, I, Cause I don't want to locally process it. I want to process it uh, in one place and load it into the train. So the plan is going to be when I go interplanetary, ingots will go be loaded onto um, special spaceships. Then it will basically, um, drop it off and make it into whatever it needs to. So ingots are more for me pu putting it between planets. And then when I'm at a planet, I, I process it and then load it onto trains as ingot as, uh, as what they are. Oh, wait, hold up here. You need to stop what you're doing, criminal scum. I just realized you were not doing what you were supposed to. Because I, I want to skip that that middle middle stage essentially of a thing that I don't need to be doing. So, do I have proton stream? I have this one actually. If I could filter wagons, I would do it. See, this this is the example I have, by the way. So it will actually put them in here simply because it is actually used in one of the sciences to actually throw in ingots into it. But for the most part, this is what I prefer to do. Because then I don't have to bring it here and then process it. I just do it the other way around. The train fuel is cheap, you know? Well, it's not. It's nuclear, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. I think I got like a, yeah, th this is the Proton Stream one.
Takes a train like 10 minutes of continuous running to burn a single uh, <laughs> single nuclear fuel, it's cheap. Yeah, I kind of figured it was. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot of it. And it's not like we don't have the Corvex uh, set up that's actually going really strong. We did we did do some really heavy investment into it. So uh, where is the Proton stream? I like it's just saying destination full because it's it can't go there right now. Uh, let me go Proton stream requester till empty cargo. Just do this just so it can go into the system. Is it going or what? Oh wait, no, it just arrived. Oh shit, wait, just wait right there. Uh, I just realized I didn't uh, put the active providers there. You know what, I could actually use the same one for both sides, by the way, because it's since they're active providers anyways. We could just do that. A lot of random crap here I don't need anymore. Okay. This will take it a little while to get a single train load though. It's only five per minute and yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 it's also one of the slower ones, dang. But again, that's why we made it, so we don't have to deal with it now. Now my bots are going to go try and tear this stuff apart. Alright, so we'll just assume at some point, someday, it will come and bring us what the things we need here. So, the rest of this, let's have a look. All right. Uh, we could start with the harder ones. And uh, I'm gonna go back to the Matrix Solver. You know, my guess is I actually maybe miscalculated this, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Because I just realized I had two others in there. It, it gets really confusing when you have like too many in here. Uh, but okay, let's do electromagnetics first. So junk, contaminated scrap. E, did I make a thing for this one? I don't think I did. No, I did not. Okay, I just it just occurred to me that one. Where's my scrap train? Yeah, this is the one. Uh, it should wait at the scrap depot. Uh, I guess I kind of didn't make it do that, did I? This one probably did do it. Oh wait, I did make a thing for this. Oh no, 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 I did it for the other one. Okay, I see. That was a bit of a funny one. I kind of, I, on, on one hand I do want them here, on the other hand I don't, because uh, they're just going to waste their time there. I don't know. Okay, so this system I'm going to try out. So this is the one I wasn't sure about, by the way. So this is what it's going to do. It's going to go, there's a stop called uh, Scrap and Junk Data Cards. It will go there until, um, I'm going to say inactivity of one second. That's, I'm going to try doing that for now on. So if it becomes inactive, it'll then go there. And here's what it's gonna do. It's going to go to scrap until it has an item count of scrap of zero. Maybe I should just do inactivity again. Let's just, let's just keep doing that then. Uh, let's see. Then it will also go to the junk data cards and just drop off the, uh, 
Oh, uh, sorry, requester. So it's essentially capable of picking up both and doing it both, and it's one kind of train that has to do it. Not more than one, just one kind that does it. So technically speaking, this should be better. Um, So I'll do that for the ones that, oh wait, and I also have to, fuck, where, which one was that? Was it this one? Yeah, um, one second, where is it at? Dang it. Okay, so the only thing I have to change on it is the fact that it has some stuff it's not supposed to have. So I have to, I have to actually, what the fuck? Oh God. All right. Let's stop right there. <laughs> I want to change it. <laughs> I forgot it was at a stop that also gives you data cards. This is why filters are amazing, but also uh, extremely deadly. Because that happens to be the place it actually does that with, so. All right, again, uh, I'm just gonna clear it out. So we're gonna say scrap and uh, junk data cards. So this way you can have one train that comes to one stop that basically does all of the things you want. And uh, and I won't have to do this for like everything, every conceivable uh, scenario. But yeah, there it is. Okay, that should be good enough for that. I, I, I almost thought that the, those bots looked like stars and I'm like, oh man, that's a cool effect. And then it wasn't, I was just too zoomed out. There is actually stars, by the way. I just, when you're zoomed out, you don't really see them. I mean, I certainly don't see them when I zoom out, so. All right, back on this guy. Uh, let's see. So. Uh, let's see. So this is going to be this lovely electromagnetic facility. Right. This is the one that needs polarization electromagnetic data, right? But here's the thing. I'm actually making both and they have their own stop now, right? So that's, that's um, a definite positive for me. And then it also needs holding cables, and I have no idea how I'm going to get those. Oh, right, I bring them through here. I guess we'll do that first. I actually might call it quits, by the way. I think I think we're at a good stopping point, because I'm just in the middle of starting out on the first energy science. So, it I can't believe it. It took me, like, most of today to do that one energy science, by the way. That's crazy. I'll just set up this guy first. Uh, 10,000? I don't know why we don't have any holding cable options here, actually. Yeah, because we, we kind of stopped on the holding cable front, didn't we? You know, it is actually putting all of the red chips in, by the way. We didn't need to put it into a, uh, uh, yeah, this one didn't need to do a thing, so. The all day in energy science, like to memory on action for getting all the wonderful novice time? Yeah, no, no, there was, there was nothing, we did nothing on novice. Pat did it for us, that's how it went. Well, it looks like all the, the batteries also backed up too, which is also super nice, so. We're good, man. We're we're good. The, I I think the productivities were a really good idea because it like it literally backed everything up, and freed us up for, uh, like this guy's just now completely doing, uh, the other place. Also, what? Why is it not working? Oh right, because it, it will never do the end. It's a little bit over what it wants. But yeah, the holding cable is going to be uh, a doozy. I, it was also a little bit more infrastructure time, right? There you go. And we need we needed that time to do some a little bit more infrastructure work, but yeah, we're we're good now. I think we got 17 gigawatts as well at our disposal. 
I mean, Endgame Caladius, we were doing like what? 200 gigawatts? So, or not even, yeah. Because we were beaming power too, don't forget that. We're, and we're not gonna do that here. We're not beaming anything around. Although the solar here may power the surface um, fret factory. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. So forgotten like a wonderful dream. So why is this one kind of screwed up? Oh, you know what? It's actually fine. Cause if it's, you know, if it has too much stuff then who cares, right? Anyways, I'm gonna save it and we're gonna quit guys. And I'll be back tomorrow as per usual. Cause I like streaming on the weekends. Um, during the week, uh, I may not stream quite as much just because I'm starting my new job and that means I actually have something to do now. That's that's really what it comes down to. So I had nothing to do for a long time, so I was able to stream a lot. And it's not to say I won't do a lot, but probably just during the week more, I'll be focusing on that one a little bit more. So is anyone on right now that I know? Uh, maybe this guy, let me see who else is here. Okay, we'll do high speed. Yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. Thanks Art Dux. Thanks, Naked Buffalo, Nutsack, Kodiak X. Thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. Soul Reaver, Mega Cup, Beep Beep Beep. Also, thank you, thank you, Beep Beep Beep, for the subscription the other day as well. You gifted, so. And thanks a lot, guys. Peace, good night. Have a good one.